topics. <laughs> um, how's it going? Curious, hello, and thank you, welcome in. Nice to see everyone. Basil is here, obviously. Well, no, I was going to say I took a nap without her and she was upset, but no, she was there. Who would have thought, hey, it's a good snack, okay, don't knock it. Um, How's everybody doing? The music is really loud. Yes, thank you for that. Is that better? The music was really loud because of um, playing that game. On Wednesday fruit and cheese works right cheese and raw nuts exactly if you get crazy get a board make a spread best meal ever <sighs> how's everybody doing how is your Friday It took me a bit to figure out what we're going to do tonight, but I do have something in mind. Um, coming over here. Rogue. Okay. The real Stouty. Hi, welcome, friend. Hi. How are you tonight? It's been a while since I've been here. Different working full time. Oh, that's right. That's right. So your weekdays will be different. How's that going? How was your first like official week of full time? I've had that happen myself. I, um, when I worked in the newspaper, um, I went in through a temp agency and I was filling in for this lady on maternity leave and then um she well very long story short i worked there for like over a year as a temp and then this lady like she was a she was a nightmare she did not have her shit together at all and i was sitting there like i'm chopped liver and they want this lady who like isn't even functional anyway it was really nice to like there was one day when I was like, oh, I went to work today and got offered a job. That was really nice. And I really enjoyed working there. Yo, what are we doing here? We're hanging out. Um, we're gonna do some sewing tonight. So Stouty, um, welcome, welcome new friend. Um, I, know, I know you from Katrina's and maybe a couple others. Um, so I do everything, like all kinds of things. Today we're gonna do sewing. Um, next week I should be starting with the furniture restoration, which we've been working on getting ready for. Um, sometimes I crochet things or do origami or I did a pool stream once. Um, nothing, nothing, almost nothing is out of the question for me. So we do all kinds of things. We keep it chill and real and stuff like that. So, you know, hang out see what happens today has been a weird day oh my eye it just looks so bad today has been a weird day my brain was a giant dick hole and it's because i ate pizza and i'm allergic to wheat and i shouldn't do that but once in a while i do that and this was very bad and primarily it affects my brain more than anything and also my skin um yeah so i had to like take a big nap with the clonvin and a an weighted blanket and this nice cat at my feet and that helped a lot and then I get up and I was like I'm gonna put on a cute shirt and play some really loud Lady Gaga and like get my shit together and that's apparently what I needed it's also really warm in here can that be fixed
sewing my favorite well you're in the right place you are in the right place i mean i am not i am no professional no professional like katrina or so many others but we make it work and we learn new things and we fail we fail often i fail often i fuck shit up like every time it's a thing it's an expected thing because i yeah baby's busy lots of cleaning up of files picking up more tasks i'm happy good i'm glad to hear that you're happy that's so wonderful i'm so happy for you paul hi welcome paul how are things heresy killer hi you sounds like a day it was a stupid ass day i challenge you to origami any day you want a crane i can make a crane i can make cranes so by origami we haven't actually done like full-on origami let's make all kinds of things it's that if someone subscribes on my channel or is gifted a sub they get an origami star made with their name on the inside of it and it goes into this cup snifter thing which is really dusty we've so they go in here that's the mo the main origami that we do but like sometime we'll do some paper folding and like we'll make things besides stars and cranes so much pain this morning I lay down and slept all day oh kate i'm so sorry but you know what i think today is one of those days where like lots of people are kind of on that page like i had a day like that today i don't know if it's like a moon phase thing or just one of those fucking days you know Dan Wong, hi, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Basil is getting pets. She's right here receiving them. And she's so happy. Mwah. We don't fuck shit up. We have happy little accidents. You might. I fuck shit up left and right. And it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Although it is like infuriating sometimes when it happens. I didn't get notified whack get ask for a refund hi me heresy what are you what are you up to tonight how are you kept wanting to crash all day today no idea why see that's what i'm saying i didn't get to stream i had new tools and stuff to unbox all in time dude all in time don't rush yourself it'll all happen when you do supposed to <laughs> I mean, don't tell me you don't make weird noises when you are cuddling with the cat. I think the same. I dislike the happy little accents Bob Ross thing. Okay. I like Bob Ross a lot. Super fan of that. But I also, does he actually say the word little in there? Because I thought he just said happy accidents. Not little. I think the little is the part that gets me. But also like... That also is kind of like a toxic positivity thing, which is what I'm not about. Like positive, yes, we keep things, we try to keep things positive here in the midst of all of our realness, but toxic positivity is a thing. To be clear, I am not saying that Bob Ross is guilty of toxic positivity. He is not. He just wanted to make the world better, and that's fucking fantastic. But then people take that thing that he was famous for saying, and then that becomes a thing. Little cat, you're so wonderful when you are, when you are, and then when you're not, you're just absolutely rotten. I'm sorry that you can't see her face. She's just sitting here like this. Really? really what Clyde it's that it's also it's okay to make mistakes you won't improve if you don't acknowledge them this is true this is true I don't think it's not acknowledging the mistakes because he still says accident which implies a mistake fair fair a worthwhile discussion have at it <laughs> um, so if anyone wants to know the thing that we're gonna do is um, so I have this hoodie that I've had for a long ass time, like so long. I bought it brand new at Aerie, of all places, 
when I was like, I don't know, 22, 23, 21, somewhere in there. Wait, I can just check the tag and tell you what year it came out. Hold up. Mm -hmm. This hoodie is from 2010. I've had this hoodie since 2010, June of 2010. So this hoodie is 11 years old and the zipper is broken. So we're gonna fix it and put a new zipper on it because the one that's here, like this zipper pull is fucked if I can get it to show up here. Yeah, that's, that's fucked. <laughs> it's not gonna work. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna replace the zipper. Um, it does need some mending, but I don't know. I haven't figured out what to do about this. This is like one of these sleeves. <laughs> Like, okay, don't, I was gonna say, don't laugh, but like, let's be real, everyone has a hoodie like this, and you know it, that you wear, that like, you wear the fuck out of it, and then it's like, super threadbare, so that's, I don't know what to do about these parts, we'll deal with those as we get to it, but the zipper is our main priority. He just moves on, because if you sit there mad at the mistake, you won't make progress. You gotta acknowledge it and be agile enough to adapt. Agility, wow. All right, all right, fair. And Rand, sometimes you need to explore the causes of the mistakes. Mmm, Kristan, coming back with the real talk. This is good, this is good dialogue we're having. I like this. Too much of that inhibits progress, sure. I don't think Christian meant, like, spend days deliberating about it. I just think he meant to find the source of what caused that to happen. Because then you can find the answer. Last year I Marie kondo some old ass hoodies. <gasps> you did? So you yeeted them? Did they not bring you joy anymore? You could make a patch if the machine wasn't all wonky. Well, the type of patches that we're making with embroidery would not be the type of patch that that needs. This would be like darning the material to like create new fabric, essentially. We let them go, proud of you. This hoodie still brings me joy. I love this hoodie. It's comfortable. And the two pockets on the sides have zippers. And I have never been able to find another hoodie, another zip up hoodie the two pockets that also have zippers why nobody makes zippers zippered pockets on zip up hoodies yeah it's like it doesn't seem like an important feature but i tell you it is like zippers super great let me move my plate of snacks i'll show you see okay here is the pocket. There's a zipper. It's great. We all know how zippers work. But like, why doesn't anybody else do that? It's so useful. Because the rest of the time, I'll, like, I hope you didn't like that lip balm, chapstick, whatever, because as soon as you put it in that pocket that doesn't have a zipper, like, kiss it goodbye. It's gone. I haven't seen one with zipper pockets. Not in my size anyway. Well, Cage, I'm telling you, they're very hard to find. I got this hoodie in 2010, and since then I've looked for others and I haven't found them, and I am very extensive in my searching. So I guess the first step, should we just dive into this now? Or should we chill for a bit? Or should we, like, I don't know. Should we just dive in? I was gonna like eat a snack for a second because I'm hungry. And catch up with all of you and see how people are doing and talk about the important questions such as mistakes and accidents and all that shit. Eat snacks first. Staddy knows. Staddy knows. I was going to like make real food before stream. That was my plan. I was gonna have a nap, wake up, make real food and then stream but um so my real food was going to be ravioli and i was going to use the pesto that i made because i made pesto weird whenever that was you know 
uh, made me it made me late for stream that one day but it was worth it because it's fucking homemade pesto so i like to put that on the ravioli but i don't have any like small tomatoes like the grape tomatoes cherub tomatoes whatever you want to call them and i like to cut those in half and then cook them down as i melt the pesto it's a whole thing it's so good Food for sewing. Mm -hmm. I could just add my own zippers to the pockets. Gotta learn to sew first. It's true. It's not so difficult. I believe in you, Cade. You can do it. Kristen also had a mad day. See, it's a thing. I'm telling you. I want to stream tomorrow, but I don't know what to do, and I feel uninspired. The ennui is strong. Do you want to only do figure drawings, or are you open to other things? Are there particular mediums you want to stick with or that you want to avoid? They have kits that allow you to put buttons on anything. Buttons are like zippers, but much less. This is true. Buttons are very simple. Big B will be RE. Cool. I want to start another drawing on paper. Okay. Do you want it to be a portrait or are you committed to a certain direction or not committed to a certain direction. Where did this fly? So while I was getting my life together a bit, <laughs> I was listening to um, Lady Gaga music really loudly throughout the whole house, which I don't usually do. And uh, I can't remember the name of that album. Oh, Born This Way. It was the whole Born This Way album because it's great. <clears throat> and when that album came out, my friend Nicholas and I drove to Walgreens at midnight to buy the CD. Because I'm a very big fan of her. And I was like... I just really wanted it, so we went to Walgreens because that was the closest place that had it. And we bought it. And then we came up with a musical based on that whole album. And it was going to be about Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky, but like an alternate version of the story as a musical set to the Lady Gaga songs from that album. It was perfect. Another drawing on paper, maybe you do a graphite portrait. Mm hmm why not stream outside and do landscape there's not much landscape where I live that that is a thing or at least not the appealing type of landscape you'd think I want to see the version of history where Bill Clinton and Monica didn't get caught okay well the musical would have gone into the backstory of her anyway like the song hair is a flashback to her childhood like would W have been elected I don't know so many questions so the egg that I crocheted it's okay I think I filled it too much I think I put too much stuffing in here because this is like for an egg yolk, this sticks up like a whole lot. Also, what do you do with a crocheted egg? <laughs> so cute egg. Thank you, Stouty. Thanks. I got the pattern from Katrina. Cause she started, well, she, she and I both taught ourselves to crochet in the last few months and she was smart about it. And she started doing food and I was just like trying to find random shit on the internet that looked easy and that made it very difficult. And then I was like, Katrina, I'm going to start crocheting food because you had a good idea. So that's what happened. Make a crocheted piece of bread for toast. <gasps> that's a really good idea. That's a great idea. Mm, I want to like look for that right now, but I probably shouldn't.
crochet slice of bread. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It is so cute. Ah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Clyde with the good ideas. Okay, look, look, look how cute this is. Looks great from above, that's what matters. Crochet bacon, maybe, maybe. So we are, so basically you're saying crochet breakfast spread. Okay. Look at this toast though. So fucking cute. How even? Oh my gosh. Oh, they made a whole sandwich. The whole sandwich. Oh, you can't see it. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this. It's a whole fucking sandwich. That's insane. This is amazing. And a fucking bread basket? What even? Get the fuck out. How did they? What? Okay, so this is a. Cr they crocheted a pretzel? How the fuck do you crochet a pretzel? The bread basket is next level. Absolutely. What the fuck? Blowing my mind a little bit. Do not eat this bread. Despite all appearances, it's not real, but it is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, but this fucking pretzel, like the rest of them, amazing. But this pretzel. I think what they did is they crocheted the things, like the pretzel or whatever, and I think they like painted on it or something. Baby, welcome back. Please don't eat the bread. Oh, we're not gonna eat it, but we're sure, surely going to marvel at it. Like, and this thing up here, it looks so real. What worst OnlyFans stream ever is just bread. Hi, Ten Ten. Hi, how are you? We were talking about what I should crochet next because I crocheted this egg. I crocheted a fried egg. And so we were saying, what should we crochet after that? We're not crocheting tonight, but we're just thinking ahead. And someone said toast or a piece of bread for toast for the egg. And here we are now. Just a tube that they twisted into a pretzel and glued, maybe, or they probably sewed it in place or something. So bread, bacon. If you do a slice of cheese, you have bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. So cute. This is just so extensive. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they definitely like used paint or marker or some type of pigment to get that coloring. That's so fucking cool. Um, okay, so back to finding bread. These are fantastic. I hate Pinterest, it ruins the results. The tomato slices. Oh my gosh. Do you think the airbrush dye onto the yarn? Yeah, that's something like that, absolutely. Just to get those facets like around here. In the other pictures, it's definitely not, it's definitely not a different color yarn. A crochet balloon animal. Ah, you are all on fire tonight with the fucking great ideas. I'm gonna like, write these down or like put them in discord or something because if i write them down they're just going to go into my pile of scraps of paper which is not great crochet balloon animal this is a good idea I need a piece of paper okay so crochet bread and bacon um, a balloon animal. Do you know if that's even possible? Is that even a thing? I'm sure it's a thing. Surely someone has done it, but like. Um. Oh, they made pizza. There's a little crochet pizza here. 
I like the tiny ones in the corner. It looks like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? In the corner. Which corner? These? Over here, Cage? The little ones? Can you crochet a ball of yarn? I'm sure it's been done. Can you crochet a crochet needle? It's a crochet hook. A nice try. Again, someone probably has done it. Make a tube and then twist it into animal and fill the tube with fluff as if with air. <sighs> nice idea, but that's not, that's just not how it works. <laughs> Scrolling up, how much up? Oh, here we go, balloon dogs. Boom, thanks Kristen. Oh my gosh, that's so fucking cute. Oh, it, it, hey, looks, it's exactly right. It's perfect. Oh, okay. okay, so that is what you do. You make a fucking sausage links. You make sausage links and then you tie them up. Stouty with the ideas. Oh, and it's a free pattern. Oh shit. This is great. I guess that's the pattern. Ravelry. Okay, I'm gonna keep this page open. This is wonderful. Christian, thank you. Cage, which one is it? Is it these little ones? These are cute. I just need a piece of bread. Oh, this one's a piece of bread, but it's a pot holder. Pre-filling is a much better way to do it. Yeah, I knew it would have to be pre-filled just of the nature of how crochet works. Um, crochet toast pattern. A little toast family. Ah, it's not gonna show up. So cute. These are so adorable. I can't stand it. Cage, maybe it's these. The crochet tutorial. Yeah, they're so cute. They're so little. Hmm. Too cute. Crochet toast pattern free. Gimme. These are so cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> I love the pot holder that is toast with a piece of egg on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, it's butter. It's a pat of butter, not egg. <laughs> But yes, that's wonderful. Let me open this one. That would be really easy to make too. Oh, there's a pear. Ah, there's a pear that's the toast and the egg. Oh my gosh. It was totally egg. No, this is a piece of butter. It's a little square of butter that you slice off. I ain't dumb. I didn't say you were dumb. Yeah, well, you can totally, I can totally make these too. Um, I just want the regular toast though. I don't know anything about sewing or crochet. So if I ever say something ridiculous, that's my excuse. That's just fine. Ridiculous is welcome here. Fully, fully welcome. <gasps> what? Charney Goods. Oh, hi. Hi, friend. And heat resistant yarn for pot holders. Yeah, yeah, there's there's ways. It's fine. I'm not concerned about it. Welcome, Raiders. Hi, Charney. What's going on? How is your stream? Everyone, please check out Charney. He is a phenomenal leather worker and just so, so nice. Tiny Raid still Raid is still good. We still love that. How was your stream? How did it go? Toast on the Yurumi. Yeah, that's maybe that's what I need is crochet toast and Yurumi pattern free. Back at it, you were making a closure strap for a black and white wallet for my wife. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, if you have any links to pictures or anything that you'd like to share, you're welcome to throw those in the chat. I 
I always worry about flammable stuff. I'm not sure why that's a concern. You know? Yeah, I've noticed that, Cage. You, you do have a, a bit of a concern for things being non-flammable, but I mean, I don't know where that concern comes from, but it's good to recognize that that's a thing. That's the first step, I think. So anyway, welcome Raiders friends. We're gonna do some sewing tonight, but we we're looking at crochet foods because it's super fun and adorable to make crocheted food. I made, an, I made an egg. This is how it started. I made a fried egg. And so then we said, what about some toast for the egg? So we're looking for a pattern to make some crochet toast to go with the egg. Posting to Insta right now. Excellent, excellent. Natural wool is pretty flame resistant. Okay. I'm a big, big fan of crocheting with natural fibers. I really like cotton, although I guess people like frown on cotton and they're like, it's shitty. It's only good for making dish rags. I'm like, that's just like your opinion, man. Um, which of these toasts looks good? Toasts, breads. Here, this has a free pattern. I think, wait, but those are just flat. Is it this one? Maybe this. Let's see. Oh, this is a whole thing. That's a whole situation. I don't want to make all that. Just want to make a piece of toast that isn't flat. So make that. Oh, I guess I would just have to not go around as much. Yeah, what? Oh, okay, okay. So I would do something like that. Interesting, interesting. So I would start by making this, but I wouldn't do as many rounds around the outside. Okay. That works. I could also find something else, but that seems pretty straightforward. I can work with that. I am going to crochet the snail at some point. It's going to happen. Maybe, maybe that can be the 1,000 followers giveaway. Maybe that'll do it, because then I'll be more practiced, and that's why I haven't done it yet. Because I want to be practiced enough at the crochet thing so that it's not a complete, completely shitty thing to make. Okay. I'm glad we got that figured out. Here, I have a cat. She's great. You like the avocado pattern? Which one? Was it the one with like the smiley face and the little belly? That one was really cute. Um, but I guess I will get the seam ripper because we got to take out the first zipper from the hoodie. So let me get the stuff. So, oh, what was I going to say? There was something about replacing zippers. Oh, so I was going to use a metal zipper because that's what's on here already. And um, I couldn't find, of the metal zippers I have, I have a, I picked some up a while back, not for this project, for something else, but um, I was reading and the zippers I have are not the right size for this, but we can still use them. Um, you can trim down metal zippers. It's just a different process and not as easy as doing plastic zippers where you just cut it. So it'll be fun. Start trying new things. That's what we do here, right? We fucking lost. That was a level one. How embarrassing. That's like coach from Letterkenny kicking a bucket embarrassing. It's fine. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme. It don't. Here's the wallet. Yay, let's take a look. Sorry about your dudes, Big B. Totally embarrassing. Oh, you haven't seen Letterkenny. So Letterkenny is, is very, very good. Um, the last most recent season of it, not great, because they got like way too huge, I think is what happened. And the jokes were really forced. 
at that point so it wasn't funny anymore but absolutely watch it like the first three seasons or so seen the first few episodes of the first season and a lot of clips on the youtubes yes exactly um uh, where is my browser window okay let's pull this back up here we go this is fancy it looks so good wow I love watching these things come together are there oh here's some other pictures of it okay okay let's start this no I don't want to log in I just want to look at the pictures stop I have a problem on the computer where it like like if you're on your phone you can switch accounts super easily but on the computer not so much I try to switch and it's like log into this other account but then I do and it's like no account exists no idea Charney these are amazing I love watching people create something like this that is such a polished finished item and it just looks it literally looks like something you would buy in a store and it's just amazing to know that like I know people who can make that out of out of the raw materials it's just phenomenal I don't know if I'll ever be brave enough to try leather working myself you made a similar model oh for cerebral yeah I remember seeing that mentioned I don't know if it was on Instagram or a stream title or what. That's fantastic. How long does it take to make something like that? Basil's honey, you can't, you can't just curl up here. Look at this cat. She's just, she's just sitting here and I, I need this workspace. But like, what do you, what do you do? What, what do you do with this? Do we work around her? I feel like normally I would just move her, but she's so cute. And I feel bad. Leather working intimidates me as a rabbit hole of tool buying. Oh yeah, that too. Absolutely that too. Cat stream. We do have cat cam sometimes. Cause this green thing is her bed where she sits on my desk a lot. So cat cams have been a regular thing. We haven't done it in a while. Oh, God damn it. I guess this is what we're doing. Giving a belly rubs. Oh my gosh, you're drooling. You're drooling. This is where we're at. This is Basil. She's really indecent. She's like, oh yeah, spread it. Pet me. Give me the belly rubs. Belly scritches, exactly. They're like that. Mm-hmm. What's the deal with floofy cats and belly rubs? I don't know. I have no idea, but it is it is absolutely a thing. Where are you going? Are we just, are we petting you or are you going elsewhere? What are you doing? It's up to you. Basil, I would like to be productive and do things. She wants the cheese. Mm-mm. She likes pizza over cheese. What if you go on your bed? Is that comfy? Hmm? You drool though. Your chin is all wet. This fucking cat. I tell you what. It's okay. She was really sweet today. I'll give you some pets, but then I want to pull you in your bed. Hmm? Can you come over here? Please. I will give you sardines. No, they're not sardines. Minnows. I give them freeze-dried minnows as a treat. As a treat. I wish I could be productive. You can be. Anyone can be productive. Productive is relative. What is productive for you is not productive for someone else. Come over here. 
climb onto your little bed. No. There's always a small task that can move you forward on a project. This is true. Even if it's moving one tiny thing a few feet, it's better than nothing. That's exactly what I'm saying. Clyde knows. Clyde knows. Cage, it's true, I promise. Okay, well, she's at least moved up so we can try and work some in this space. Working on stuff and waiting for paint to dry right now. Are you watching it? Are you watching the paint dry or just hanging out waiting for it? Paint drying, buddy. Me too. Bonding. So the first thing you have to do is um, use the seam ripper to get rid of the stitches that hold the old zipper onto the jacket. Which I guess is less interesting to watch. So having the cat on here is not a big deal. People like the cat, the cat gets to stay. I was waiting for glue to dry quite often on the stream today. Yep. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's going to be a thing as well once we get into the garage for the furniture restoration because you spray stuff and you got to wait for it. And it depends on the weather a lot of times for me. But some of it's just like, wait an hour, wait 30 minutes. And then my problem is, what the fuck do you do in that 30 minutes? Especially if you're streaming, like, what do you do while you're waiting? Fuck if I know. But I don't like just sitting around being awkward. I mean, I'm awkward regardless, but I don't like just sitting around doing nothing. Because that's not enjoyable for me, and it's not enjoyable for people who are watching. You want to get Laura Kemp's Let Glue Dry merch. What's that? I'm not familiar with that. Wait for things to dry club. It's totally a thing. Absolutely. Basil, you're being so sweet. Play Stream Raiders. Uh, that's an idle game, though. That's not something you actively do. Especially if you're the streamer. <laughs> uh, if you're the streamer, you place one thing and that's it. You're backing for a geo place. What? Oh, geode piece. What kind of backing? What kind of geode piece? Play Jackbox or some other game with subzone followers. True, true. These are possibilities. Maybe that's maybe that's the time that we could use words on stream. Waiting for lacquer to dry. I did figure out, I've, I've said, I don't know if I've said this before, but I figured out a little while ago what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, Stouty, you're welcome to join our Discord. We have a very active Discord community. Um, all are welcome. Um, if you choose to do that, all we ask is that once you click that link, you're taken to a channel called Pronouns, and you just need to click on the React that correlates with what your pronouns are, and then that will give you access to everything. You could have a second project that needs something quick done to it. I could, I could, I don't know what that would be either. Like crocheting toast or something, sure. That might be not as easy to do. My art is a little mature. We're all a little mature, so we don't mind. We're not family friendly. Um, it's sort of like a sailor. Um, we talk about everything here. We are a sex positive community because I'm a sex positive person and these people choose to hang out with me, so that's the way it is. You can share it, we don't mind. Okay, I clicked on the YouTube link. I'm not mature. Well, that's, that's, that's for you. That's a youth. I don't want to say that's a you problem because that's a shitty thing to say and that's not what I mean. 
So this is our channel. What's the thing about waiting for paint to dry? She, I don't know. That doesn't tell me much about that. Okay, join the Discord, but can you go over the first thing to do again? Yes. When you join the Discord, you are brought to a channel called Pronouns. Maybe I'll just show you. Uh, hold up. That might be harder to do than I'm thinking. Window capture. Okay. So, no, it's not going to let me do that. So you join Discord and you are in a channel called Pronouns. Yes. Or the top of that channel or click on the pinned post and you will see the post that lets you set your pronouns. Ten Ten, thanks for joining the Discord. Just go to the top, there's a post that says, please set your pronouns to gain access to the server. It looks something like this. It's not gonna focus, but it looks something like that. <laughs> so at the bottom, at the bottom there's all these reacts. So just click whichever one correlates to your pronouns. And that's all you gotta do. I need to clean out some of the welcome messages but I don't like to do that. Ten ten, that goes for you as well. Say your pronouns, and then you'll be all all set. <laughs> Waiting for glue to dry. You can only know if you watch the videos. But here's her merch with it. Okay, I might check them out later. I'm not great at checking out YouTube links. I'll be honest. It's just a thing that is difficult for me. Let glue dry. Here we go. Here we go. Cookies. This is not in English. Oh dear. Oh, so it's like shirts and it just says let glue dry. I get it. I get it. It is a thing though. It's a thing. That's cool that she made merch with that on it. I don't see my preference on there. Ten ten, what do you mean? It's not a preference, by the way. Pronouns are not preferences, they just are. You can click on the face at the bottom. Yes. Click on the face that goes with what your pronouns are. Stouty, you're all set. Make yourself at home. Explore, chat wherever. I'm glad you decided to join us there. I would love to see your art. If you want to post it in crafts and art, go for it. I prefer they, him, but not he or them. Okay. Are you being serious or are you trolling Ten Ten? And I'm asking you that because with you, I cannot tell. And there are some people who think pronouns are silly and they come up with weird shit just to be difficult. But if you, wait, there's a he, they. Oh, and that's why you said they, him. But no one's, the fact that they're not in the same order doesn't work that way. Mm, hold up. Yes, the pronouns thing is a fantastic litmus test for the Discord. If you think that pronouns don't matter or you don't know why they don't, or you think they, if you think they don't matter or you don't know why they matter, then, well, I mean, we're happy to talk about it, but it is exactly what Christian said. It's a fantastic litmus test. I have zero regrets about making that the entry point. If you really want a picture of what I'm working on right now, what channel should I drop it into? Um, crafts and art. That would be a good place for it, Stouty. 
And if there is genuinely a pronoun that someone uses that is not listed, I'm happy to add it to the list. It specifically says that. There's one that specifically says other to message me and then I'll add it to the list. Because we are pretty inclusive here. It's just so easy to be nice to people. Her tail is just going. We use pronouns proactively at work to create inclusive environment. Mm -hmm. Super, it's super duper. You're getting better at figuring out Discord. Proud of you. Proud of you. It's not so bad. It's not so complicated, but it can be. It can be, especially like if you get into a server and there's just way too many channels. That's not a good time. Not a good time at all. I think I think I found a decent balance between having an appropriate number of channels so that they're not all sparse and no one talks in them, but then they're not overwhelmed. We try things and if they work, Great, and if they don't work, we revisit the drawing board and see what can be done to improve it. Always striving for excellence. Discord is harder than using pronouns. It's true, it's so true. Cherny, yes, absolutely. Especially, especially if you're setting up a server and you gotta get into all the roles and you want to do um, interesting, fun things, man, roles are a wild ride. <laughs> I think I've done an okay job using roles in a creative way to do interesting things, but it's still on such a small scale, especially like if I'm thinking of like Diorama Llama, no, no Discord amazingness will ever compare to the shit that he has done with it. It blows my mind regularly. And that was before he started doing a RPG through a Discord insanity. Anyway, anyway. Ten Ten, we'd love to have you in the Discord. You just got to understand that pronouns matter and they're very important. just messing with me because my window on this other monitor is like outlined in yellow and I don't know why it's outlined in yellow well I do know but it makes me think that it's like sharing that screen but it's not because it's covered up so we'll rip this out and then I will use the old zipper to create out oh, the size for the new zipper. I haven't seen Tiger Miss Discord. I might need to dive in just as soon as possible. Um, Cherny, did you ever catch his stream? He's not streaming on Twitch anymore. He does YouTube and his main energies are in this Discord thing that he is doing. He has taken a Discord server, his Discord. Um, he revamped it in February. And he has made a NFT based roleplay game. And so if you think of your like tabletop roleplay games and like his page is still around, but he's not streaming on Twitch anymore. Um, he took a t like tabletop roleplay game that he's 
designing. Like he is the the game master, storyteller, whatever. But like there's it's in it's in the Discord server. There's an entire map of places you can go and you have to navigate the map to get there. And there's just I I'm going to ex explain it so poorly. It's just absolutely amazing. Yes, you've seen Twitch. I didn't know he left. Yeah, he left um, February, January, February, something like that. And he took a break. He took a break from everything for like a month or so to do some research and things. And then he came back and he was like, all right, here's what I'm doing. To start off, I believe that using person's chosen pronouns is super important. I myself use the pronoun extension and suggest others do too. My OCD has an issue with the choices often being he, him, she, her, and then also having a he, they, or she, they. It's just that it breaks the pattern of normative case, subjective case, instead of using two. Okay, so the grammar, the grammar thing. Um, okay, so you're saying it should be she, them. That's fair. That's fair. And that's a good point. Like, sometimes I've tried to think about, like, okay, so which one goes with that? Um... So that is a good point, because I am never sure which terminology is right. But I get what you're saying. I could change it, but that's also effort. Paul, thank you for sharing that. At first I was like, at first, at first, I thought that you were gonna be like, the they them thing doesn't work because grammar, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, singular they has always been a thing. Get the fuck over it. But I'm glad that's not where you were going. I knew you were cooler than that. I knew, I knew. So that's why I was like, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> My son is taking creative technology in college. I need to give him as much inspiration as I can. Oh my. Um, Sure, I, I don't know. I mean, if you really want to join his Discord and see stuff, you can. He he does have it set up like to join the Discord, you do have to have a Wax account and the whole thing because it has grown quite a lot. And so he has security precautions in place because it does deal with actual things that are worth dollars and whatever. and. People get weird about stuff, so he has a lot of um, preventative things in place as well. How many people does he have on there? Let me look. He has 321 members right now, and this started in April, maybe? Something? I was Googling this pronoun thing and one of the notable issues it causes is bringing out grammar Nazis. That's fair. That's fine. That's fine. People can talk about grammar. That's okay. Ow, my hair is like super tangled. Ow, ow. It was very painful. Ow, okay. <laughs> so, Tenten, are you going to set your pronouns in the Discord then? So, tomorrow I'm going to go and get the work light for the garage and hang that up. And I'm gonna like take inventory of all the mohawk stuff I have and just make sure I have everything that I need to do the thing. And I might fuck around with the sprayer and stuff. I think what I'm gonna do actually with the sprayer and like getting better acquainted with it, etc., is I'm actually gonna take the vinyl sealer and I'm gonna seal the desk from last fall because it's just sitting out there like naked ass wood. 
So I think sealing it is a good um, practice thing to do because that'll also help it. So then when I do get rid of it, it will protect the wood and I won't have to be like preemptively angry that the Karen I inevitably sell it to is going to fucking paint it with white chalk paint, which is how I got it. And I spent so much time getting rid of the chalk paint. So at least I can protect it before I send it back into the world. And scrolling through your crafts discord, you have a very diverse community. Mm hmm. I was worried mine would be really out of place. Nah, Stouty, you fit right in. We have a we are a wide variety bunch of people. It's a garden. It's the garden. And gardens take all types, you know? I wasn't ever sure if I should make a Discord, and then I did, and I have m was immediately glad that I did. Uh, okay, we gotta switch to this side. Ten ten, what did you decide? Or are you still off researching? <laughs> Which is fair. Doing research is good. Proud of you. It's the smart thing to do. I think I think Capulli was the one who said it. He was like, he said he was very impressed by the sheer intelligence that is to be found in that Discord. And I was like. Yeah, man, I gotta, I wholly agree on that. There are many brilliant, brilliant minds there, and I just love it so much. You're still deciding. Okay. Well, um, are there questions or concerns that you want to share that we can maybe help alleviate perhaps i figure you know what it's no it's no skin off my back to refer to someone the way they would like to be referred to I don't generally have a problem making someone feel more welcome in the world. Because they matter. Everyone matters. Every single person matters. It's kind of the least we can do. Basil. She's so sleepy. The sleepiest little kitten. Oh my goodness. Look at you. So yeah, last night I went and I was rearranging the garage, cleaning the garage, making out, creating, carving out a workspace for myself to do this furniture stuff that we're going to get into, like hopefully next week. And I got 18 mosquito bites. That was wonderful but I ended up taking this other desk that someone gave me and that's going to more or less be a workbench and then I'm gonna use the desk that I worked on last fall and then that's going to also be a workbench where I can put the other items that I'm working on on top of it which would be nice to not like be down on the floor all the time. I also need to check, I need to check the clamps on the coffee table that's in my dining room because that's our first project. And I glued it to repair a couple things uh, at least two weeks ago and I just left it. <laughs> but I should probably check it and I probably need to move a couple of the clamps to inject glue under the veneer on another side. Yeah, this thing sat in a barn for God knows how long. It is in very bad shape, but it's going to be great. Which one's going to be a work table? Pam's desk. 
Pam's desk is going to be our main work space. Yeah. So I'm going to use that as like our work table and then the coffee table will go on top of Pam's desk. But I am going to paint, not paint, what the fuck, I'm going to seal Pam's desk with a vinyl sealer so that protects the wood and that way when I do end up like getting rid of it on marketplace or whatever, when I do that at least I'll know that the wood has been protected and so it, whenever the next person inevitably fucks it up by painting it, it won't be quite as bad because it'll come off easier and not get down into grain. Are you diving into furniture repair or are you do that for a while? I've done it before, but not like properly. <laughs> I did it before to kind of get my feet wet and I wasn't doing it super proper. But this time we're doing it up very, very right. Um, since the last time I did it, I've had a lot more learning and lessons from a master restorer, master refinisher. And so we're doing it the right way. Repairing, if repairs need to be made, that's the first step. And then, um, and then we do the refinishing to bring it back to its original glory. My primary interest is mid-century furniture, but I mean, if it's just something that I liked, then I'll work with whatever. I found this interesting comment I would like to share. Some people just don't have an answer to the question of pronouns at the moment. For gender questioning folks, what may seem like a simple question is just the tip of an iceberg of deep personal contemplation. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is, that is a good point. What, um, what's so interesting about that to you, 1010? We can absolutely discuss. I like when people come in and bring the good questions after a good, healthy discussion. I like it. I don't know if changing the zipper on this hoodie is like the most interesting Friday night content for everybody. Um, I guess my mild apologies for that. <laughs> Um, but I didn't, I didn't want to start anything big. I don't want to start anything big right now because I'm really trying hard to get the furniture thing ready to go. Although I did, I did have the thought of macrame Christmas trees and I'm, I'm going to put that on my list of, of stream projects to do because that will be super fun to do like in the fall going into winter because who doesn't want a macrame christmas tree weird shit that's what i do aha your ones i released yay yay did it there's half of a zipper Christian, did you ever, um, I don't know, I asked, I asked, oh, you wanted to do graphite drawing tomorrow. I think it was asking if you were committed to like just portraits or figure drawing or like what type of portrait or figure drawing. I don't know. I don't quite remember what I was asking, but I wanted to know something about that. I never changed the zipper on clothing. Now that I'm comfortable doing with leather, you might have more ease doing that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It'll be basically the same, but just in clothing. Hmm. This is like a three. Oh, they did a three thread overlock on this. Uh, you can kind of see along the edge, maybe. Maybe or not. 
I don't know. Uh, this camera doesn't like this desk pattern. Were you always trying all things crafts or you started in something and then expanded? Um, I've always been interested in trying all kinds of things. I like to try new things. Um, I, I tend to take conventional, normal types of crafts and then I go to do them. But I, I always end up doing them in an unusual kind of way, I think. That other people wouldn't do and it's not necessarily on purpose it's just the way that i am so most people supported by the answers on your questionnaire are cool with the traditional he or she and most likely are not sensitive to be accidentally misgendered However, your Discord has a gate that forces everyone to answer and could more likely force people that are contemplating the answer to have to face something that they are struggling with. Um, there have been a few people like that, actually, 1010, and they have messaged me and talked to me. And a couple of the options for pronouns were added because of conversations with people who maybe were not comfortable with the presented options. That's also why it says if there's something, if none of these work, let me know. There's also one that says, don't use pronouns for me, just say my name. And that's, those are all very good points, 1010. And that's, those are things I have tried to address. But now I won't be able to stream on paper tomorrow because my sister's going to use the camera. Ugh. How annoying. Okay, so this side, the zipper is free. Okay, that's good. We like that. On to the next side. For the other side, there's only two. My nice camera won't work for streaming. Wait, what do you mean? What is your nice camera? Props to the, props to the people who sewed this, like it is really in there. Very secure, very nice. Fuji X100. Hmm, I don't know anything about that. Pancake, hi friend, how are you? What's going on? I hope your night is good and this weekend is great for you. This night is decent. Um, it has definitely been helping improve my mood because my brain is putting me through the ringer today and streaming getting to hang out with all of you helps that a lot so thanks thanks for being here everyone you have a choice so thank you for choosing to spend time here i really value you and appreciate that fuji x100 christian can you put that model in discord like in the live stream chat just because i'm not familiar with fuji cameras off the top of my head i used to have a fuji camera a long ass time ago it's mirrorless with no exchangeable lens hmm hmm if you post it in the discord i can i don't know i want to look at it and see See what I can find out about it and what could be done or something. I just like to try and solve all of the problems. <laughs> My biggest flaw. I'm trying to feel better. Good. That's a good start, Cage. One little thing at a time is all it, all it takes. There's an app out there. It's called No More Zero Days and it's related to the No More Zero Days subreddit. It's a an off branch of that it was made by them and I found that to be extremely helpful so it's an app and then like every day you go in and the whole premise the whole premise of it is that if everything sucks and it's shitty and you can't find the good ever in anything because we all get depressed 
I've been way deep in that hole before and it's a scary place. Um, but with this app, the whole premise is that every day, no matter what, you don't have to say that something was good. You don't have to pick something positive to say. You just write down one reason why the day was not a full zero. And that can be, I had eggs and they were really good. Or it can be literally anything, as long as it's something that made your day not a zero. And it sounds silly, but I found it to be extremely helpful, as have a lot of other people, based on the numbers. You're so nice. Thanks for saying that. I definitely make choices based on past experiences. Likewise, likewise. I think that's kind of the basic, basic human method, right? Being a regular old straight guy, I will never understand the struggles of coming out or choosing a gender or not choosing a gender, but I have to believe there's a transition time unimaginably difficult. Yes, Ten Ten, you're completely correct. You're completely correct. And while it's not something that you can relate to, surely I hope that you can um, see why it's important to be supportive of these things. Especially as someone who can't relate to it and who does have all the privilege that goes with being a straight white guy in this country. It is better to use that privilege to help other people who don't have such privilege. Try and level the playing field a bit, you know? No stranger to depression or bipolar depression, so winters are especially hard and even feeling normal. It's pretty much a manic episode for me. Pancake, are you are you bipolar? If you don't mind sharing, if it's okay to ask here. Stuck in a pain rabbit hole. Yes. What you gotta do, Cage, and it may, maybe it sounds shitty, I don't know. I know that's like an overbearing component of your life at the moment maybe you can find other things to focus on to take your mind off of that i know like art etc is like a common thing that people do but i'm not going to tell you what to do but i think a distraction would be healthy so it's my opinion that no one should be asked or forced to answer that doesn't mean that someone's preference shouldn't be respected. Okay, also keep in mind, it's not a preference. But it is also good to ask because if you don't ask, then you're far more likely to misgender someone. So what the best, the best thing to do is like when you're introducing yourself to someone, for example, And you would be like, hi, I'm Snow Peep. My pronouns are she, they, or them, Paul. You could say, my, hi, I'm Snow Peep. My pronouns are she, them. What's your name? Or whatever. I don't introduce myself to people. I don't talk to people, but that's not true. I do talk to people, but like, it's just, it's really fucking easy, okay? People should be provided the opportunity to announce without judgment. Yes, exactly, exactly. No one's judging anyone here. I'm not judging anyone. And the whole like pronouns thing, 1010, it's not about judging anyone. It's about being inclusive and making sure that people are um, treated with respect. And asking is the way to do that. Asking, or it's not even asking, it's giving people the opportunity to tell us their pronouns. That's the way to do it. I don't have manic episodes like others with my disorders do. Okay. Is is that a yes or a no? I'm not following. 
but it's also okay pancake if you don't want to talk about it here I'm an old straight white guy. I'm not sure what the privilege thing is. I've never experienced the privilege part. You might be surprised. You might be surprised. Privilege is, white privilege is getting pulled over by the cops and not fearing for your life. Among many other things. Not having people not having like cops or security guards follow you around a store. So many things. And in some cases, Cage, you may not experience privilege the point of other people do because you are a disabled person. And that comes with lack of all of the able privileges but you you're still white so <laughs> you've got that going for you and you're still male so you've got those things going for you too but point still stands i didn't answer you didn't see it oh, i i try really hard to keep up i'm gonna scroll hold up i'm sorry okay it's bipolar depression but yes technically i am Okay, interesting. I don't know if I've seen it um, officially listed as like bipolar depression. I know there's like bipolar disorder one and two and all that stuff. Bipolar depression, so yes, I'm bipolar. I don't have major manic episodes or I'm full of energy, but my lows are very low. Wow, thanks for sharing that. It is nice to know people a bit better. And also, real talk, also, I just want to say, so my sister is bipolar. My There's four kids in my family. I'm the youngest. No tropes about spoiled younger children. I'm the fucking, like, black sheep scapegoat of my family. Anyway, my oldest sister is bipolar, and she is the manic highs, low lows all over the place, refuses to take medication. Sometimes cops pick her up naked dancing in someone's lawn sprinklers. It's a whole fucking thing. And I'm, I'm usually the person that goes with my dad to collect her because though we don't talk, I am the person who can reason with her. <laughs> and it's, it's a lot for me. Um, and she makes me very, not, I don't want to say angry, but like, I, I can't talk to her because she like refuses to do things that make her a functional person. Anyway, it's a whole thing. But I was going to say of the people within, the, within this community who are also bipolar and who have been open about it, I really, really appreciate that because um, for myself, I like, I, for myself, I'm appreciative of people sharing that with me because that helps me reframe things in my mind, which is healthier than the negative feelings that I have because of my sister. I'm not like, I don't like judge bipolar people. That's not it. But seeing the different way, different, different people and how things affect them is helpful to me in reframing my thoughts on it. So thanks for that. I don't know if my explanation made sense, but it kind of made sense in my head. I'm a grumpy autistic. You and me both, buddy. I have to fear the cops like all the other minorities do. Not quite like it, but yes, I get it. Miscommunications absolutely happen. If you've ever seen the play the, I think it's a curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. Holy shit. It is so good. I saw it a few years ago and oh my gosh, amazing. And that, that was actually one of the catalyzing events in me learning that I'm autistic. Because I watched it and I was like, I've never related to a play so much. How, what? This is weird. 
Why is this happening? <laughs> well, turns out. Some people would say that since you don't even see your privilege is an indicator of privilege. 1010. Ten. Thank you. Yes, 1010 ten is completely correct. If you can't see your privilege, you have plenty of it. Generally. Generally, that's a thing. It's not a question whenever you experience privilege, people like myself in privileged position have a hard time recognizing privilege simply because they always haven't taken it for granted. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Cherny, thank you for that. That is absolutely accurate. I spun off the cups way too much. Well, Clyde, maybe you should work on that. Don't be a shipper. You, you're better than that. And you can be better than that. I love all this great conversation we're having. This is important, good shit right here. That's what we do. We real talk all of it, all the time. I said some people would say, not necessarily 10, 10 yes, but you are the one who said it, who said that some people would say, so there you go. There you go. Always with the technicalities on this one. I see it. I get it. If they get sassy because you refuse to show ID as a passenger in a car, which is not required, fuck them. This isn't papers, please, Nazi Germany. I mean, true. True. But still. The fact that you can do those things and not fucking get shot and murdered about it. Yeah, Clyde, you've got a whole fuck ton of privilege. And I have the weird perspective of being an immigrant refugee at the same time, tall, white, straight dude. See, do somewhat different sides on it. Oh, I bet. I bet. I, I know. I, I was going to say at the risk of sounding like, I don't know. I want to say tone deaf, but I don't know if tone deaf is the term. But like, I didn't grow up in this country. I don't consider myself from here. Um, so I also have a very different perspective on a lot of it. But I'm also a a straight looking female presenting white person so there's also that and i think because of things like that that's why it's even more important to be outspoken about these things because if you have the privilege use it for good I never said I didn't have privilege. I know, Clyde. I know you didn't say that. Being silent to cops and not exercising your rights isn't the answer for people with privilege. Oh, I know. I'm not saying that it is. I'm not saying that people should do that. I'm saying, like, there's a guy I know. He's white guy, well off, blah, blah, blah. He has all the fucking privilege you can pretty much have in this country. And, like, I don't know. He lives in a neighborhood of people of various races and he sees people get pulled over. He is going to kind of pull up behind them and, you know, make sure that everything goes okay. I don't think that's a bad thing. He knew nothing was going to happen to him, but he can use that to make sure that nothing happens to anybody else either. That's like the one example that popped into my head. I don't know. These type of subjects are extremely challenging to discuss and my experience has been there is extreme resistance to hearing an opposing opinion. 
so I do my best to verbalize my understanding of either side and use technicalities. I know, I know, Ten Ten, that you love opportunities to use technicalities. I'm not opposed to hearing the other side. I just like, I just don't understand how it negatively affects someone to like, how does it negatively affect you to use someone's pronouns, right? Like it costs you nothing to do that. Whereas misgendering a trans person, you can be putting them in actual literal danger and that's not cool. They get away with what they do partially because of white people. Wait, who is they? Have white people with privilege going along with whatever cops want because they have nothing to hide. They'd rather be right and shot dead than wrong and alive. Okay. Aunt Clyde, you're losing me. What are you talking about? If you haven't been on a ride along with a cop, I highly recommend. Uh, maybe. My sister was a cop for a while. I did not ride along, but I did, I did drink a bottle of Manischewitz to help her, um, to help her practice doing field sobriety tests. <laughs> she was like talking about it. And I like, this is when I lived at home and my mom didn't know that I drank or whatever. I don't know, turned a blind eye or whatever the fuck. Anyway, my sister was talking to me about it and I was like, I mean, I could drink this bottle of wine in my closet and help you out and she's like okay <laughs> this is my second sister she's like one of the only family members that i talk to but not regularly because she's also a lot i went on a ride along with my corrupt family member who is a cop does that count oh jesus Absolutely. It really firmed up my belief that they should have body cameras on at all times when dealing with an incident. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they should. They really should. Basil, you love being in the way. I've been on three. It's an interesting culture. That's one way to put it, yes. That's one way to put it. Cat, you better watch it. Don't you yak on my desk. You will be yeeted. Yakking gets yeets. So, 10-10. Are you going to set your pronouns in the Discord? Or at least pick an option that says to use your name or something? No pressure, just saying. It's your call. And it's easy to do. Basil Bear, what are you doing? By the way, I've been loving this stream. Sorry I'm not in the chat more. Hands covered in glue. <laughs> That's all right, Stouty. Thank you so much for those kind words. It's lovely having you with us. I need to go look at what you posted in Discord. I was just thinking about that in my head and I was gonna be like, what did Stouty post? But I'll just grab my phone here and look or I'll just pull up Discord and look. I just wanna get, there's just this little bit left. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna check Discord. Oh, I found um, one of, okay, so there's a website that I really like to get embroidery files from. Because sometimes we do embroidery shit and we make patches and other stuff. Yeah, my machine is borked. It will be unborked very soon. Once we do furniture, I'm taking that machine into the shop. Anyway, I found a, f a thing today that's to make a pineapple patch. 
and I had been waiting for one and then made one and it's super cute. Like maybe to put on a shirt, like up here. Hello Basil, so cute. She really is. She's just hanging out being sleepy. She missed me. I was, I slept most of today. My brain was cloudy and anxious as fuck and just not good because I ate pizza. So I kind of just needed to reset. But she's very good at knowing when I need her. Recently, she's been sleeping on this little cat bed on the floor because she's a trash cat and that's what she does. Um, <clears throat> but when I took a nap, I had my big, heavy, weighted blanket like on me. And then she climbed up and she laid down. There's another like, it's not a rug or a blanket, but it's like a flat designated space for her to lay on the bed. And it's at my feet. And so she went and laid there. And then one of the times when I woke up, there was a little cat keeping my feet warm. It was so nice. And her fur is so soft. She's pretty great. Except for when she's completely rotten. Mm, what is that? Oh, I missed a couple threads. Get rid of these little bits. Looks pretty good. I'm not sure on the sleeve cuffs of this. Um, I really want to try some of that like visible mending. I don't know if visible mending is a trend or if it's just like a thing that people do, but I would like to try it whether with this or I have a pair of shorts where like the left thigh is like practically ripped out of it and I think that's a really good opportunity to um, do something interesting there. It has been a thing for some years. I figured, I figured, but not as publicized. Yeah, sashiko so mending, similar to that. tangled where the fuck is that thing weird oh that got moved up there huh <laughs> that's dumb Okay. Sashiko mending is super cool. Those machines are so interesting. I will never own one, but they look so interesting. You say it's easy and costs nothing for me to choose. You're right for me, it's easy, but it's not me I worry about. I worry about the people forced to contemplate the question when they are not ready. 10 10 standing up for the minority. Okay. There, 10 10, what I was saying before is that there are pe people have come through my Discord who are not ready to answer those questions, and that's okay. We, may, we came up with options that worked for them. Pick a pronoun or don't, but you know. I like the idea of visible mending, like when they fix pottery with gold. <gasps> yes, that's very pretty. Is the problem that they have the question presented to them at all or that there isn't an option that they can choose? Couldn't the person who are being forced to contemplate it choose no pronouns if they don't know? Yes, Clyde, exactly. That's why, again, let me, I was gonna pull up Discord anyway, so I'll pull it up and we can discuss that. 
me set this wherever it needs to go. Um, back here, Discord open. So that's why when we go into the pronouns channel, Cherney, thanks for um, joining the Discord. Make yourself at home. Chat as much as you want. We're not shy. So please don't be shy there. Yay. Um, so you go up here. There are options like no pronouns. Use my name instead. Or all pronouns. Or other. Like if somebody doesn't care, they can choose all pronouns. Or you can say other because it's other. Message me and I'll add it to the list. Like, Tendon, I get what you're trying to do, but I also feel like you're being contrary just to be contrary because that's a thing that you like to do sometimes. The problem is being presented with the question, forcing them to think about something they may not want to think about could be triggering. Fair. Sure. And I'm saying instances of that have been dealt with appropriately and the people were okay with it. Isn't life full of triggering experiences? Uh-huh. In this case, I feel like asking people their their pronouns is a very accepted question. Yes. In the LGBTQIA and wider community, asking someone their pronouns is considered a very respectful thing to do. And it's very much a minority of the minority that would be offended. No, Clyde, you are correct. Clyde is correct. Oh, the camera. This is my camera. The problem is it doesn't output a clean HDMI. Oh, it shows the menu text. Oh, that shit is so annoying. There's the menu text in the corner so you can frame it. Oh, I'll have to look at that later. I want to see what Stouty posted. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's look. Oh, that's cool. Ah, okay. Whenever there are pictures on Discord, I always have to look at them on my phone because on the computer, it's just too far away and it's not good. So let me look at this. That's fucking cool, Stouty. How? Okay. I have questions. Ah, oh, Pierce Nips. Very nice. Is this cast like from a mannequin or from a person? How, like, how did you get this human form? Because that's fucking cool. And it even has, like, the skin texture and it's perfect. But then with, like, the geodes and shit. This is fucking cool. I love this. Giving you lots of reacts for it. I just think this is absolutely fantastic. A life casting. What is life casting? <laughs> uh, hold on. Charney, it's great visiting a stream. We have to leave now. <gasps> Charney, thank you for the raid and thanks for hanging out and contributing to this discussion. And for joining the discord for real don't be shy just jump on in anywhere and talk about whatever you want it was lovely to have you with us and please have a great great night absolutely the point of establishing pronouns is to prevent triggering an unpleasant emotional response with the wrong one is used not just preventing an unpleasant emotional response it's that you can literally get someone fucking killed when you misgender them and it's just basic fucking respect <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks. Real person. Everything is real people. How does the casting work? So your solution is not to ask the question at all? Because that ain't it. That ain't the answer, Ten Ten. Not asking the question is not the answer. It also lights up. What? Where does the light come out of? Does the light shine like through the geodes? I have so many questions. I am fascinated. Life casting is that you made a mold from the person. Okay. What did you use to make 
the mold so that it caught like the skin texture and everything because that skin texture is like I am fascinated and I just want to keep like staring at it this is my final thought it's your discord you're free to run it as you please I won't be offended or mad or happy with any choice you make I will just say that it's my opinion that you should afford everyone the opportunity to announce and display their pronoun if they wish, but not force a gate where someone must address it. Okay, sure. I mean, sure, 1010, but the, the, the group of people that you are um, talking about, that would be like so horrifically upset by someone just asking their pronouns that's such a tiny minority i don't think it's really an issue and based on the people i've met who requested different entries to the pronoun thing like it's been it's easy to deal with but we can agree to disagree on that point i guess i have some on my instagram that are more done if you want to see examples i do I'd also just go into it right now i'm waiting for glue to dry okay what is, is your instagram the same name the real stabby cigar boxes i need those anyway <laughs> wrong instagram uh, let's see yepper okay stouty stout hmm. that's a is that a butt it looks kind of like a butt wow so fancy silver but made from trash coffee stirs and duct tape <sighs> you're speaking my language yes wonderful uh, I like all of this. This is great. Is this what you do when you stream, Stouty? Are you working on this stuff on streams? Because, ha damn, I would watch that. Okay, so we have... I think all of the random threads out of here I hope looks like one here but I can't tell if this is sewing thread or if this is a piece of thread that makes up the actual fabric mm, I'm just gonna leave it and not risk putting a further hole in this Oh, yeah, wherever I can. Most of it isn't really streamable. It's pretty boring. It's, I can see that being a thing. You'd be surprised what kind of boring shit people watch. This is true. This is true. Christian, can we do a shout out for Stouty? Oh my gosh. I, I'm just looking at the clips on your stream. This is phenomenal. I love this. I already followed you, but I just went to go give another look. This is great content. I have no personality to balance it. You'd be surprised. I don't think I have much personality, but here we are. People watch whatever weird shit I'm doing. I don't know. Hey, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. So I guess next is to measure out a new zipper and then cut it. We have to like cut it and then take off, mm, I forget which piece, this thing maybe? There's some part, I, or this, uh, it's this. We have to take this piece off right here carefully. And then we cut it where we want it. And then we reattach that little clip, clamp, whatever you want to call it. 
Like the zipper works, it just doesn't have a pull on it anymore and that whole interface is busted. Fucking focus. It will not. If you ever catch one of my, I can show you the resin stuff, the live casting I'm still figuring out. I do want to help teach people how to do that part. That's awesome. I never really got into doing any type of sculpture stuff, but I think it's really neat. Let me get the other zippers that I have. Where did I put them? Uh, finding zippers. <laughs> maybe in here, but maybe not in here. Okay, there are some in here. I remembered correctly. I kind of like... I kind of like this one, even though it's not gray, but, oh, that was the thing. I have another zipper that's black that I got to fix a winter coat that I don't have anymore. So I might check and see if that's an option. It's hilarious that I have so many sewing type friends. I'm just interested in things I can't do. That's fair, that's very fair. It is interesting to see other people doing the things that, yeah, I like watching people do things that I don't know how to do or that I don't have the space or equipment to do. Oh geez, this is a situation to get to. get a furniture blanket like if this was my jacket it would have been burned by now why it's with all the burning so this looks pretty close this would be a pretty good substitute although I think having the green might look kind of cool Let's see. I might need to grab some clips or something to tie this together. I like fire. Just my go-to. Oh, your go-to instead of meat. Mm, fair. I just kept this one because again, the zipping pockets, hard to find. Very hard to find. And I just value that feature a lot. Let's see. I wanna I don't know, I wanna see how this might work. This zipper is way too long. Holy shit. So we have this one. This is the zipper that came out of the jacket. Cool. This zipper is just in way, way, way too long. This is a 24 inch zipper as well. Okay, this is a 24 inch zipper, the black one is, and this, oh, that's stuck. Okay, the black zipper is 24 inches. This green zipper is way longer than that. It's like a 30 inch zipper. Basil, what is that? Oh. That's cardboard. Don't tear up that box. I still have like so many boxes piled over here of all of the um, furniture stuff that I ordered. So yeah, that's fun. But I think, I don't know what I would possibly need a 30 inch zipper for also. But the black, the black fits and would look nice. But maybe it would make it interesting with the green, you know? 
Let's see. Let's just, I'm going to clip it in here a bit and see how that might look. For funsies. So we'll line it up and clip it into place. And I'll do both sides. Our zippers cut to size like piano hinges. Um, I don't know anything about piano hinges, actually, but yes, zippers are cut, they can be cut to size. With plastic zippers, it's much, much easier. You just cut that shit and sew it and go. But metal zippers are more difficult because, well, you can't just send that metal through the sewing machine. You will break shit. All kinds of shit. So for metal ones, you have to take off... Um, I'll show you. At the top, there's the teeth of the zipper and then after that there's this little it's not a clamp but it's like a little metal piece that's crimped on there this camera why why does it do this to me anyway everyone else that has this camera doesn't have this problem let me check something Video, video. Focus, autofocus, okay. Why is that a problem? I don't know. Anyway, so this little part that crimps on there, whatever, you cut that off. Not cut that off. Pry it off gently, cut the zipper where you want it, and then put those back on. Because these. Those little clipped on pieces are what keep the zipper from just going all the way off the edge of the, the strip. Okay, yes, I guess that makes sense. You just move the crimp stop, yes. Never really thought about it. Me either, until I was looking up how to do this. Me either. Oh, this is way, way too long. Wow. We'll just clip this back down here to hide it out of the way for the purpose of this. Okay, so now that's there, and of course it doesn't want to lay flat because I have the sleeves all up behind it. So if we have this and we have this, this goes on top over here, well if it's zipped up you're not going to be able to really see it. I don't know, I just think... I think the green accent might be really nice as opposed to just black. I've broken so many zippers in my life. It's always been like, well, there's no way to get that side to start matching up with the other side again. Burn it. Now I just feel lazy. Zipper replacing, it's one of those things that like, once you know how to do it, it's not complicated at all. It takes a little bit to learn how to do it. But that's why I'm doing it now on this hoodie that like, if I super fuck it up, it's not a big loss. But if it, I mean, I'm assuming we'll do it successfully and then like, hey, new skills. And then after that, the next step is to replace a zipper on a pair of jeans. That's much trickier. There's all that crazy stitching and stuff. But I do like this. I'm gonna go with the green. I think it'll be more fun than just the plain black. Okay, so <clears throat> let me find the thing that was telling me how to do that on the zipper. How to 
shorted middle zipper. This is the bottom. We're gonna do it from the top. Cause that's where those stops are at. Give me a tutorial, do not give me a fucking video. A metal zipper has to be shortened by removing the excessive metal teeth so you can cut the extra length before sewing it into your project. Right, without, with the correct length, you won't have to worry that you might accidentally hit the metal teeth and break the needle with the sewing machine. Yeah, it'll also give it more color, correct. Um, okay, so tell me how to do it, person. Wire cutters. I don't know if I have wire cutters. Pliers, really, or pencil. Like, needle nose pliers? I got those. Needle nose pliers in here somewhere. Mark the new length on the zipper. Okay. Where is old zipper? To compare. Here we are. Also want to I'm gonna clip this to clip the new zipper to the old zipper. So then I'll make sure it lines up. Don't use fabric scissors to cut metal. I know that. Yes, that would be a bad move. Big B, BRB, okay. Clipping it periodically to make sure it stays in line how I would like it to. Actually, I'm not going to unzip this. I was going to unzip it, but I think I'd do that a bit later. I'm not always great at like visualizing how these things will look afterwards. So that's why I go through all the effort of like clipping it into the, um, like into the jacket to make sure it'll work. I didn't know fabric scissors were a thing until I used my partner's scissors for something that wasn't fabric. You fucking monster. I bet, I bet you learned very quickly. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't own fabric scissors until, um, I didn't own fabric scissors until a few months ago. And then Carl was like, use some fucking fabric scissors here. So now I have fabric scissors and God damn, they are so nice. It's just like butter. It's amazing. It's so satisfying to cut fabric with fabric scissors or fabric shears is the correct term. I was just like, I'll use whatever my sharpest scissors are. It's fine. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know any better. And then I learned worth it. I say that as if they're like expensive or fancy or something. They don't even have to be expensive. They're like less than 20 bucks. I'm just a broke bitch who doesn't spend money. My mom used to mend clothes and she did a lot of zipper changes. Mm-hmm. That is one of those things that breaks and wears out easily. Absolutely. Like Dan, he has a, there's a certain brand of jeans that he likes and they're 
hard to find because there's like one store that sells them. I don't know. It's a whole thing. He likes these jeans. But the zippers, for a while, he kept buying them and the zippers would just bust constantly because they were shitty. And then he's like, well, fuck, there goes my pair of pants. And I'm like, but what if we could fix it? But I didn't know how to, how to change out zippers and jeans at that time, so I couldn't do anything about it. And then I was like, we're going to fix the zipper in this hoodie. Once we fix the zipper in a hoodie, then we can learn how to change the zipper in a pair of jeans. And that's like, I feel like that's a really important thing to do. Basil, why the fuck is your hair on my nos? Hmm. Those were the fabric Fisker scissors, but now she has really nice shears. Yes. Jeans are super annoying to change the zipper. You have to pick apart a lot. Mm-hmm, exactly. That's what I was saying before. When I was at a thrift place a while ago, I found a really nice pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans, which are like fancy. And I was like, why are these here? What is wrong with them? They look brand new. The zipper is fucking broken. So I was like, okay, I will buy these and I will learn how to fix the fucking zipper. I love Levi's signature series jeans. They're hard to find. Hmm. Why are they hard to find? I had a pair of Levi's in high school that I loved. They were, I don't even know what line or whatever. I kept them for a really long time. I wish I had not gotten rid of them, but I did at some point. They were so cool and they were so comfortable and they had this like unique pattern on the back and it was a whole thing. I love these jeans. And then I fucking ripped a hole in the butt and I was so mad because I was like, how do you fix that? What can be done? And then like seven years later, denim therapy became a thing. And now I would just send it to them and they can re weave the denim and fix the pants. I would totally have done that if I had known. They absolutely do not make them like they used to. When I asked my mom to change zippers in my jeans, she always said, okay, but you rip the seams. That's a fair payment. Levi's 501 jeans from the 90s. How were the 90s ones different from the ones now? I still have jeans from high school, lucky. I don't think I do. I don't think I do, but I have some shirts from high school still. Yes, I lost 190 pounds. None of them fit. Yes, I I get that. Um, so you had a butthole. Really, Clyde? Really? You proud of yourself there? I don't fit in them. I just still have them. Oh, uh, fair, fair, fair. I, I wonder, I'm trying to think like, if I have any clothes that I wore in high school besides a t-shirt and if they still fit, cause I'm curious. Cause I like, it might be a case where I fit into them again after I lost a bunch of weight. I got rid of my prom dresses, so that's out. I don't know. They changed the design in 2003. Yes, they do that over time. It's a bit annoying. Fabric pencil. I'm just gonna use a fucking marker because, or actual pen, because this shit is not gonna be showing. That's marked there. Carefully remove the top stops from the zipper with a wire cutter. Use the cutter tip to slightly pry open the top stop and then remove it from the zipper. Remove the teeth from the zipper by pulling them out one by one after prying them open. You can use nips to remove the top stops and a stretch of zipper's teeth in one pull is a lot faster than pulling one by one but it has a tendency to spoil the top stops okay i don't want to do that so we'll do it the nice way now it's all skinny cut jeans what happened to just normal cowboy cut jeans you can find those still cage you just have to go to the places that sell those 
get thee to a farm and flee. And then you will find those pants. Stouty fact. All the old growth denim trees died due to past issues in 2002. It'll take generations for the new trees to become as strong. What? I don't follow. Denim doesn't grow on trees. It's made from cotton, mostly. So what are you talking about? Okay, so we need, oh, Basil, you're coming back. And now my workspace is really like not conducive to that. <laughs> the new ones don't fit over my boots and I don't want bell bottoms. Okay. Have you gone to like Farm and Fleet and looked at the pants that are there? You don't cut them for your boots. You could also cut them for your boots. That's, that's totally been a thing for a long time. Like, uh, I don't know what era of years but like the inside seam of the jeans at the bottom people would totally snip those a few inches but yes I don't like the look of that it would bug the shit out of me when I would like borrow someone's pants and like if you stay at your friend's house and you forget pants or whatever the fuck you borrow their pants and you're like oh that would drive me nuts but it is a thing over here nope not that okay What is this game thing? This game thing is Stream Raiders. It's a passive thing. Some people like it. So that's why we play it. Um, people add like units to the battlefield every like five minutes and then every 30 minutes there's a battle. Some people like it. It releases good brain chemicals. So that's why we do it. I can take it or leave it personally. <laughs> so this little piece at the top camera, you are doing so well. Right, okay, so at the top, you see the zipper teeth. And then it's that other part right up here. That's what we're gonna get rid of. I need to learn to hem the cuffs, I guess. I would want it to look neat. Yeah? I mean, Cage, I'm, if you just go to the right place and search, I'm sure you the type of jeans that you want are out there. Cowboy jeans are totally a thing. Go to Rural King. Farm and Fleet, they have what you want, I promise. How the fuck did you say to get these off of here? Right, carefully remove them with a wire cutter. Okay. Use the cutter to slightly pl ply, does she mean pry open the stop and then remove it from the zipper? Oh, damn. Come on, this is silly. Maybe that's not the right thing to do that. What? Oh, are your boots super neat looking? My boots usually work, boots are all fucking dirty, right? So messy unhemmed britches is a-okay for that look. 200 points to whatever your house is for use of britches. That's a great word. I get my cargo shorts at thrift stores. Popular stores just don't respect my need for dorky pockets anymore. I um, almost exclusively buy used clothing because fast fashion is shit and it all breaks. And it is more ecologically sound to buy used clothing. It also eliminates like choices, which is good for me. Plus, ah, buying used clothes, like, I know that shit is gonna last because whoever had it before surely washed the shit out of it. And if it still looks good, then we're good and it's not gonna wear out, right? That's kind of my logic. 
and it's cheaper. Because I'd rather spend money on other things than clothes. Okay, but prying this out of here is a whole, a whole thing. I'm sure once I figure it out, it'll be much easier, but you know, getting to that point. I'm gonna end up like cutting myself with these wire cutters. Get under there. Definitely going to cut myself, probably. <laughs> I did it! I got one! Ah! Yay! Yay, I did it. Hopefully it's not too mangled. That little thing. We'll have to carefully crimp it back on. Jeez. So small. Okay then. Okay. I deal with resins and such, so all of my work clothes have holes in them. Just get something cheap and watch it slowly disintegrate off of me. Why do they all get holes? Does the resin get on them and then you cut that part out or something? What? Dried wood glue on my pants gives me something to fidget with. <laughs> yes, this is true. Clyde, how is the painting going? You're on the last color, right? What do you have left to do? No snacks for kittens. Last color, you want to spray at least one more coat of green and then touch up, so then I'm done. So you've done, you have already done just one coat of green? going slowly but surely resin soaks into the fabric and it makes a hard plastic area that breaks away that makes sense that makes sense i'm high sorry you didn't ask that clyde hi what what that has literally never happened before ever yes you did one coat already okay so you're gonna do two coats and then look for touch-ups good plan Come on. This is such a weird piece to pry off of here. I would like to try some things with resin sometime, but resin, I don't know. I have issues with it because of the whole like plastics and all of that, so. What? She's over here like making little commentary sounds. But like, I don't know, I want to do like the plant-based resins or something. It's far off. I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. My dumbass forgot that I can't put my CNC on it for at least a week or so until the paint cures. Mm -hmm. Yep, you gotta wait if you want it to be worth it. What, did you think you were gonna uh, where did that go? Oh, no, it's still on there. Did you think you were gonna like get the paint dry and just like plop it right on there? Because that's you you can but there might be some paint on the machine And then the top of the cart is gonna look like shit
Come on. This thing is going to be fucking mangled. Good grief. How about now? Nope. Mm, so that makes me think I want to spray, spray a clear top coat on to protect the paint if I have to wait anyway. Yeah, go for it. That's a good idea. I am all about protective top coats on finishes of things. Big fan of that. You're all gonna give me so much shit whenever I get around to redoing my dresser. Cause it's painted white and I did that. I fucking did that when I was like 20. <laughs> and then I was, I did white spray paint, which is gonna be so fucking horrible to get out of there. And I also was like, oh, let's do a top coat. And at the time I was dumb and my nose fucking itches ah it was dumb and my dad was like oh i've got this clear coat right here in a spray can in the shop so i was like oh cool i'll just use that no 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 um that shit turned yellow my white dresser is fucking yellow it's terrible <laughs> and there's one drawer that didn't get a top coat so there's like one drawer that's actually white the rest of it's like a very dirty white, like dingy yellow looking color. It's awful. It's awful. I can't wait to redo it because the actual dress underneath is beautiful. But 20 year old me didn't know. And when I bought it at Goodwill, someone else had painted it yellow, like proper yellow. Like, like this yellow. And I was like, but it might look good in white. So I did that. We live, we learn. You're ready on your COVID test before you go get a top coat. Very responsible. Kill the Pam in your head. Oh, there's no Pam in my head except for fuck you, Pam. Um, or what was it we said? We were just like, oh, we just said fucking Pam every time. There was a problem, that's right. Nope, no Pam living in my brain. Just. 20 year old me getting ideas and doing shit and learning how things work. But I mean, I still like the dresser. I have had it all these years. I think I paid like $10 for the whole thing. The only thing I can really do is make sure that I don't throw any scraps away. You can see on my Instagram, one of the butts is all the scrap pieces I collected. Nice. Unfortunately, some of the yards are not the most environmentally friendly. Yeah, it happens. A friend of mine makes, she makes jewelry from trash, like literal trash. Some of it's stuff she finds on beaches. So she lives in Illinois here, but she travels to California maybe once or twice a year, especially in the winter. She likes to go visit a friend there. Oh God, I am mangling this end crimp thing on this side. It is not coming off. Or it just did come off. Okay, cool. Yikes. But it did not come off cleanly. It's like little slivers of metal. Love finding those later. Hmm. Okay. Where did I set the other one? We have this. Oh, the other one's right here. Okay. Where do I put these so that I don't lose them? Tape. That's what I will do. Ooh, or is that, mm, no, those are full. Okay. I have some of those little like takeout sauce containers, like the plastic ones with the lids. And I like to use those to put small things in, but this is okay. I'm gonna tape them to the side. <laughs> sure, that works. That, that works, right? That's great. Safekeeping.
That's why I got all the straws, rescue from the trash. Mm hmm exactly. So she does trash cleanups, people give her stuff, whatever. She makes like really, really great jewelry. It's good quality, it's really cute, it's very popular. She's gone viral on TikTok multiple times and like her website's always empty because people can't get enough of her stuff. So I feel very fortunate that I got a pair of her earrings for my birthday because <laughs> I was just before she blew up. But it's good, I'm really happy for her. And then she does some things with resin, but she uses like a bio resin. It is awesome. She's, I don't know, I always say I wanted to be like her when I grew up. She's just like one of those absolutely phenomenal people. Haunting, fascinating, so cool. The fail wall, what? I want to see the fail wall with things get foamed into it. Yes. Okay, next step on the zipper. Let's take a look. So we removed the stop. Remove the teeth from the zipper by pulling them out one by one. Lovely. That's not gonna be tedious at all. So that means like all, of, all this shit's gotta go. What if I just remove some of these and then cut it? I think that might be what I want to do. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know how they're removing these things in one go, but okay. Remove teeth until marking or one tooth below the marking. Oh, okay, I see. So on here, got that. Okay, that's, I think that's what I want to try to do. And we move the clips down. Unzip. So, Stouty, how did you get into doing these life casts and all this stuff. How did you get into that? I don't know if this is the best tool for this job. How the fuck do you even grab these things? Ow. These are definitely very on here. Paul, you're back. You've been lurking while you do some soldering. Are you working on your LEDs for your um, really cool Daft Punk helmet thing? You can't get this in here. What the fuck? Mm, come on. Got a piece of it. Do I need to go from that side? How? How do they make these zippers? Because I want to know if all these little teeth, if all these little teeth are cr like crimped on there, or if they go through the fabric. That's what I want to know. How it's made? Zippers? Who watched it? Tell me. Who watched it and tell me the summarized version, please. Yeah, I got one. I'm gonna need a tray for these things so I don't lose them. Um, I had a whole bunch of all those little cups. What did I do with them? Oh, 
one has paper clips in it. That can be, that'll be just fine. Long story. First we're vacuum forming for arc. And then I realized that the human body has great curves in it. Ding, ding, ding. And then live casting, long story short. I love that story. I think that's really interesting. The human body has so many really great curves. It's true. And textures. It's just wonderful and magical. New project. Oh, putting together a controller for an animated Christmas or other holiday light display. So a controller for a lighted display, basically. That's cool. Is that, again, is that like a just for fun because you can type thing? Because I... I'm pretty sure those exist, so like, what's the appeal of doing it yourself? Isn't there like one or two big zipper companies that supply most of the zippers for today's clothes, like YKK and other letters? Yeah, YKK is the thing. I think you're probably right. And then different brands get their zippers branded. Okay, but really. How oh, in the fuck do you get these things out of here? I guess I found the thing that's gonna take us all of the hours. It's always something, remember? So, Stouty. In my streams, there's always something that happens that causes the stream to take like six fucking hours. Because I'm really slow at everything I do. And... There'll be something I'm like, oh, surely, surely this won't take very long. Famous last words. It always takes at least six hours. Hey, that came off easier. <gasps> Yay. Now we're, I was about to be like, now we're cooking. I don't know if we're cooking yet, but we're getting somewhere. We'll update once I know where we are, where we are at. There, wait, there you go, fail ball on Discord, yay! I'm never throwing anything away, so at least there's that. Okay, I am excited to see this. That's amazing, holy shit. That's a very awesome vibe in that space. Wow, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. It takes a very special person to come over and hang out. Sign me up, let me look at this. The prefab controllers are usually less customizable to specific patterns, additional props, and custom house sections. That makes a lot of sense. And there's a little bit of, I just wanna make stuff. Right on, right on. My curiosity says I'd love to see it and I can appreciate it, but I'd probably be mildly horrified. Oh, missile. This is so cool. I love this. Yes. This is so fucking cool. There's so much happening here. This is amazing. I really like, I really like the set of boobs on the upper right. Those are nice. But this is great. I love this. I want to come hang out. That even gets, I'm gonna even give that one a super cereal. <laughs> I really like that, that um, react. I'm not, I'm still not sure what exactly it means, but sometimes it just seems like the appropriate choice. I'm gonna paint it all black, so it's not too crazy. Wait, what, 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 what are you gonna paint black? Like everything, you're gonna black out the whole thing or just the foam or what? I think it looks great as it is. Oh yeah, okay. Using the needle nose pliers was absolutely the way to go to for pulling teeth. Uh -huh. In my basement, I have actual like teeth pulling pliers, like antique, like antique dental teeth, teeth puller things. I wonder if those would work on zipper teeth. <laughs> ha ha ha, I got jokes.
Ooh, you should paint some invisible UV paint on it. So when you turn on a black light, there's design like blood. Oh my gosh. I can repaint the faces and such later if I want, but to get the foam, it must all be sprayed. Hmm. Hitting the bed. Bigby, good night. Thanks for hanging out and lurking and being yourself, etc. Get some rest. It's your fancy fancy work all the time now man but yeah thanks for hanging out take care be well all that good stuff quiet you're so weird <laughs> i think maybe my tts voice got changed there because it doesn't sound like the usual person that i have quiet thank you for the bits awesome but the sound is too low see I have it turned up all the way but yes the levels of a lot of the sounds are borked and I want to fix it I want to fix it um, which is why I got into all that voice meter shit but I don't want to get I don't I want to redo the voice meter thing, but I'm not going to redo it until after I figure out why it fucks up my microphone sounds. Mm -hmm. But I do want to check because sometimes the TTS like audio gets turned way down. That's Vanessa. Okay. What is, what is problem? Which one was that? Was that fireworks? I think it was fireworks. Blah, blah, blah. TTS settings, the volume's at 100%. I don't know. It's just cause my levels are not great. Cause I need to fix it. That's all it is. I can now run the PC and the Xbox at the same time. Can I actually do something while I watch you? What? Is this your laptop or your PC PC? You didn't try messing with voice meter more? No, not yet. Not since Wednesday. Yes, yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. What did I do yesterday? I don't remember what all I did yesterday, but I, yesterday I was pretty busy. So yeah, that's why I didn't mess with it. I had other priorities at the time. I do want to mess with it more. I just got to sit down with it. Okay, well, needle nose pliers are supposed to be the thing. Now they're not being the thing. Well, that's also not what I wanted, fuck. Okay, just not pulling hard enough. <gasps> um, also, can I just say that you handled the earlier pronoun stuff with an amazing level of patience. It's a great way for me to be introduced to your streams. Stouty, thank you. Um, I don't know, this is a thing I've said for many years. Um, I am the most patient person that I have ever met. Maybe I get that from my grandmother on my mom's side. She is, she ha was like the most patient, unflappable person ever. Then again, I don't think she stepped outside her bubble very much, but there it is, whatever. Um, I'm an extremely patient person, probably because I take forever to do things and I'm a big pain in the ass sometimes. So maybe that's it. I don't know why it is, but it is what it is. I'm hella fucking patient especially when it comes to educating people on important things like pronouns and why black lives do matter etc i got the time so why not you know along that personally i feel like i have little patience for people who want to be pedantic about it but i'm willing to take the time because it's that important Sorry, I'm not trying to send you down an audio rabbit hole. It's fine. Clyde, you did not. No rabbit holes. 
are happening here right now. You're good. And I don't know why, again, I say this often too, but Saturday, Saturdays, today is not Saturday. Friday night streams are just like, they're always magic. I don't know why. The vibe is like almost always fantastic. We always get like good people, good conversation. It's just so nice. And it's just a Friday specific thing. I don't know why it is. Sundays are often very similar. But I just fucking love it so much. Yes, the laptop. Oh, okay. It's always interesting to see when and for what reasons white knighting happens. Wait, what is white knighting again? I don't... I'm not always up on lingo. What does that mean again? I guess I could urban dictionary it. I'm just committed to working on this zipper. These are coming off of here, but damn if it's not mangling the fabric. Which hopefully won't be too bad. It's just like really mm, here. It's like really chewing it up where I've taken out the, the teeth. Okay, that's gonna go, I'm going to remind myself what white knighting is. I've heard it, I just can't remember right now. Why, wait, this is, that's a, an investing definition. I don't want that. Give me Urban Dictionary, thank you. In forum parlance, it means rushing to the aid of another person for whatever reason an accusation typically reserved for when a poster is being hammered by another person and accused leaps in to defend them, usually without thinking things through as to why the person is being attacked. Hmm. Here, let's see. Defending someone who did not wish to be offended. Or, no, sorry, I'm not reading correctly. Defending someone who does not wish to be defended. That, yes, that's the definition I'm familiar with. Traditionally, it's men coming to the defense of women who didn't ask for it. Yes. Defending the people who didn't need defending. Yup. Pronouns are basic respect. And I, I don't know. Plus, if there's someone who is really so triggered by the possibility of any pronouns whatsoever, then when I tell them, hey, join our Discord, all we ask is that you set your pronouns, then they're gonna see that, if if that's really the case, they're gonna see that, and then they're just gonna choose not to join. Probably. I don't fucking know, but yes. Things and stuff, here we are. <laughs> okay. Can't do that. We can do this. Uh, I guess that's fine. And then, ow. Cool. Yanking teeth from the zippers. Basically, I basically just use it for whenever someone tries to use the excuse of someone else being offended to boast their own reasons for being difficult. I think that also applies. I think that definitely also works. Yep, I, um, I don't know. There are things that are important, so I got the time. That's also like how we approach trolls in my channel. We don't just like yeet the trolls immediately. We only ban for low effort because I do appreciate a good troll. I 
think I'm just not getting the right angle or grip on this or something. Maybe I'm getting better at it. We'll see. Mm. It's really hard to do that without dislodging the pins or clips or whatever the fuck. There was some person who came in here one time and they were like, black lives don't matter. And I was like, really? Really, you wanna do that here? I got the time. And this person tried so hard. I literally gave them the pie analogy. And they, I don't know, they stuck around for a bit, but like, I will take the time. Shit's important. I'm so a troll, but since the stream started, I was so serious. I didn't want to mess around. Oh, I don't want to give that impression that we're always super serious because that's not the case. Hmm? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll come and see you in a second. I would have banned them. Who? Kristen. Kristen is the best mod ever. He's got a very quick draw. But no, I'm not always super serious. When I first started streaming, I was super, super serious because I was like, just stream of consciousness talking about things and my brain, hmm, that's a place, scary place sometimes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we used to talk about politics and shit a whole lot more. And then I was like, nah, let's keep it light. And I think that was a good choice to make. They're getting stouty facts all over the place. Yay! I love learning things about people. The Black Lives Don't Matter, dude. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. I think my thought on it was like, if, if anything, any part of something I said plants any type of like seed or earworm in that person's brain, then that's progress and I'll take it. Stout effects are always trolls. Thank you for telling me that because um, I don't always realize these things. I'm autistic. My brain's real literal sometimes and it's a blessing and a curse. What was the other stout effect? I'm trying to scroll back now because now that you're saying this, I'm like, wait, what was the stout effect that you said earlier? Scrolling, scrolling. Do, do, do. Stout effect. All the old growth denim trees die due to a pest issue in 2002. It takes generations for the new trees to become as strong. That just doesn't even make any goddamn sense. Um, okay, I'm gonna run an ad and get up from my desk for a couple minutes to, I don't know, I was gonna say stretch, but I don't stretch. My joints are already way too bendy. So talk amongst yourselves, hang out for a sec. I will be back in just a couple of minutes. Uh, where is all my buttons disappeared for this? Hold on. Um, that, that, um, oh, that is on there. Okay, weird. I'll be honest about myself, well that's good. Other random facts are free game. Okay, BRB.
What? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm back. That's weird. How? I didn't leave this on for a long time. We gotta switch microphones. I really, really love being able to do that. Switch that one, cut this off. Okay, now we're good, now we're good. Welcome back. Hey, thanks. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. I really love being able to just unplug the microphone that's dead and just plug in the other one. It makes me super happy. Um, oh, I was looking for my lip balm before. Where the fuck did I put it? Did I even bring it in here? I don't know. I'm going to use this one. This is mostly empty. Thanks, Cage. Ah. It's like super empty, so it's like, oh, let me like scrape all this metal on my lip. <laughs> Whatever. I have to go to Sephora tomorrow. Anyway. I went to Sephora a few weeks ago. And, um, um, what was I trying to say? Oh, I got this face powder that I use like all the time because it's super great. Anyway, went to replace it. Was very particular about checking all the boxes. Make sure I get the right one. No, bought the wrong one. Didn't realize until tonight. When I was like, oh, well, um, maybe I will open the new one. No, because it is for a different skin tone than mine. It's like honey, whatever that means. But it is much more like a much richer pigment than, than this is. So, hey, why don't you use some of that patience on me? What an interesting sentence. Interesting question. Um... Maybe what you got, what you got. <laughs> yes, double Borkus. What you got, Stouty? <laughs> hmm. 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 All right, what is it? Lay it on me. Christian, you're just nailing it. I am making a Borkus of my own. It's just been a long progress because I keep, I work on it a little bit and then I stop for months. I think I need to take this down a little bit more. there that goes there that's gonna be at the top okay there there mm, yeah something like that should work so I noticed that during the conversation you corrected a couple of times that pronouns are not preferred can you expand on that yes I can <laughs> um, let me turn down the music in my brain I won't be able to really do well over text but are willing to try what do you mean by that just that reading like that asking things through text is hard or what do you mean just my typing is terrible your typing is just fine my friend you're doing great Mm -hmm. And vocabulary. Again, you're doing great. So, to make sure that I don't like 
mess up what I'm saying. I'm pulling up an article to help me gather my thoughts. Um, let me see here. Okay, so, um, yeah, so the whole problem with preferred, using the word preferred pronouns, is that, um, as this article says, the word prefer means to like better or best, or to ch one you tend to choose, something you tend to choose. Like, you prefer strawberry over banana, I don't know. To prefer something is to like it more than you like something else. That's to say a matter of preference, both option one and two are viable, but to give it the opportunity to choose, you choose one over the other. So with that in mind, saying preferred pronouns, while it's well intended, gives the impression that pronouns other than the ones specified are also acceptable. So if someone says, my preferred pronouns are she, her, that also implies that calling me he, him by he, referring to me by he, him or any other pronouns is also acceptable, just that I prefer the other one more. Oh, that's a hell of a split hair. Um, and that's not how it works. That's not the case, right? Uh, I, they're saying other things, but like that's basically the gist of it is that pronouns are not preferred. They just are like, yeah, if, if that, I don't know if that's clear, if that's not clear enough, tell me and I will um, come up with other ways to elaborate for you. Pronouns for most people are not a matter of preference, but a statement of fact. So that being said, what do you do? If you want to be sensitive and inquire as to, as well as offer gender pronouns, how do you go about doing it? The answer is simple, refer to someone's pronouns as their pronouns. There's no need to qualify the statement with the word preferred. Instead, say, instead of saying, this is Michael, his preferred pronouns are he, him, and his, say, this is Michael, his pronouns are he, him, and his. It's just about being kind and just that pronouns are. It's kind of splitting hairs with vocabulary though. When an airline asks your preference for chicken or fish, I don't think it's necessarily saying you're okay with fish if you choose chicken. Clyde, don't, don't, don't do this. <laughs> Yes, that's not what we're saying though. This is not about food. It was just like using that as an entry point to the discussion. Pronouns just are, they are not a preference. Funny you should use that term immediately after she literally mentioned a split hair. Also true, also true. We're just on a roll tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I was looking at it more like that since things are fluid, then preferred just meant as I identify now. I didn't see it as opening up the option to use other pronouns. And it's not like, I don't want people to focus on that part of it, but like that is kind of part of it. Like, like saying someone prefers this or that, like, like, I, I don't, I feel like I don't know how to make it any clearer. Saying that someone prefers this means that like, they prefer this, but other things are okay too. And that's not necessarily the case. People have pronouns for a reason. It's how you refer to someone without their name. Like why, I don't know. I don't understand why people make such a big deal out of it other than because they can't possibly fathom being inclusive to make someone else's life a little bit easier and better. Right, the language is changing. You're just saying, what are your pronouns? Exactly. That's all there is. That's all there is to it. You just say, hey, I'm this per I am me. Here's my pronouns. What are yours? And then the person is like, I'm so glad you asked. They are these pronouns. I guess I don't really understand why someone would make a big deal over preferred pronouns versus pronouns. 
because pronouns are not a preference, Clyde. They just are. <laughs> they just are. Fiona, you can stop. You don't have to bury the food. These cats. It seems like a one blog article opinion. It's not. Clyde, you were on board. You were you were in, on the same page as me this whole time. And now that Stouty is like, okay, I'm just curious about this coming from it. Because he wants to learn, which is good. Now you're like on the other side. What happened? My dude, what happened? <laughs> I'm not on board with preferred being an issue. What? What do you mean? I'm not on board with preferred being an issue. I feel like, I feel like you're agreeing with me, but you're wording it all wrong. Is that, is that what's happening here? Fiona, stop. Oh my gosh, sweetie, it's okay. Let me just take this so you don't have to worry about it. There you go, it's out of sight, out of mind. I love you. She just wants to bury the cat food and she can't and it's really annoying when she does it so i just set it up on the shelf because saying there are preference leaves space for people to be like well i prefer to be an asshole and call you by the pronoun of my choice correct correct and like sure if we are all cisgender people cis meaning you identify as the gender you were assigned when you were born if we're all cisgender people here talking about this Sure, it, I can understand why that can make it harder to understand and grasp and all that. But like, people are fucking shitty and like, trans lives matter, black lives matter. Like, misgendering someone who has spent their whole life being assigned and told that they are a gender that they are not. And then they go to make themselves appear the way they actually are and then people want to discount them by repeatedly misgendering them like that's so fucked up um i was just touching base and making sure that saying preferred is now offensive i don't really have a foot in this race and so it's important to correct myself stouty you're golden you got it you've got the right idea my friend and thank you for asking i really appreciate your willingness to learn and be better Let's be fair, those people are going to be an asshole anyway, regardless of how you phrase preferred. Sure, but those people are not really what we're talking about here. My point here is that I hear preferred from a lot of very schooled people in this subject, and those folks are not echoing the sentiment that you are about preferred being bad. Okay. My um, knowledge of this comes from a whole bunch of trans friends of mine. I know a lot of trans people and this is the way it is. The trans and queer community of, I mean, I am not a trans person, but I'm fucking queer and these are, this is my community and I just, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. If the people that you're talking about who are very schooled people on the subject, if they're like hetero cisgender people who are trying to do the right thing, good for them. But they still could be missing the mark. But pronouns are not a preference. And it's best to just get rid of that preferred word. I'm not trying to make a big deal. I'm just saying that your opinion here isn't shared universally, even within the trans community. That's fair. That's fair. I didn't say it was shared universally, Clyde. I didn't say it was shared university, universally. I'm saying... I'm saying... I... In my experience... Pretty widely that I have seen pronouns were not a preference and just about everybody seemed to be on board with that. I don't fucking know what to tell you, dude. 
It may not be bad, but it's also easy to just cut out. Just say, what are your pronouns? And cut out the preferred, if anything, less words and thus less work. Exactly, Stouty, exactly. Like, I feel like, wait, what? Let me read more. Oh, you said up here, I guess my question is just because you have anecdotal evidence from friends, does that be anecdotal evidence from my trans friends? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. And it's not just anecdotal. <laughs> it's not just anecdotal. First I've heard it, but now that I have, it's just easier to change for that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, why why is it important to keep the word preferred? Like, Clyde, is that what you're trying to say? That you think it should be kept? I don't I don't understand where you're trying to go and I don't want to argue. <laughs> it's confusing. You're confusing me. Cause you I don't I know you like to deep dive into shit and debate, and I don't my brain does not want to debate today. But I'm also saying, I'm not trying to also, bleh, Clyde, I'm also not trying to shut you down. I'm just not sure what your goal is here. I never said what I was saying was universal. Just saying it's easier to just cut that word out completely and then avoid problems to begin with. Because I guarantee in an exchange between people like, meeting and whatever and saying this is my name here my pronouns no one's ever going to say correct if you if you talk to someone and you say oh what are your pronouns or here are my pronouns no one's ever going to correct you and say why didn't you say preferred I'm not arguing for being kept okay this is a deep topic so if you don't want to go deep we shouldn't I mean we're already in it we're already in it I just I'm just saying I might get lost if you go any deeper <laughs> But you're welcome to talk about whatever you wish to talk about. I'm not going to fault you. You have free reign. Stouty, don't apologize. You did nothing wrong. Nobody, no one has done anything wrong. No apologies. I mean, didn't mean to get too deep into it. You didn't. You didn't. Like I said, just new info and I wanted to hear the reason. For sure, for sure. There's just a um Nothing, like, nothing is black and white. Everything is conditional. And that even applies here. Everything is conditional. So, yes, what is true for one person or group of people is not necessarily going to be true for the next person group of people but we can come up with some loose guidelines to make smoother sailing for everyone i had what i had did so all of this new identity stuff is difficult for me i'm just adapting as best i can i don't understand what you are saying stouty I do not understand what you mean there. Oh, so if I have this here, I'm going to make another mark. Mm -hmm -hmm. And marking where I'm going to be done pulling teeth. I think it's good that we're talking about these heavy topics while I am pulling teeth because that just really feels like so appropriate. Mm, I know it's not new, just become more part of social interaction. Right, right. Society evolves and changes, so we learn and we adapt along with it as best we can. It's the case that there are, in fact, some people who absolutely don't want their pronouns to be considered a preference. 
So while the term preferred won't offend everyone, it will offend some and its absence will offend no one. So the easiest way to satisfy everyone is to leave it out. Paul, yes, MVP, thank you. That's, you worded that so much better than I ever could have, thank you. No one's stance is that if, for example, a form says preferred pronouns, we shouldn't reprint them. What? But the next version should have it dropped? Huh? What? <laughs> uh. Clyde, why you do this to me? You're saying no one is saying that if a form has outdated language, we should not reprint them, but the next version should have it dropped. I mean, I say reprint the form, but the way that places usually do things is yes, they re they update forms every however often because I literally was the person who used to re redo forms. That was my job for a while at the um, dental supply office supply place. I have created many, many forms. So yeah, sometimes they would update the language on some of them. I think I even got some calls where people were like, oh, we're updating the gender language on our forms. And I was like, fuck yes, fantastic. And I like super praised them for doing so. Um, gender to construct, get rid of it, the end. Can we just, can we go with that? Can we go with that? That take, is that acceptable? Because that's really where I'm at. Cage just wants to go with the flow. That works too. And because of your privilege, Cage, you can do that. Just to bring us full circle. We are really, we're really doing the real talk here tonight. This is good shit. Good shit. Pulling the teeth from the zipper is really satisfying. Just now that I'm kind of getting the hang of it, just gonna put that out there. If I can fucking get the hang of this thing. Pliers, come on. Well, that was interesting. What, what was? What was it? Which part? <laughs> it's always interesting here. I mean, I think my about says always unconventional, never boring. And that's true. The way I see it is about not allowing bigots the space to be technically correct. Mm -mm, tell them. And also not making respecting people's chosen pronouns something you can opt out. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes, thank you. I love, I love when people can articulate things so succinctly and correctly because I am shit at that. Yes, Christian, bullseye, thank you. Perfect answer. Christian and Paul, rock stars tonight. So that goes there. Do I need to take out one more or no? Tricky, tricky. I think I might, I might take out one more tooth. Teeth. I just wanted to fix the zipper in my sweater and here we are. I never know what we're gonna talk about. It's always a wonderful surprise to see what turns the stream will take we talk about everything here <gasps> marcus hello how's it going last night when i was high i wa i listened to your boat videos they were so relaxing i fucking love it and i saved them so i can go back and watch them again 
So thanks for making those and sharing them. Just fine, I'm playing Sea of Thieves. What the heck is Sea of Thieves? Why is this shit always fucking happening? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna close this or something. It's a pirate game, of course it's a pirate game. I had to re-upload that one so I'll give you the new URL. Yeah, just throw it in Discord, I'll find it. Or I subscribed to your YouTube channel, so couldn't I find it there as well? Is that possible? What I ended up doing was I had it on and I was watching it for a bit and then I was doing other things. So I muted the other things and I was like watching other stuff or doing whatever, but I was listening to the boat video, which was nice. They're unlisted fancy why why do you have them unlisted just curious hmm. marcus sails even in video games he is a pirate through and through and then and then marcus said i could be an honorary pirate and it made me really happy i'm not a pirate sailor i'm an honorary sailor i think that's what he said you're a pirate and you have to run around and do piratey things to get gold so you can buy nice pirate clothes. Wonderful. Yeah, hi. Oh, my entire view of this channel being innocent is ruined. Oh, stouty. Oh, stouty. <laughs> um, pretty sure like every single person that's in my Discord is very much a fan of weed. Yeah, we like weed here. Still figuring it out, the 360 thing, so I don't want my she attempts to show up. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't say I'm a fan. We have a relationship. Yes, we know. We know rum is your true love. That's fine. It's your number one. You want a treasure chest. Treasure chests are cool. Gotta be honest, I'm a drinker. That's all right. That's all right. In the devil's lettuce, I've got an unfollow. Paul, you wouldn't even. You're a fan of weed. You just happen to live in Texas. Alcohol is fine. I like to say, as long as people are responsible with whatever their vices are that they are partaking in, do your substances. Just please be responsible. And, you know, try to steer clear of, like, the meth and the heroin and that shit. Marcus, what are you- oh, you're playing your game tonight. That's right. I was like, what are you up to when you're playing a game? Duh. I'm pulling teeth, literally. Mm, wait a second. Did I make this too short? Fuck. Mm. Maybe not, maybe not. Because if I add the thinger, I hope it's okay. All right, not taking off any more teeth on that side. We'll just match the rest of it. Hookah and beer. Hey, there you go. And now caffeine because of stupid jaw. What, um, what, why does the job make you have to have caffeine? That's that and that. So this one needs to come off. Get out of there. I have to wake up. Oh, ew! Five o'clock every day. That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. What the heck kind of work is that? I'm pretty sure with all of us combined, we consume enough cannabis to equal a Midwestern US state or small foreign country. Maybe, maybe that's just you, Clyde.
Although, um, Vibe isn't always around as much, but I know she is like high pretty much all the time, she said. So you might be onto something. Wake up at five every day and carry around a 75 pound backpack all over the place. <gasps> Pest control technician. Oh my God, come to my house and get rid of the fucking mice. And then there's a fucking, there's roaches here and there. Don't know where they're coming from. Making me fucking angry. I want to move so bad. Fucking rental houses. Slum lords. Blah. I really enjoy the interesting range of occupations that people have as well come get rid of my ants i'll pay a lot what do you have ants for did you leave something out what are they after what are they getting into also if you get peppermint ants hate peppermint they do not like it i had ants trying to come through like some crack around this window a lot I don't know, a few months ago, and I used some peppermint, and they, it, I mean, it got rid of them for a bit, but then they came back for a bit, and then they just disappeared one day, and I don't know why. I got a possum you can take care of. How is the porch possum, though? How is that? How's your new friend, Paul? So our house is built on sand, and there's no rain, but there's a shit ton of ants in the sand. I guess they came in looking for water. I don't know. Wow, wonderful. Come on. San Fernando Valley based. Can't help outside of that. here in the Bay Area. How far apart are those places? I, I mean, I know where the Bay Area is. I've heard of San Fernando Valley, but I don't, I can't pinpoint that on the map in my brain. You've had pet possums for years. Wow. Possums creep me out. I don't know why. I'm not like, ew, possums, make them go away because I know they're b beneficial, this and that, because I have several friends who are all about them. They just make me so uncomfortable. Might as well be a different state. Fair. Don't go over the hill. He's been digging up the, the wood strips between the seams and segments of my driveway. Maybe there's stuff under there that is tasty. Just looking for snacks in the ecosystem as best he can. Doing his best to get by, you know? Maybe you're the pest. Does he, the, I was gonna say he was there first, but that particular possum, no, he probably was not. Anyway, don't mind me. Just the annoying ecologist over here. I like possums with their weird little faces and hands, basically. But some of them are just real, real ugly. I don't blame you, driving I-5 is not the most fun. So much fog, yes. Come on. But I like their ugliness. There you go, that's fair, that's fine. You're loud. I'm just pissed, you almost scared off your, oh right, the Uber Eats person. Yeah, cause he did, what was it? The Uber Eats person called you and was like, um, I can't deliver this. There's a possum on the porch. I'll be sitting here happy in my 110 heat. It's fine as long as it's a dry heat. I don't mind the desert, like as far as all the dryness and the heat because yeah, I don't care. It always makes my hair look really good in the desert because there's no humidity. It's so nice.
Mm. Oh my gosh. Come down to Joshua Tree. Get some of the heat. Yes, you do like going there. That's true. What the fuck? Go in there. Okay. Three generations to get wild possums into pets so they can hold and pet. They be crazy. It's like weird. It's like wild animals do wild animal things. I was really liking the music, but earbuds don't charge while you're wearing them, sadly. Mm. Did that pause? What happened? There it is. No exit. Oh, that is what happened. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, this is the page I need. Okay. What? It helps that I live in a garage. Oh, it helps that you lived in a garage at the time because of working with the possums. There's like music, but then I can't hear it. I don't know. I will figure that out later. Mm, nope, that's not what I want either. Oh. Fixed itself, okay. Wild blossoms and houses don't mix. This is true, this is true. We have a friend who volunteers at a wildlife sanctuary place pretty reg like regularly, so she's always posting pictures and videos of the possums and squirrels and whatever else. Come on, get out of there. is annoying. They need cement to poop on. What? I don't think that's their native habitat. <laughs> is like dirt or grass or forest floor not an appropriate medium for that? Super lame. Um, that I could hear my music, but I don't want no headphones, so. Who is that person? Hmm. Orange, you glad you stuck around. Wow. Clyde, are you done painting it? got them to go into the litter box. I'm such a bad trainer. Oh, whatever. I didn't know there was a goal of a litter box, so. I sprayed a second coat of green. Might need a third. We'll see in an hour. Good job, little heater. Now, if only I could get 
these fucking teeth to come out. I like was on a roll and they were going great and then I don't know what happened. Kind of like grab the side of them or something. I was doing it, but not paying attention to how I was doing it. To be fair, these are really shitty pliers. Got it. How, wait, how much? How much fabric is after the stop? Mm, almost three and a half centimeters. Just give me one round number for fuck's sake. Okay, so that is three point three centimeters. Paper. I had paper. Where did I put the paper? Paper's over here. Mm, so what is that? 33 millimeters. Thirty-three millimeters of fabric above the stops. Now we know. Seventy here without a heater. You should. Move. There you go. Or just move anywhere that has trees. You know, trees are pretty nice. I like them. Why is I'm not hearing it? Because it muted the music on my side. Dumb. Doing math. Who? What? I would never. Math is not my strong suit. It does not come naturally to me at all. But when I understand it, then I'm good at it. The understanding part is the very difficult part. What is this set timeline about you wanting to move Clyde? Do you have like a work contract that runs out after a certain point or something? Because you've mentioned this before and I'm just intrigued by it. Or is it just like life goals and deadlines for said goals? It is, it's way too fucking expensive. No contract. Oh, she's trying to finish school there. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's kind of what we're doing while we're here. I'm in school here, so at least stay until I'm done doing school here. But he keeps saying periodically, he's like, man, I just really like living here. So who knows? Who knows how long we'll be here? Get the fuck out, stupid teeth. Live in a year in my backyard. Do you are your room for shop artist coming? There you go. Post shop. Yep. Yeah, post post pics of your shop. That's kind of required. Everyone shares their workspace. I shared one that was not mine, and the divide was very interesting. We all love sharing shop pics and playing I Spy. I Spy is the best. I don't have a shop, but I post things that are just mostly pictures of a dark garage where you can't see shit. Because I want to feel included or something. <laughs> That's not the reason.
Come on. Yes, post it messy. <gasps> Do it, messy, messy is good. Messy is, yes, messy is real. So post as is, that's how we roll. We keep it real all the time. Hmm. Workspace is better than shop. What, are you, what does that mean? Marcus will love it and me. Everyone will love the super messy workspace. Yes, I posted a very clean workspace from an Amazon review and I think most of us showed on it. It was, there were, it was really interesting because there was a big divide of opinions. And I just thought that it was a very clean and well arranged workspace, like a workbench thing. And I thought it was very satisfying to see. And then a couple other people agreed and they were like, yes, this is nice to look at. And then people were also like, this person clearly doesn't have more than one hobby because their workspace is too clean. So it led to some interesting discussion and I think that's great. I love when there's dialogue that gets people like, that sparks some kind of note that gets someone um, to care enough to say something about it that engages people. That's, that makes me so happy. Create workspace shop. Workspace feels more inclusive than shop. Oh, so I was correcting my, we all love sharing our shopping. Got it, got it. It's fine. I did not feel excluded by your phrasing, but I appreciate the, um, the effort. I knew what you were saying. Posted, woo, -woo. yay. And the other things that make me super happy is when people are like, I'm here, I like this, I like this mood of this channel, whatever, whatever. And then they jump in Discord and then they are like posting shit and they're engaging from the start and they're chatting and just, oh, it's everything. It makes me so, so, so fucking happy. Cause this is how we build the community. <gasps> oh, did we do it? Did we hit 69 members? Hold on, I was counting that today. Earlier, there were 68 members in the Discord, which also includes bots, which is kind of annoying, but, but that means we surpassed it. Now we have 71, we did it. I was trying to see who would be the 69th member. <coughs> Technically, Stouty, Stouty, you are the 69th member of the garden, so. Congratulations, very nice choice. You're making me use it more than I have in a month, by the way. Practice makes better. Practice makes better. Um, I assume in here, here it is. Miss Elle must be at work or something because she's not in the chat. You are super nice. Mm -hmm. You're the 69th member. It's only because the last two months I've been trying to adapt to a new full time job. What was this? What are you saying? You have all the type bonds. Yay. Oh, and you're like, Minwax, nice. And I'm like, Minwax, yeah. <laughs> Which makes me laugh. Oh, this is great for the I spy pictures. I love your use of milk crates, like drawers on the shelves. I love that. This is a fantastic workspace. I do see all the type on. Nice to have a variety. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is fabulous. I like this like mound of just wires and all kinds of shit. There's like a little umbrella thing. That's cool. This is great. Stouty, how long have you been doing this, um, like, life casting and making these things? How long have you been doing this? 
like your clamp solution above the door, the, the clothesline with all the clamps, that is a good way to store those. Um, what I meant by Minwax was because in Northern California, Home Depot dropped Minwax and replaced it with a much lesser, yes, I think that was Home Depot everywhere because we don't have Minwax, we have this weird barathane shit and every time I go to Home Depot and I'm like looking at that stuff, I'm like why does all of this seem like cheap generic shit? You gotta upload shorter movies, why? 90 minutes, 360 is too much for it to process. Like, too much at all, or just that it takes a while? I would let it chew on it for a while and go do something else. Set it and forget it, which for a lot of home stuff is very well suited for the task. I can say that most of that was recused from production jobs that would have thrown it away. Um, thank you for rescuing all that crap. that about two years but i was in art department for around 10 years oh yes that explains why you have so much stuff so great this explains a lot that you have that background i love it general finishes in next severe thing i mean in some people's opinions i'm like yeet all of it give me mohawk <laughs> but that's because i'm doing something different if you want to get good varnish you buy Epiphanes or purchase from Defender.com. See, everybody's got their opinions, and that's okay. Can you pin workspace posts? Christian can do that. What are we pinning them for? Just to have like a kept reel of people's workspaces? I mean, I guess so. That's going to require some scrolling. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Boats and chests. Maybe the other ones got posted in pics. So, like, these workspace pictures are not going to be all in the same place. Not everything deserves mohawk, though. True, true. Wouldn't use mohawk on a top coat for a shop cart. Well, yeah, that doesn't need lacquer. You could have lacquer on it, but you don't need lacquer. Scroll tomorrow for the rest of them. Wow, Christian, willing to do the work. I think a lot of them are in the pics channel um but i think marcus's garage is uh, maybe in this one i don't have any opinion on lacquer i rely on you for that oh thank you so kind so kind Mm, there's some up here because I forget where Marcus posted his garage, but I think it's maybe in here. I'm not sure. Or it's not. I don't know. Maybe a separate channel. Workspaces are so dope. I would post all the time of other workspaces. I would post all the time of other workspaces I see and my own. What? You're dropping words there, Clyde. What are you talking about? No, it won't be your shop pick, just... Huh? I do not want that to be my shop pick. I run a tight ship around here. We like ships. We like ships. Marcus is our resident sailor. But we like ships. Just one of them. You can post as many shop picks as you want. I will redeem myself later. Do it. Do it. They're, um, Clyde, but yeah, they're just gonna get pinned in whatever random channels. So, just letting you know mm, more pulling teeth I'm getting there I'm gonna try to get up at an okay time and I'm gonna go get the light and the other shit that I need from my spreadsheet of stuff, the stuff that I was gonna pick up locally. And I might fuck around with the sprayer five time. That'll be fun. It didn't tear up the fabric too badly. It's not awful. This part uh, up here is not great, but I think that might end up getting cut off. So, we'll see. Uh, remove teeth until the marking. 
or one tooth below the marking, okay? Put the top stops back and use a pair of pliers to crimp it back onto the zipper. The shorter length of the middle zipper is ready to be used for your next project, okay. So we're supposed to try and put those back on. Let's see if I can do it. I feel like these things are just gonna get broken. These, these things, uh, focus, you won't, or kind of. I, I need a desk that's level so that this camera thing can be level. Maybe that's what I need is just a different mount for this camera because it refuses to cooperate. So yeah, Clyde Possum Foot, if you want some spray paint, because all those milk cartons are full of spray paint for jobs I pulled from the trash. Do they work? Who knows? I'm kind of like that with spray paint too. I've got a bunch of it in crates. They're not in crates. It's actually in like a picnic basket in my basement. Um, Cause I had this like picnic basket thing last fall and I started storing all my like solvents that I needed to carry back and forth to the garage in this basket cause it was convenient. But now there's a whole bunch more shit and I gotta figure out how I want to store all of this. I will be buying so many solvents tomorrow. They're probably gonna think I'm making meth or a bomb or something. Did you check if they sold pretty PVC locally? I have not checked because I don't have a need for it at the moment, but I, sh I should check. I have a hard time keeping things around that are questionable because I feel like I'm setting up older me to be frustrated feel like you're doing no favors for future you. And that makes sense. Start versus what are those things? Clyde, what are those things? I don't know what they are, so I don't have an opinion. can't afford either. I enjoy causing myself frustration when I make my art. Plus, since I'm still learning, free is good practice. This is very true. Very, very true. Brands of calipers and micrometers and stuff. Oh, okay. Yep, I don't own any of those, so that's why I don't know what those are. Cool. Okay, let's try and put these stops back on without fucking breaking them. That is the hard part. Oh, fuck. Uh, Nope, that's not good. That's not good, don't do that. Never had to use them, not a machinist. Same, same. Oh Jesus, I hope I didn't just fuck up the zipper royally. An orbital sander that makes stuff fit if it's the wrong size. Wait, what? How does that work? Okay, fixed it. Not ruined. <laughs> Go in there, on there, do thing. I kind of wish I could steal the stops from the old zipper. I have a feeling I would just totally mangle those. How hard do you have to crimp, crimp, push down, whatever. I have shit grip strength, so, you know. Problems with having fucked up hands, joints and stuff. Wait, but how does this, wait. Is he just saying that he sands things down to make them fit? 
I have also done this, but that's not my go-to. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep up. Uh-oh. Okay, it's right here. Does that, um, the PVC that's really nice, does it have like a specific name? I forget. I had it open in a tab for the longest time and then I closed the tab. But I am willing to check. Cause then I was like, oh, I could make a frame for uh, some other thing that I was thinking of. Then again, I do have a whole bunch of PVC in my garage that I should probably use. Measure twice, cut once, then sand to actually make it fit. There we go. You're speaking my language. Some people go very high precision with their woodworking, measuring down to the 64th. Others go brr with power tools and make things fit by grinding shit away willingly. Neither is wrong or correct. Precisely. There are many ways. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I don't know why I like that idiom so much because I love my cats and I don't ever want anyone to skin them because that's horrible, but it's just a good one. I feel like I said that on stream one point and somebody was like, oh my God, what? It's like, well, haven't you heard that before? I'm not literally talking about skinning cats. Whoa, personal attack. I don't go willy nilly, same. Same, I know not this willy-nilly business. I do try to be pretty fucking precise in almost everything I do. Which is why I'm like, are these level enough? And I'm sitting here debating about whether or not these are level enough. Uh, why, why, why can't I, why do I have no grasp on how to make this work? Also, because this shit is upside down, for fuck's sake. I didn't notice this until now. What's wrong with me? <sighs> there, that's somewhat better. So on here, these teeth at the top, I was trying to figure out if these are level enough. Is it gonna show? No, because this camera fucking hates me. I give up. I'm no longer out of the loop. Oh, did you get gifted a sub there or did you subscribe there or something? When did this happen? Tell me about your experience. I cannot resub because Dan used my prime sub um, on my pool stream. And I don't know how that happened because previously I've always had my prime sub and he has like his own that he can do and it somehow like got weird. I subbed, you subbed to get the emotes, nice. Some channels have that. I always wanted to be one of those channels that people sub just to get my emotes. Maybe one day. My emotes are, I was going to say, my emotes are stolen. They're not stolen, they're open source. You need basil emotes. Maybe, maybe. But I don't want them to be like the photo ones. I'd want them to be like cute cartooned ones. But I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like cat and dog ones are so common and everywhere. Here's what I've learned from working in the biz for a decade. It's level enough for camera. What? Stouty, what are you talking about? Level enough for camera. I would have subbed for Basil. Put a task up on Fiverr, if that's still a thing. Fiverr is still a thing. I'm just incredibly picky. I got a gift sub for a really big art streamer and she has a ton of emotes, but I feel like they all look the same. Is that for Devi Cat? I love her emotes. They're fantastic. And I hung out in her channel for so long trying to get gift subbed again because <laughs> I just really like hers. 
and it didn't happen, so I gave up. There was a really cool artist who I was trying to work with to get me some snails that were original, but like she just, when we were messaging back and forth, like, and I was sharing my ideas, she, I don't know, she just kept not hitting the mark. Like it was just off and it was not good. And then at first I was like, what about like cute mushrooms? Those would be great emotes. And then like, she literally sent me like these sketches and I like, I was like, are you, in my head, I was like, are you serious? And then I like, I was really nice about it. And it was really nice to her. And I was like, um, did you ever consider that these look like penises? And then I didn't say it exactly like that, but I was like very polite and very proper about it, whatever, because I don't know this person. And then she was like, oh my God. And she was like horrified. And I was like, how, how do you not see this? <laughs> it means that no one is going to look or notice because there's better things to look at. There you go. Thank you. I rated her the other day. She followed me. <gasps> I saw that. Oh, I saw that you rated that. And I was going to ask you about that. I was going to be like, Kristen, ballsy. I like it. It's really hard to make a mushroom not look like a penis. So this is true. This is true. And I couldn't come up with anything good and I couldn't find good enough source artwork that I was happy with. So then I dropped the mushroom idea and then I was like, all right, back to Snaily. Now we have Snaily. And I'm always scared that the actual five and people are going to like yell at me and tell me to stop using it. <laughs> but it was made as an open source artwork, so maybe it's fine. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Okay, so these stops are on. That's good. Just wanna press on it again. When you get really big, you can have a grand rebrand with custom shit if you want. Oh, okay, okay. Not until then though. So never, thanks. Thanks for that. Next month will be, look at your follower count these days. What is it? Seven something. You're growing slowly but surely, yes. Slowly but surely. I wanted to be at a thousand followers bef when I, like, bef before, even if it's just before getting to my one year, um, like, stream anniversary i just call them like stream birthdays because i think that's more fun so we have until like september 7th, 17th when is that let me look when is that Okay, where's the shit that I did? Here it is. <laughs> Start your first stream. What? Oh, maybe it was the 21st. No, I don't think it was. It's under emotes. Hold up. Uh, subscriber badges, here it is. Nine nineteen of twenty one, I guess. Why do, why is that? I don't know. It's like the seventeenth or the twenty first of September. Something like that. I don't know that that goal will happen. I don't feel optimistic, but that's okay. That's what streaming 15 hours does. Not always though, not always. 
Sometimes yes. Other times, no. Mm -mm. 21st. Oh no. Oh no, what? Why is that bad? Um, let me, let me look. I, like I, I might miss the stream or they, what, what, what do you have going on September 21st? Just because September, if, if, if September 21st was the date of my first stream, that doesn't mean that we will be doing a celebration on that specific day. Let me look. I guess it was the 21st. Yeah, September 21st was my first stream. That's when I was like, oh, it was like a test. <laughs> Yep, so I don't know. We'll do something around then. Kristen, what do you have going on that day? It's an, oh, it's a national holiday. We're talking about plans to go visit my big sister. That's exciting. Well, depending on how long your trip is, we can plan around that. Because, you know, you're important, you matter. I wouldn't want to do that celebration day without you, obviously. If only you had not fucked up your follower date, we would know. Although, oh, I can go back and look. I can go back, I think. If I scroll back, like, infinity forever, I might be able to find it. Uncheck all of these. Filter for follows only. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I'm gonna scroll back and see if it will tell me. <laughs> it's gonna take a couple minutes. Clyde, I think it's funny that you say you would have subscribed just for basil emotes because <laughs> you were so gung-ho in the first place, like. Okay. Um, the furthest back that it's showing me is September 23rd. So that's pretty close. I'm a gung-ho person, okay. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um. Manolan Visuals is my second follower. I wonder if he knows that. I should tell him that. Oh yeah, there was that really nice person. Some leaves in hot water. I wonder what ever happened to them. Christian, Christian, you followed me September 30th. There it is, September 30th. That's your follow, your follow birthday for me. Interestingly, um, Simply Pickles also followed me on that date, which is very curious, but okay. I'm just looking at these. I think some of these like black out if the person doesn't follow me anymore, I think. Can't you press what? Can I press what? What are you talking about? I was writing something and I didn't delete it. Can't. What? Back to gluing still here, but hands are useless. Hands are very useless sometimes. Get, get to your gluing. Kristen, what are you saying? <laughs> Can't you press? I don't know what that means. Can you press wow, wow, shock, whatever that one is. I was writing something and I didn't delete it. I'm lost, I'm lost. Ash and Antler, that was also a really nice person when I was in the garage for like accidental 12 hour stream. They were so nice. And then Gator followed October 11th and then Gator, Numero Dos, Trace, and Quattro all followed. <laughs> yes. Good stuff. 
good stuff. Wow, Saki. Saki was early on as well. Hmm. I'm just doing a memory lane, don't mind me. So many nice people. Oh yeah, Frank Grimes. Fantastic. Okay, enough of this. Okay. I was going to say, can't you press... Oh, okay. I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, back to this shit right here. Okay, what am I doing? Bring up the right page, tell me what to do. We crimped them back onto the zipper, yes. We got the stops. The stops do work. This one's a little bit close, oops. Or not close, it's a little bit off, so it makes the zipper want to stick at the top a little bit. Okay, so they did that, and then I guess you just go and sew your fucking zipper. Okay, cool beans. So now, I'm going to zip this up and then line these up and I guess cut it, cut it and then clip it back into place on the hoodie. I do miss being able to do embroidery shit on my sewing machine. That's bugging me a lot and I will take care of it soon. Page up and home are the same keys on the English keyboard. I was looking for what they were called when you found me. Um, page up and home are separate keys on my keyboard. like here they're separate but that's not gonna work <laughs> okay let's cut this if they get you up less scrolling fair that's fair I don't mind the scrolling now. Doing it, I cut the zipper, there's no going back. I was about to say, happy 420 everybody. That's four hours and 20 minutes of streaming. That is. <laughs> Not the time, though. Okay, so these can get put away. I'm down to celebrate 420 at any time. Whether it's 420 or not. Oh my god. I, I appreciate your enthusiasm. things away in the wrong order. Have I had a NAS yet? Yeah, I always have one from the start of the stream. It's right here. There it is. Always. Like, it is the unofficial official beverage of the snow show. Duh. <laughs> I put this in. I put these away all wrong. Well, 
Why are they so into race car shit? Why don't, why, why can't they just be like, hey, thanks for tagging us on Instagram and on Twitter. We want to sponsor you. Why, why can't it just be that simple? Maybe if you put officially sponsored by NAS, they'll send you a cease and desist and you can reply and get that kind of going. Really? You think that's the way to get that going, huh? Wow. Has been decided that gluing would take too long. We're just going to throw a bunch of clear resin in there and hope for no leaks. Fingers crossed. I did that to license artwork from Chrysler. What? Elaborate. Tell us the story, please. Okay, so now we will, I guess, clip. How's this gonna work? Um, So we clip it onto this side. I think we have to sew it twice. Cage, what are you doing? I'm sure you're still hanging around because eventually you're gonna come tell me that you are. So I'm being preemptive. I'm asking you what you're doing. And if you don't hear me, that's fine too. When I cold emailed them to the license Mopar, what is Mopar artwork? They said no. When they sent me a cease and desist, I was able to negotiate a per usage fee within a certain range of products for, with their approval. Wow. Play Star Trek online. Excellent. I hope you're having a good time with that. Great plan, Clay. What? Uh, but I'm, okay, so that's the thing. I'm not good at like negotiating that type of shit. So like, Clyde, if I had like half of the charisma that you do, maybe it would be possible, but I don't, I don't have that. So, you know, you, you've got much more of the schmoozer skills than I do. But I told you, I told you that before. And I was like, yes, I'm very envious of that. Cause I cannot do that. Yes, I know. Oh my God, I know that Chrysler's a car company. Holy fuck. Mopar is the brand name of their parts division. Oh, okay. I was making decals and branded products for people that were really into that. Those diehard Chrysler fans. It, that's weird that that's a thing. Maybe Clyde could be your manager. Clyde, do you want to be my, my agent, my manager? I hear the benefits are pretty good. Everybody's all bringing it with these great ideas tonight, I swear. Fridays, it's, it's Fridays, I don't know what it is. It's just always something great. Um, okay, so I can, I can unclip these zippers from each other. I don't know why my brain is like, these must stay put together. No, no, they don't need to. I do need community service for my sentence, so sure. Your sentence. More storytelling? Thanks. There's got to be some way. Ooh, this zipper is made by Nice. This is not a YKK, if it will show us. Do your job. Why? Why is it so impossible? Useless. I like 60s and 70s Mohar. What does that mean? Okay. So I think I'm gonna have to. So this edge goes in and out. Not in and out, it just folds under. And then there's this line where we'll, we'll do the top stitching. But I think. We're going to clip it or pin it, whatever, to this, and then we'll sew it, and then we do the top stitch. Okay. 
I feel like this is too short. I'm fucking pissed. What? Mm. Hold on. Let me clip it to check. But it looks like it might be a bit fucking short. Mm. No, god damn it. Just committed myself to another two hours of work all night stream. The usual, the usual. Christian, can you tell, can you explain, can you tell Stouty about the usual? <laughs> Sometimes it's just called Wednesdays or Thursdays or. <laughs> People use Mopar to refer to anything made by Chris. I've never heard of this. Dodge fullness, drug speech, all kinds of shit from years back. It's a car culture thing. Okay. Look at this. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Why do I do this? It's always something. It's always something. <laughs> God damn it. It's not a snow peep stream until the birds start singing. You're right, but I hate that you're right. like a weird spot in my shoulder and I can't tell if it's like a bug bite left over from yesterday or like some angry spot that's gonna turn into like a weird pimple or something basically I stream for too long because I do shit like this I miscalculate horribly and then it gets fucked up This is not gonna fucking work. Mm, and I'm pretty sure you can't just go putting the teeth back on. I mean, maybe. Should I try to put the teeth back on the zipper? I'm game. Game to give it a go. Why am I like this? Mm. Is the rest of this even cut the right length at this point? Can I do it that way? Oh, barely. But I could always add it back on. And that could be okay. Fucking damn it. Yes, the moral of the story is that I always stream for way too fucking long. Um, it's very easy for me to, well, okay, my average time for a stream is like six hours, but I feel like lately it has gone much more than that, because sometimes we're just playing a game and having fun and it's good and I don't want to stop yet, so we don't, because people are hanging out and everyone's enjoying themselves, or it's because I wanted to get to a certain point and the thing won't do what I want it to do, any number of reasons. I also like, I also have this thing where like, when I know like school will be starting soon and I will be streaming quite a bit less when school is happening, then um, I always want to try to get in as much as I can before that happens to like make up for not being around as much when school is happening, if that makes sense. Oh, so many broken hairs. Fuck. Um, oh, speaking of, speaking of school and study streams, I know, I know what our study streams are going to be for this fall. If anyone cares, if you care, I'll tell you. If you don't care, then I won't. <laughs> so simple. Let's try this again. Put things away and I have to get them right back out because I fucked up. Are you going to stream from your phone at school this semester? 
Nope, all my glasses are online again. Because I was able to mm, organize it that way. I was really excited. I thought I was going to have to go on campus. And while I was looking forward to like riding the bus and like doing my work at the library and that stuff. Um, like I can't absorb information if I have to wear a fucking mask. So yeah. Um, one of the classes ended up, oh, when I checked back later, they had created an online section for the class. So it was like, um, fuck yeah, give me that online section. So I have that. And then this other class that was supposed to be in person, like it is in person, but there is an online section. And when I went to register for it, it said that... Um, joining the online section required department approval and apparently department approval only means that I need to ask my um, advisor so I did and she's like override take that online class <laughs> so all my classes are online which is really really nice and we have a, at least a couple of options for study stream material this time I'm pretty sure gonna be good we have um well like the sh oh okay that came off very easily oh <gasps> fuck i broke the stop i broke it that's supposed to be one piece not two damn it but maybe maybe that's where i will go back and Maybe I can steal the stops from the original zipper. Because these look a lot sturdier. They look a lot sturdier. This is like totally a vintage zipper. Like, it's old. Um, but our option things... Oh wait, you were saying, were you going to stream for your phone at school? I, I was thinking about that before the online, the fully online option came to fruition. But I was thinking about it, and I was like, well, if I went to the library to work on all my stuff after class, maybe I could, like, stream in there. And I was like, no, it would have to be, like, silent. Because they are very serious about silence in the, li the like, study libraries. So then I was like, I'd have to, like, sit in a corner, and it would have to be a whole thing, and just using, like, a laptop, and, it, like, the logistics were not good. But with doing it online, it'll be great. We'll have study streams. Um, so I needed another class that satisfied a humanities requirement, but also satisfied a U.S. minority culture credit. And I was going to take this class about like the history of rap music, which would be super fucking awesome. But it was not being offered this fall, so I couldn't take it. But instead, I'm taking, um, it's some, like, music, what the fuck is it called? Hold on. Popular Music Studies is what it is. I'm taking Popular Music Studies History of Rock. So we'll have History of Rock Music. That'll be a fun study stream thing, I'm sure. Because the lectures are asynchronous, so I can do those anytime. So that's perfect study stream material. I'm also taking elementary French. I don't know if that will be study stream material. We shall see. Um, fish and wildlife ecology. Those are live lectures at 10 a.m. So I don't know about that. And then the GIS in natural resource management. That one I don't know either. We'll see um, how that goes and how comfortable I am with it. Bababo. Hi. Hi, welcome in. Do you drink zippy water? What does that mean? What is zippy water? If by zippy water you mean energy drinks? Yes. I drink not energy drinks. If you don't mean energy drinks, then I don't know what you're referring to. But welcome. Hi. How's it going? I messed up this zipper, so I'm trying to fix it. I made it too short. Oh, come on. Grab the fucking...
fucking thing. When you drink zippy water, brain freeze. Ah. Then I don't know what zippy water is. Zipped up my left ball. Ow. Zippy water fix. I still don't know what zippy water is, but okay. Sorry about your balls. Eh, come on. This is so annoying. So annoying I shouldn't have to do this in the first place. I keep like, I keep pulling out the keyboard tray and then I'm like, why am I so far away from the desk? Thanks for inspiration. Inspiration for what? I hope you're having a great night or day over good time zone, wherever you're at. Mm, oh, oh, this is coming off. Yay. Okay. So one of these is intact. Does one even matter if I broke the other one? Hmm. Okay. I still don't know what the zippy water thing is. And I can't, I can't tell if you're trying to like actually talk to me or if you're trying to troll. But here's the thing about trolls in my channel. I don't care. I don't mind. Um, doesn't bother me. We only ban for low effort. Does zippy water have what plants crave? Also an important question. Does it have what plants crave? Which is electrolytes. Duh. Okay, so I have to try and put some of these teeth back on the fucking zipper. Mm. Not excited about that. Mm -mm, not at all. <sighs> I'm gonna search again. That's what they make Brando with. Correct, correct. Mm. Reattach. Zipper teeth. But Brondo, was Brondo basically Surge or was it Gatorade? I haven't seen, I have not seen this vital documentary in a while. And yes, I will always call it a documentary. Gatorade. Okay. That's what I was thinking. And then sometimes my brain is like, surge. I don't know. I don't need to fix that. How to fix every broken zipper issue. We'll see about that. Oh. But really, it's how to fix every broken, stuck, or stubborn zipper. I feel like this is not going to be helpful. How to replace a broken zipper slider? That could be the easier solution. If there isn't a stamped number on the back, Measure it up with other sliders and select what you need. This is a number five. Oh shit, there might have been a better solution that I didn't know about. This is, this is very typical. Sliders and top stops can be purchased together. Hmm. Well, that would have been much easier, but I didn't know that that was an option, so here we are. Here we are. Okay, we're gonna try and reattach the zipper teeth. Because I choose the more difficult way of doing everything. If this is even possible. I don't know if this is possible. 
and I don't really kind of know how far apart they need to be, but this seems a bit futile. Because there's like a ridge um, on this material and it used to basically go around that. <clears throat> Marcus, are you still playing your pirate game? Okay, so that side goes this way. Why do I do these things to myself? Because <laughs> I'm clearly no expert on these, on the things that I do, and then I do them, and then it's like, oh, I made that super complicated. Ow, because that's what my brain does. And then sometimes there is a much easier solution that I had no idea was even possible. Because, like, how was I supposed to know I was supposed to look for that? No, you're trying to find a breakup note from an idiot to another. Wait, what? I'm trying to find a breakup note from an idiot to another to read in Christopher Walken's voice. What? That sounds like a story. Please tell. I do impressions. Do you now? Do you now? Reading about this discussion on milk crates. The built in allowance for shipping containers to be damaged, stolen. This is true. Wow, wonderful. Wonderful things. Okay, so. What the fuck? Did we do all of this for nothing? We might have. I was really committed to hanging with Stouty for two more hours of glue up, glue ups or gluing, whatever he's doing. But now that I know that you can just replace the fucking zipper slide, I feel like, well, between that and the fact that I made the zipper too fucking short. So we have options. We can either just give up and quit. <laughs> That's not an option, just kidding. Um, I can wait. I could stop and wait and um, try to find a zipper slide to replace this now that I know that's a thing. Or we could just go with this black zipper that is also a five. This one's also a five. Uh, we might just end up doing that and putting this zipper into the jacket. Even though I just spent all this time. Oh no, Stouty, didn't you hear the part where I was like, we could quit and give up and I'm just like, no, we don't do that. We don't fucking do that. No giving up. I just poured the resin and ordered food. What did you order? What food did you order? I should eat something too. I haven't like actually eaten like food food today. Have I eaten food food today? I don't think so. I don't think I have. That's probably bad. Hmm. So I guess you spend all this time learning stuff. It's true. We learn so much, so much, so many learning experiences. Denny's is the only real option right now. That's fine. I will never, I will never, 
turn my nose up at Denny's. Denny's is fucking consistent and they, they, they know their breakfast foods and they get that shit right. And I, I love it. I'm not saying like, oh, I love Denny's. I'm saying I like the consistency. So wherever the fuck you are in the country when you're traveling, if you're like, I just want some fucking breakfast foods and I want somebody who knows how to make eggs over medium well the right way, go the fuck to Denny's. They will not disappoint you. Christian, you're going to bed. That's a good idea. And you said you were going to stream tomorrow, but you're not now because your sister knee is going to use the camera or something. A nice and productive rest of the stream. I will try my best. I don't know. I don't know how late we're going to go, but I'm in it for now. Thanks for hanging out. Not sure. Might do digital. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. I'll let you know. Sounds good, friend. <clears throat> Get some sleep. <clears throat> I really wish on Discord, I wish there was a way to have like photo albums or like image albums instead of just pinning things. And then when you do pin things, you're limited to 50 pins and it's a whole thing. Because I'm just thinking like, oh, Clyde wants collections of all the workspaces it's cool cool although they're gonna be scattered throughout so it's kind of a pain that you can't just collect things into an album off get food brb um you can only pin 50 pins per channel or conversation or whatever brb stouty drive safely if that's how you are getting your food I guess I'm taking a snack break to finish the cheese. And I'll probably get another NOS. I heard 15 and it seemed really low. Nope, five zero. Five zero is the magic number. I was excited about this green zipper because it's such a nice green. It's like it's such a nice, like, pistachio. It's like a pistachio green, really. And there's a little metal fragment. So that's great. I will pick that up somehow. Maybe. Anyway, Christian. Off to bed you go. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Now I feel like I want to raid Devacat one day and see if she follows me. Because my brain is always like, well, if Kristen can do that, I can do that. <laughs> and we've learned that that's not true. these things so here we go with the boring black zipper I also feel like mm, this is I should just do the whole thing because then it was also saying oh I could just remove the slide from the new zipper Remove the slide from the new zipper and attach it to the old zipper. Clag is back. I didn't realize that you left. Hi, welcome back. Where did you go? Stouty went to get food. Christian went to bed. 
and I fucked up the zipper. I don't, I don't know when you left, so I don't know what you missed. I'll upstairs to get Oreos. Ooh, what kind of Oreos are they? Disappear randomly, yes. You did, in fact, you did not announce when you were leaving, so. Golden Oreos, that's a good choice. Did you ever like the heads and tails Oreos? Cause those were my favorite, favorite, favorite. I don't think they make them anymore. Like one side was the golden Oreos and the other side was the chocolate. It was truly the best of both worlds. <laughs> just like, part of me is just like uh, tired, but it's probably cause I need food. And I don't think that's gonna happen. I have the poor people version of those cookies at vacation Bible school every year. <laughs> like generic Oreos, like this. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the zipper fell apart while I was messing with it. Like just generic, like grocery store brand Oreos. What did I do? I fucked this up. Oops. Yes, the generic half chocolate, half vanilla cookies with cream in the middle. Oh. Okay. But I was ta I was talking about like actual Oreos. Actual Oreos made um one that was both. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, you never had those. I'm sorry. They are so good. And they don't make them anymore. Cause I got silly me, I was hopeful like, oh, if they're making, if they're making gluten-free Oreos, maybe they'll make um, like heads and tails or the other one, like maybe they'll make others besides the original in gluten-free, but I doubt that will happen. Did you eat any like actual like dinner food? Oh good, I fixed it. I fixed it, it works, it goes. So I can replace the whole zipper with this new zipper. Or I can take the pull from this zipper and add it to the old zipper to replace this thing that's busted and then just sew this back in. Cause I didn't realize that that was possible before and then I read something on the internet that was like, oh, you can replace just the zipper slide. I had no idea because I also um, made this too short. I don't know. Again, I don't know if you were here for all this, so that's why I'm telling you. And putting, getting, like reattaching the teeth to the zipper is pretty fucking impossible. Oh, right. Yes. You had Popeyes and you said it was bland. And like maybe your taste buds are fucked up. Can you smell? That's what, oh, I wanted to ask you that too. Like, so if your sense of taste eating that food was super bland, how is your how's your sniffer? How is your nose? I can't believe you're putting teeth back on. I'm trying, but it doesn't work, Marcus. It doesn't work. It was not happening at all. But that, I mean, are you surprised though, Marcus? Like, I feel like you've been around enough. Like, are you really surprised that I would try and do that? Smell is fine. Okay. What, what is why you can't believe it? Now this is all borked and fucked up. There you go, fix it. These should be together, not separate. Their smell is fine. Hmm. That's interesting too then. I always liked how when I, when I, back when I was a smoker of cigarettes, um, and people would talk about like, oh, whenever you quit smoking, man, your sense of smell is gonna like just explode. And you're gonna smell everything, taste everything, and that never fucking happened. I have always had the dullest sense of smell like ever. 
but for some like for some things my sense of smell is very very acute and then for most things it's like mm -mm, nope very dull I could try it I could keep trying to add the teeth back in but I'd rather use one of the other zippers but I was just really excited about the green I just want people to tell me what to do because I don't want to make decisions I want chat to decide everything it's my favorite game Marcus did you ever find your letter your what was that your what was it you were looking for? A breakup note from idiot to another to read in Christopher Walken's voice. Did you ever find one? Spooky doki loki. Hi. Wait until you get pregnant. That'll never happen. Then your sense of smell is a freaking superpower. Again, for me, I doubt that. But good luck with that. I plan to never get pregnant. And if I did, I would probably have an abortion. So, yep. I did not. I keep trying, but I can't get pregnant. Damn. <laughs> how just how hard have you tried, Clyde? <laughs> Not the one I wanted. Hmm. Is there a particular one you're looking for? Yeah, I don't ever plan to have children. No thanks. My body's already fucked up enough, and I already have enough autoimmune diseases. I don't need more. Plus, I enjoy, like, being able to go places and do stuff. And having a life. It used to be easy to find, and now it's like, WTF. Well, which one is it? Which particular thing are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Does anybody want to tell me what to do with these zippers? There was a breakup note from semi literate idiot to her boyfriend. I don't think I'm familiar with that. I'm gonna go get another NOS. I'll be right back. But I guess, as usual, that means everyone comes with me to the kitchen. Crack up, crack up, we'll crack open the NOS and I guess continue with this, even though I don't know which zipper to go with. And I will just double check that I don't have any other um, zippers in this box that are metal. Oh, that won't work. No, that's ugly. So I could wait. I could wait and have 
the green zipper, which I was really liking the idea of. Or we can just do the black zipper now and be done with it. If anyone has any input on that, I'm all ears. Oh, I should have gotten rid of this plate. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna go over here. Can you buy another hoodie? I bought this hoodie in 2010, Marcus. It was, I don't know, like $40 at Aerie. It's also to like practice the skill of replacing a zipper, but it's just that this hoodie is super, super comfortable and it has pockets that zip. And I have not found another zip up hoodie. It's more that I have not found another zip up hoodie with zipping pockets, because I have looked. And I haven't found it. So I would totally buy another one, but I can't find one with zipping pockets. A sailor hoodie. What is what is a sailor hoodie? Is there a link to this? What is what makes that special? No zip pockets though. See, I want the zip pockets, cause otherwise, like, you just you lose shit. I gotta find it. I know I have one. It doesn't really fit me anymore. If my wife hasn't stolen it, that is her prerogative. Marcus, but you're like a big, tall dude, and I'm a very small person. Like, would that? I don't know if that would even fit. Cause you're what six something. Add zip pockets to a new one. Maybe, I don't know how easy that is to do. These look more complicated than what I am accustomed to. zip pockets to a new one. I used to race bikes and I wore medium when I was a fucking rail. When was this? When were you a fucking rail? And this is a medium, like this hoodie here is a medium, but that's like a women's medium. And now I wear like for shirts, I wear like a small or extra small now. I went from being like very strong and thick to being very small. What did I miss? Not much, Stouty. Not much. Um, were you here for me figuring out that I fucked up the zipper or was that after you left? I need a decision on some zipper things. So if you're feeling like deciding things for me, that'd be great. You had 170.62. My cousin said I looked like I had AIDS. Wow, your cousin's a dick. But yeah, that is pretty skinny. That's pretty skinny. That's okay though, you're lean because of all the bicycling. He kinda is. No cheating. What? Nobody's cheating at anything. What did you get from Denny's? What um what menu items did you choose? Mm, why is it cold? Fix the zipper, no replace. What? No, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> that's not the option. So this is the original zipper that I took out of the hoodie. Because remember, the zipper pull thing is busted. So I was replacing it with this one that I painstakingly removed the teeth and everything. And then I realized that I made it too fucking short and I'm really annoyed that I did that. So then our options became, 
Oh, and then I read another page when I was trying to figure out how feasible it is to reattach the zipper teeth. I came across another website that's like, oh, the zipper pull part that is busted, apparently you can replace just this thing and I had no idea. Obviously the fabric sewing store is not 24 seven. So um, I can use this zipper, which is new, but I'd have to cut it down and I could attach it to the old one. Or maybe I could just take this part and put it on here because they're the same size zipper. Eating steak with hands like animal. Sometimes it'd be like that. I used to really, really like getting um, at Denny's. I would get the country fried steak and eggs. Oh, so good. Country fried steak is fucking delicious. And I really miss being able to eat that. Green zipper. What about the green zipper? Because I fucked up the green zipper. Last coat of green. Do it, do it. Proud of you. Get it done. Use it. Okay, did you hear the part where I said I made it too short? That I cut it and I made it too short. So I'd have to reattach the zipper teeth and I don't even know if that's actually possible. Like I straight up don't know if that's possible. <clears throat> Cause it's very small and there's like this ridge. This is microscopic. And then there's this like ridge thing here. So I don't know how you get over that with this thing. It's a whole fucking thing. Stouty, don't be telling me to do impossible things, please. Cause I'll spend 12 fucking hours trying and wanting to tear out my hair in frustration. So if this is already cut to size, maybe we scrap the new zipper in place of doing the old zipper. How to do this? pull tab not the pull tab the slider broken zipper slider okay use pliers to remove the stop okay and then remove the slider feed the new slider on the T starting point where you remove the stop using pliers replace the stop with the new one that came with your slider if it closes the jacket, it's good. Yes, okay, so this is the line. Pay, pay attention now. This right here is the line of the hoodie where the zipper would go, yes. This is the old zipper. And it lines up right here. Okay, great. Maybe it was up here, I don't know. Maybe it didn't go all the way down. And it's something like this, basically. And then this green one was the one I was trying to work with. Let me turn that right side up. Hold up. Okay, so this was the one that I cut and worked on. And it is too short. See over here. This is the old one, this is the new one, and it's a bit short. I don't know, maybe it could work, maybe. It's just a little bit short and I kinda hate that. Also, I broke the zipper stop. Eating meat, no pay attention. I gathered that, I gathered. <laughs> Which is relatable, I get it. Low cut zipper, good style. Is it though? Is it? I mean, we could try it. We could try it. But I have to figure out what to do because I broke the stops. I guess that would mean taking the stops off of the old zipper and putting them on the new one. This is gonna be tricky without also without breaking them. 
because they are super, super easy to break. I wish I had some easier way to like get in there and pry it open. Hmm. 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 I'm the only person that could make replacing a zipper take this long by far. I, I don't know if I can get this out of here in one piece. That is absolutely the challenge. Stupid zippers that are really well made. Not easy. How, how does this even work? Did you just get steak from Denny's or did you get anything else with it? There's gotta be an easier way to get this. What that is, I don't know. Comes the time when I slice my finger open with wire cutters. Steak and potatoes. See, here's the thing. You spent all that time working on the green zipper. It would be a shame to change now. True. True. I want the green zipper to work, but I need it to have all the right components. So having this stop, this thing at the top of the zipper that prevents it from just going over the top and not working that part's important but removing the stop is very difficult because i broke i broke the stop that goes with the green zipper This one is much better quality, so it's difficult to um, disconnect it. Come on. And it'll do that thing where like you think you're getting under the edge of it. A thick stitch or anything else could act as a stop. Not quite, I don't think. I think these are pretty particular on zippers. Didn't you just say that you don't know things about sewing? <laughs> So then you were like, if I give if I give bad advice, that's why, or something. I'm not saying your advice is bad, because I don't I am no expert on zippers, obviously. Mm. 
too cold now, too hot. There is no happy medium. There kind of is, but. Do you have a fun jacket where you zip it up too high and the zipper just flies off? Well, then it's useless and my jacket hoodie won't be able to close at all. Which would be very upsetting because I like to be able to zip it up and be warm. <laughs> Maybe a tiny flathead screwdriver. Again, this is where I impale myself. Headed to bed, Paul. Good night, friend. Thank you for hanging out. And your thank you for your fantastic contributions to earlier discussions. I really appreciate that. Add a button to the top of the jacket to close it. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody got time for buttons. That would not match the style of this at all. Get the fuck off of here. There's a tooth at the top. Maybe if I get rid of the first tooth. How complicated can I make this project? I'm not trying to make it complicated. <laughs> this is how it goes here, Stouty. This is what happens. I do like one dumb thing and the whole project goes to shit. And then I spend the next like four extra hours trying to make up for that dumb shit that happened. That's pretty much par for the course with me. I'm terrible at working within the camera space. Just out of here. Mm. Thanks, I hate it. I don't hate it. Per the great Christian, this stream is a chill roller coaster. Yes, I think that's what he said. So Christian said um, that my stream is like a chill roller coaster. And at first I didn't know what he meant and then I thought about it and he was totally right. As he should be. He's been here since the fucking beginning. <sighs> um, yeah. It's always chill and laid back energy. But it is always a wild ride and crazy shit happens. Some good, some bad. Are you still spraying, Clyde, or did you get that last coat done? Also, you never answered before when Christian said you should be my agent or my manager to get that NOS sponsorship. And then I said, I said something about like, they should think about it because the benefits are pretty good. And then you never answered. So maybe that's when you wandered off. I don't know. I will say, do what you want. Because I'm going to have to go to bed after this hookah. Okay. How long ago was it that you were like, I got two more hours of gluing or something? That could have been two hours ago. And then I managed to do a bunch of nothing for two hours. It's entirely possible. I'm just trying to put the zipper on here, but I need stops in order to make the zipper work. Alternatively, if we if we just replace this, that could be vengeance. Hi, how are you? What's going on? I'm fighting with this zipper that's busted. It's a whole thing. Just got home. 
cool. How are things? Looking ultra wholesome. What make, what, what, what look, what does wholesome look like? Although apparently Saudi also thought that this was an ultra wholesome stream and then we crushed his, we crushed his daydream or his misconception or something when we were like, everybody likes weed. Ruffles and flowers on your clothes. Okay, so vendors, what happened was my brain is a fucking jerk. And my, I spent all day today being incredibly, incredibly anxious. And it was really, really bad. And my brain was like super, just cloudy and like slow and shitty and very bad, very bad situation happening there. So then I took a cloth in and took a big ass nap under my weighted blanket with my cat. She wasn't under the blanket, she was at my feet. And I woke up and I felt a bit better. And I was like, um, what can I do to bring my mood back up to where I would like it to be? So I picked out a shirt that I, actually I've never worn this shirt, I bought it. It still had tags on it. And I was like, this is it, we're gonna wear this shirt. This shirt is like so fucking like femme and girly. I would normally never wear this, but it's a super cute shirt. So I was like, yes, that's a bright mood of a shirt. So I went for it. Also the fabric is weird and nice. And then I listened to a, a bunch of Lady Gaga music really loudly and got ready for streaming. And that helped quite a lot. So that's why I'm wearing this shirt and we're here. If you do that, you'll realize that you could have just done that to the old zipper and then not had to remove it. Oh, I have been there, done that. I already realized that. Wheat is wholesome. It's true. You need a bow in your hair. Ugh. Yikes. I am not, I'm not into bows. Mm -mm. Not into bows. Sometimes I use like hair clips. I got like all this fucking hair, but bows, not, not my jam, not my jam. Nice try though. Okay, so if we take the slide from this one, I'm not into bows, but I guess your favorite of the fellowship is legless. Wow, that's a jump. That's a jump, wow. I don't have a favorite. I'm not like super into Lord of the Rings. My whole family is like way into that shit. So I can fudge my way through a conversation and make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. But it was just never really my thing. Also, I can't stand Orlando Bloom. So there's also that. Sometimes I think people put a lot of expectations on streamers. How's that, Marcus? Please elaborate. I am very interested in what you are saying there. You went Harry Potter instead of Ring. No, I don't think that people can only be one or the other. The world is not black and white. Everything is gray, gray areas. The world is made up of gray areas and everything is conditional. Can have all of those things, but they are not mutually exclusive. Yeah, that shirt screams more Secret Garden than Lord of the Rings. Not wrong, not wrong. Mary Lennox was a shit though. That's the main character in the Secret Garden. She's kind of a shit. Why we gotta pigeonhole everything, hmm? To me, this shirt screams like good energy and bright, like bright moods. So that's why I wore it. Just goofing on you. I know, I know. Yes, I know also that you are in Hawaii. I did not forget. I almost forgot the other day, but I remember things, I do. I have, to I have to remove the stops no matter what I do. 
on this. Oh, but I got rid of that teeth, so that makes removing the stop easier. Marcus. Marcus, my darling. I'll call you darling because you called me darling first. I want to know what you're talking about up there. About people placing a lot of expectations on streamers. Come on. Yes. It looks like a moo moo top. It is not bad. Oh my gosh. Here's what the shirt looks like. <laughs> Here's the shirt. It's like this. Here's the back. It's a whole thing. It's a whole shirt. It's like cut up on the sides. It's cool. It's not as like fitted. Normally I would wear a shirt that's not as like flowy. I don't like that, but it's fine. And like the ruffles, like I don't do ruffles or lace and shit. Well, lace is subjective. But I don't, I don't do ruffles and stuff. So the shirt was like, it's a half moon. Oh my god, it's not, it's not. I have moos. I have them from living in a tropical island in the South Pacific. This is not that. I think sometimes someone joins a stream and wants this person to fulfill some fantasy or expectations they have and you try to shove them into it and a lot of streamers blow it off or play into it for tips and you're just like, blam, no. <laughs> it's probably, Marcus, it's probably because I don't realize that's what's happening. If it gets me tips, fuck yeah, I'd play into that. But I have to be able to recognize that that's what's happening first and I think that's really where the real challenge lies wasn't back before i just rushed over here to reply about the roller coaster thing oh got it thank you for that clyde so does that mean you're actually back now or you're still spraying or what what does that mean look you brought up this shirt i wasn't gonna say anything that's fine that's fine i think vengeance brought up the shirt because he was saying that i was looking real wholesome and i i laugh internally whenever anyone says that I am wholesome or that I look wholesome because I ain't that. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> yes. He is back so I'm back. Okay. I like that you're always legit all the time. It might be because you're not picking up on it but you're very genuine. It's the only stream I still subscribe to. Is that true? Is that true? I, Marcus, I watched your sailing video and you told someone else that they were the best and I thought I was the best, okay? <laughs> I saw that and I was like, should I give Marcus shit about this? Should I, should I, should I? Because I didn't want it to be a repeat of the thing where, where you said I was your Patronus, then you went and told Demi that she was your Patronus and I was like, Marcus, you can't just go around saying that to everyone not how it works and then you were like but but uh, and it was a whole thing so i just wanted you to make sure that you get that i was joking i ain't wholesome while sewing in a moo moo vengeance vengeance stick around you'll learn vengeance you weren't here for the pool stream I don't think doing, I don't think hanging out in a bikini for 19 hours is wholesome, probably. But I am not the expert. I'm just, I'm just not wholesome, okay, I promise. Like, I am, I am, but I'm also really not. The best is situational. This is fair. I just need to remove these stops and then I can save the zipper. If I like wore a dress, would everybody like have a stroke or something? Cause everybody like, I'll wear one florally thing and everybody loses their goddamn minds. Bikini is casual clothes here though. This is true. This is true. This is true. I do come from that culture. I get it. And it's just really comfortable.
I want to say this is getting closer to separating from the zipper, but I just don't, ow, I just don't know if that's actually true. I'm gonna get a fucking blister first. God damn it, Stouty. You're my preferred Patronus. Wow. Wow. I don't have expectations. I'm just here. Indeed, Cage. And same. I would lose my mind if you had a French maid costume on the stream with cat ears. <laughs> Dude, Chatterbait, if you want that. Marcus, you're such an advocate for Chatterbait. Do you, f do you frequent the site yourself? I used to go on there sometimes, like five or six years ago, and then, I don't know, I was like, eh, and then I stopped watching. So easy, like, lose your mind to the tune of $100. I have been known to check things out there quite frequently. There you go. It's like sexual casino. I'm a Y casino. I have a few OnlyFans girls who do that from time to time who do what wear a French made outfit with cat ears. What's the deal with the cat ears? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? I have never owned a pair of cat ears. Just that you buy tokens and spend them. Maybe arcade. Fair. I never spent money on Chatterbait. So. I have webcams now. I need to go check those things out. I mean, webcams are not required for the viewer. <laughs> but Stouty, if you put yourself out there, good for you. I mean, I'm still deliberating on if I would make it OnlyFans. Still deliberating. Like I'm open to it, I'm open to it. It's just more about whether I would put it under this name or something completely anonymous. Not anonymous, but like a totally different name and then never advertise it here. I think it's because of anime. There's a lot of strange expectations. Wait, you're talking about the weird expectations people have of streamers is because of anime? What? Huh? Put the ears in your wish list. Okay, but can you explain to me what the deal is with the ears? Like, why is that a thing? It, does it like specifically symbolize something that I am unaware of? Does a chick wearing cat ears, is it like, oh, that makes you like instantly hot or something? Oh, the cat ears are from anime. Is that the, is that the thing? I'm not into anime, so I don't really know. I've seen some anime, but I don't know. Girls like to act cute with them on, but can't they be cute without wearing cat ears? I feel like that's what I would do. I would just, I like to think I could be cute anyway without them. Who knows, Appa uh, but in, apparently I can't. Apparently that's not possible, according to Vengeance. It's like being sexy in a potato sack. <laughs> Speaking of, Yes, you can, but a cute outfit would be better. Apparently, this is not cute. I almost wore overalls today. It was like this close because I wanted to like boost my mood and feel better. And I was like, I just really love overalls and I look cute in them. And I almost wore them. And then I was like, I think I wore overalls last Friday, so I didn't do it. I love you in overalls. See, I know everyone does. They're great. You can't go wrong with them because of the animal-like connotations. More animal-like means more likely to have sex. Is that it? Is that it? Like humans, humans are animals. Humans, but humans can't have sex. But if you put cat ears on, then it's on? What? I'm just thinking like, I really, yeah, I really have never owned a pair of cat ears. Mm -mm. I have like a masquerade mask with like mirror mosaic shit on it. I think that's as close as it gets. The thing is, girls who engage in furry animalistic things are a little freer with the morals. 
What do you mean by freer with the morals? I, this conversation is fascinating to me. Like I am like, let's talk about this. This is good shit. Freer with morals equals down to fuck. Okay. So you're saying that wearing the cat ears is like, is like, but okay. But if you're on a screen, if you're like in a stream, doing a thing, dancing badly in a pool, whatever the fuck you're doing, but you're wearing cat ears, that means that you're like into sex. Okay, cool. But why are the cat ears necessary for that? <laughs> And, um, and also, just because you wear them, like, that person wearing them is in the stream. Like, they're not literally coming there to have sex with you in that moment. That's not happening. My fucking brain is probably the problem here. I've had girlfriends who were not adventurous at all, but a super healthy libido. So, so what does that have to do with this? Cat ears is like the lowest, not low, like could be. Marcus, that doesn't make sense. Feel cute, act cute. It's like when guys get out in sweatpants. What? Or girls in tube tops in the frozen food aisle. You're saying dudes should go out in sweatpants? <laughs> y'all are losing me and I really want to have this conversation like I really do want to have this conversation but you're losing me I'm a little drunk yeah I bet I bet that's okay though it's alright How do I get this thing out of here? Guys drunk outline shows in sweatpants. I mean, it can, but it's not guaranteed. Like, I don't see a dude in sweatpants and go, oh yeah, I wanna fuck that. I'm like, why did? Why the fuck were you la too lazy to put on pants before you left your house? That's what I think if I see that. This zipper. <gasps> Did I get it? Did I break it? Did I get it? Ah, I released one of the stabs. Holly fucking Louie disappears as a person who often goes out in sweatpants. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not judging anyone. Go out in sweatpants. I don't give a fuck. You can still get laid if you're wearing sweatpants. That never stopped anyone. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> the show I'm like Shrek's friend that's what I yeah that's what I'm saying like mm, that's not guaranteed unless there are some extenuating circumstances and that's not normal that's not like the norm let's be real I think there's a lot of bullshit internet meme expectations being thrown around here that have no basis in reality Marcus I agree with you you asked what the attraction is the attraction to cat ears yes the kind of the idea of dressing up and taking on a persona automatically imp implies a freer attitude. I guess so. I guess so. Combine that with the animal aspect, and then also with the idea that cats are pets that are owned. It's true. Wearing a collar does mean that you are owned. That's a thing. Like cat ears and sweatpants, etc. So what if? Okay, so what if? What about this? If I wear sweatpants and cat ears, then am I doing it right? Cause I will totally wear sweatpants and cat ears. I don't give a fuck. If that's what the people want, I aim to please. We all on the internet right now. Why are we expecting reality? Do you actually own cats? I have two cats, Basil and Fiona. They're not in here right now. I have two cats. They are great. 
just generalizing why it's a thing. Okay. Stouty, I appreciate your contributions. I'm just trying to keep up with things everyone is saying and then there's also like lack of context, which is really difficult for me. So trying my best to keep up without having context on everything. I had to, and I don't think they knew I owned them. I don't think we're literally talking about cats, but okay. You don't have a penis, so the sweatpants won't work. If that's what you think. Because <laughs> with 2020, sweatpants also became a kink. I don't know about a kink, but sweatpants became far more widely acceptable as going out attire. Yes, that is 100% true. I only wear sweatpants sometimes because I get overheated easily. But I am a big, I'm a huge, huge fan of the like capri sweatpants that are like not full length sweatpants. I like those a lot. It's like the best of both worlds. Ow, fuck. Ow. Not bleeding, it's fine. Hi, K Marcus. She could probably make sweatpants pretty hot. Maybe, maybe. See, you have the like sweatpants and crop. If it's like sweatpants, crop top, cat ears, is that acceptable? I can, I can do that. I don't have cat ears, but they can be acquired. If this is what makes the world happy. Like if people just tell me what they want, especially with like streaming chat people, if you tell me what you want, I'll do it. I don't care. I aim to please. I just am not good at coming up with the ideas in the first place. So if people are like, we want you to wear sweatpants and cat ears, sure. Make it worth my while. I will do the thing. They are the new yoga pants. Kind of. Yoga pants never left, I don't think. Oh no, do my sweatpants have a hole in them? How embarrassing. What? I think uh, that's a dangerous offer. What's a dangerous offer? Should be a point reward. Point rewards are bullshit. Point rewards are free. Nothing is free. Bit rewards. Okay, what kind of bit rewards are you talking about? Let's talk. Let's talk, let's make it happen. Make it worth my while and I'll do it. That's a chatterbait attitude. Well, I did say, I did say, I am, I, I've always been, I think I've always been pretty open that like, I would make it OnlyFans or whatever. My only deliberation on it was rather whether I would do it under this name or make a new name and never advertise it here. 16 ounces of water for 100 points. What? We're not measuring out ounces of water. Plus, you just spent 200 brownie points for that. Everyone hydrate means all of you, everybody. I think I'm using the wrong pliers. So I've been with cat ears, honestly, for new snow people's best feature is her eyes. Aw, Marcus, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thanks, darling. Marcus is so nice. Possibly we don't deserve him. Possibly. Emote only. <gasps> Stouty. No one has ever redeemed that, ever. Wait, 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 I take that back. Someone redeemed emote only once, once. And then we didn't know how long to keep it on for. You people are being too dirty. They're fine, Stouty, they're fine. This is totes tame. You're trash. Well, if you're trash, that's even better. I'm a trash person. If you're a trash person, that's great. Trash people, best people. 
The world is so full of fakes. I guess so. I'm not fake. I don't want to do emote only because we're having a good chat. <laughs> we're having a good chat. I don't want to do that. I'm sorry, Stouty. Did I get it? Almost. Oh, oh this one's almost off. Yay. Just trying to control all this hitting on. Is that is that what's happening? Am I being hit on? Because it doesn't feel that way to me. Yay, there's two teeth. Oh, Halle fucking Leah. I made two teeth off in one go. They're not broken. Amazing. Nobody knows real music. You know, being a white knight and all. Way to bring it back, Stouty. Way to bring it full circle. I appreciate that. Stouty, I'm super married. Oh yeah, Marcus is super married and it's adorable. Um, okay, so we're trying to take this over here. Oh fuck, that means I have to put, take the stop off of the garment, move the slider up off the zipper, which we did, that's this one. Feed the new slider onto the teeth at the starting point using pliers replace the stops. So now we have to remove these stops. It's a great callback. What is super married? Good question. Good question. He's super married in that he's married to his wife and really happy about it? I don't know. He likes to know people because she's a wonderful person and nothing else. Whatever works. We keep it real because I don't, I don't have a choice to not keep it real. I don't. So what makes, what makes good, what makes a good pair of cat ears? Super married in this day and age means I adore my spouse. And we don't always get along, but I try to make it work every day. That's really all you can do. We're super cute, not gonna lie. Thank you, Marcus. You're pretty cute too. Everyone is adorable. Are we back to this? Are we back to this already? Everyone is adorable. The end. Ears that blend in with your hair color. Um, that's tricky. Also, because I have to get my hair cut soon, get rid of this, like, COVID hair. Um, I don't know if I should go back to having fun colored hair or mm, boring hair. I, okay, not cutting, I'm not, I'm not chopping off my hair. I'm getting it trimmed because my hair is fried. There are so many split ends. It's not even funny. I have to get my hair trimmed but I will, I want to color it, but I don't know if I should just blend this up or go back to having fun colored hair. I used to have pink hair. I'm not, I'm a hideous troll with a mullet. False. Probably adorable. Mullets are cool. I would love to be able to pull off like a really cool like shag mullet thing. Like that's my like super secret desired haircut, but there's no one here that can do that, who can like cut that haircut properly that I would trust. We need a steam pole for your hair color. Or a stream pole. My wife has the most amazing long hair and as soon as I get married, she cut it off. Why did she do that? How many bids for a pixie cut? I used to have a pixie cut. I had a pixie cut for like three years or so, for a while. Jet black, I would not look good with black hair. My skin, okay, does it show up here? My skin is translucent. See, all these fucking veins. My skin is like see-through because I have Ehlers Downloads and that's a feature of that. <laughs> Along with my hands that Elbows called, what did he call him? He didn't, I don't remember what he called them, but he compared my hands to eagle talons. 
so that was that was great <laughs> um yeah my skin is ultra transparent it's it's a thing black straight up black hair would not be good i don't think i know a lot of natural blonde girls who have black and it really stands out mm. well this is my natural hair color it's very dark it gets lighter in the summer i used to be very blonde as a child Bird people can look good with black hair. I am a bird person. I fucking love birds like so, so much. Stouty, you'll learn. I really love birds. My like gross hands. I can I shouldn't be able to do things that I do with my hands. It's not good. <laughs> Party tricks and whatnot. It's also, this backdrop is better, but there was another backdrop where it was like, really, it really like brought out the blue tones in my hands. My wife's natural hair color is black and people ask why she dyes it black. She doesn't, it's just super dark. Some people, yeah, some people do have that. It's just all about your genetics. I guess I'm just like skimming back around to all different parts of this conversation. How do bits rewards work? Like, how do we make that work? Um, is, is this going to work? To get rid of, ow, this zipper stop. Bullshit. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe I should make something out of burlap. I have like a whole bunch of burlap. If people are like, potato sex can't be sexy. I got a bunch of burlap. We could make something out of it. BRB, second meal, chicken sandwiches, and bagel bites like a 21-year-old college kid. Wow. Enjoy, Claire. We will miss you while you're gone. Mm, we get it. You're super married. You don't need to throw it in our faces all the time. JK, JK. Fuck, I quit buying bits. I just tip you through PayPal now. That's fair. That's fair. Cash is king, after all. I mean... Ow, that only happened once, but yes. Streamlabs and it links for when people donate bits. I mean, I, okay, fuck Streamlabs first of all, but yes, like I've had people send me bits before Vengeance. I know how that works. I just meant like, how would you want that scenario to go is kind of what I'm, look, what I'm asking. I wanna lie there, but I did say I wouldn't troll when it came to me. 30, uh oh, somebody asked. A thing. Oh, you asked Stouty how old he was. 37. Nice. That's on par for the demographics of my community. I think most people are in the 30s. Clyde's a baby. Clyde's 27. Marcus is on the upper end, but he's young. Yo, I'm 28 now. Thank you. Oh, right on birthday. I forgot. Moving on up, slowly but surely. Yes, Marcus turned 50. It's a nice round number, it's good. This, um, this potato sack thing is really interesting to me. <laughs> Just because I like to make weird shit. I'm also just really surprised that people were like, no, no sweatpants, wouldn't work. Marcus, what the fuck? Fuck those stupid bits. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Thank you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> you're, you're nuts. 
Oh, that was a tooth on the zipper. That was not the stop. Why on earth? Why? Why? Ah, I did it! I got one of the stops. Yes! I'm getting... Maybe I'm getting better at this. I don't know. We'll just set it here with the others. Ah. Huh, I got it. I did it. Ah, oh, I'm a champion. Okay, so we take this zipper pull off. We take this one and put it on here. You know, it took a long time to get a job where I made a lot of money and I said, damn, if I got this job, I was going to try to spread around as much as I can for people I care about. This is true. You didn't tell me about this before during one of our long voice chats. You did. We did talk about that a whole bunch. Now to get this pull to work with this zipper. Oh yes, I was fucking wrecked. You're Marcus. You're often wrecked. I feel like, which makes me worry. I worry about you. <gasps> Wait, it's working. <gasps> it's working. We have a zipper with a pull. This is exciting. Mm, yay. Now, so this is literally me repairing the old zipper at this point. Hey, new buddy, Marcus. I'd love to hear more about your wonderful wife. Um, her name is Lorena. Does she go by Lori? Cause in the boat thing, you called her Lori, or you called her like Lori June. Is June her middle name? Cause that's adorable trying to get out of debt at the same time. Yeah, you've been doing a really good job with that from what you shared. Ow. My hair is really tangled because it's really fried and it hurts. Oh, I'm good. If I could stay up for your other streams, I'd be sober. If I work the next day, you just happen to frequently interact with me on Friday nights when I'm drinking. It's because Friday night streams are one of my favorites because they're always magical. I don't know why, but for some reason or another, it's just, it's always a thing. June is her middle name. That's so cute. My other streams are usually earlier um, on Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights are earlier, although this last week wasn't. I forget why. I had shit going on or something. Uh, this one is too small though. Maybe. We'll see. If I can get the teeth back on. I don't know about that. Yes, I frequently refer to her as Lori June, and she went by Lori when she was younger, but now mostly Lorena. Well, I think it's really cute that you call her that. I noticed that in the sailing thing and I was like too fucking cute mm, okay what happens if they don't match maybe I'll just clamp this down here Stay here. Is it going? Did I do it? That's not even at all. Uh, that sh that's upside down. That should be on the bottom. That's the short side. That's the long side. Well, fuck a duck. Part of me is like, I want to protest and I'm going to wear sweatpants when I stream now. But it's summer. It's too fucking hot for that. I'm going to go in just chatting and I'll wear sweatpants with cat ears and crop tops and play a dance game terribly. That'll show them. 
that'll show everyone. Just kidding. The dancing terribly part is painful for everyone. Marcus, what does your wife do for work? You might have you might have told me at some point, I don't remember. Also, Marcus, I wanted to tell you, whenever I um whenever I see that you posted a meme in Discord, I'm always I'm always amused before I see it because I never know which way it's gonna go. Sometimes you post like hilarious, like totally wholesome things, and then other times it's like super borderline and I'm like, Marcus. Of course you would, of course. Like the thing about uh, the thing about the like whatever person sculpted the thing on the church ceiling or whatever the fuck. That was gold. I enjoyed that immensely. And the good job bub was totally for whoever sculpted that thing into the ceiling. I'm not trying to be like vague. I just don't remember the specifics of what that was right now. She's an HR. You give her heart attacks daily. Why? Don't do that to her. That's not nice. Try to skate the edge as much as I can. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I'm so excited we're doing it, we're fixing the zipper. No, mm, stay where I fucking put you. Or jump over there. HR people are very concerned about employees who may expose the company to liability. Does she work in HR for your company? Do you work for the same company? Like, are you coworkers? Or does she work for some other company? So sometimes she's present for my Zoom meetings and she's like, oh my God, Marcus, you're killing me. <laughs> because, wait, why are you a liability? You gotta spell it out for me a little bit more than that. I need this to open more. I don't know if I can make that happen. Ow. Uh, oh, we're at different companies. It's just her general attitude. Okay. I get it. I get it. So is that thing where like you're being your usual completely absurd self and then she's like, oh my fucking God, I can't with you. Cause that's kind of how it is at my house. That would be against HR for them to work together. This is true. I have a foul mouth and sometimes make jokes that skirt the edge of propriety. This is, that's you in a nutshell. Really more this. Sometimes I tell directors to shut up and listen and she's like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> okay. Okay. That makes sense. Marcus, you are, you and my partner have quite a lot in common in that case. <laughs> Cause he does shit like that too. Cause that's just like, that's just how he talks. And he'll be like, okay, listen, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, who is he? Like I'll overhear it. And I'm like, who is he talking to? But it, again, like I'm also kind of that way, but I can't get away with that. Like I am the same way you all hear me talk, but I like in a workplace setting, I can't do that shit because I can't get away with that. Back to privilege as we discussed earlier. Oh, Marcus, you were not here for the privilege discussion. I kind of wish you were. Kind of wish you were, I would have, um, enjoyed your contributions to that, I think. Cause that's something that we talk about a lot too. Um, yes, exactly. I get to say things that other people can't say because of my delivery. True. Wandered off, well, where'd you go? You're back now and that's really what matters. Cool. 
I'm trying to expand this zipper stop so I can reattach it. Check my Facebook and Tumblr feed. Is Tumblr even good anymore? Because they got rid of all the porn. And that was literally the only reason anyone used Tumblr. That's the only reason I used Tumblr. And now it's all gone. And that sucks. Need to open this up. And I can't figure out how to do that. What? Two tumber? <laughs> the porn has been back for a while. It's a 10 second snips. What? What are you talking about? I looked like really hard recently and I couldn't find shit. I could find like some really old stuff that wasn't even like what I was after. I don't know. Should not have deleted my Tumblr. I went, this is also like a month or so back. I went and I deleted all of my stuff. 10 second snips. The porn in Tumblr is GIFs. Yeah, a lot of it is. It used to also be pictures though. I need at least four of those. Four of those what? I'm scared to ask what you were after. Nothing outrageous. Nothing outrageous. But what I'm after and what you're after might be different things. And that's okay. Four 10 second gifts. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, what will work for this? It's something to like pry it apart, but I don't, maybe these, that's a joke. It only takes three. God damn it, Marcus. Give yourself some credit, buddy. Come on. Gifts repeat. This is true. The good ones do have a good loop. Mm -hmm. Oh, this might work. <gasps> this might work after all. It's stuck. It's stuck. That's beautiful. Love that. The fourth one is for when I'm sitting there feeling guilty. <laughs> it still might be hours. This is true. This is true. I don't know. I searched on Tumblr somewhat recently, couldn't find anything. So I was really sad. Like I went and I deleted my whole Tumblr, which had a very nice backlog of material. And then I went looking and I was like, oh fuck, they got rid of all of it. And I couldn't find anything. So that's why I said that. back from tumblr and i can say that the porn takes way too long to find stouty thank you it used to be far far more accessible which is good my bunnies are either staring at me or watching on my screen go for them vengeance has pet bunnies in case anybody is like what the fuck is he talking about their pictures are in discord fabric yeah fucking piece of metal is there like this is maybe i was gonna say this might be random but it's not really random given the conversation that we've been having like People talk about Chatterbait. People talk about OnlyFans. What are the merits of one versus the other?
good news. No leaks so far. You might be safe to go to bed. What were you gluing or epoxying, Stouty? What were you working on? Ow. Did that work? Did that pry them apart more? Only thing gives the illusion of one-on-one -on -one conversation. This is true. This is true. Which certainly has its merits. Poured a bunch of clear resin into the chest hole, as you do, without the glue being fully cured. What happens if the glue is not fully cured? Because I know nothing about resin. I've never messed with it. Someday, maybe, we'll see. Trying to write is more like a room full of guys yelling, look at me. Fair. Fair. Seen some Twitch streams like that. Just a couple. But is one better? Vengeance. So is one better than the other? Ow. See, my deliberation is still like... I am open to one of these things, but... How do you decide one over the other? And how do you decide to use the name that everyone knows, which would drastically change all of our relationships, which is why I'm not sure if I want to do that, or do it with a completely new name and then never advertise it to protect the relationships as they currently exist. all leaks out and gets on my floor well that's not good but right now there are no leaks so that's a plus that's great I'm happy that there is less less I'm happy that there are no leaks I feel that OnlyFans is less sexual and more sensual that does vary on who you interact with absolutely but this is good and I appreciate you sharing these insights with me Sensual isn't necessarily bad either. Sometimes, I mean, I'm always a fan of less is more. Less can very much be more. It's just about how you do it. Most of my interactions on Suicide Girls, what about them? And Suicide Girls is a different thing because that's not like just anyone. You have to try really hard to get selected and then get treated like crap if they select you the glue can be working dry but when you add all the weight of the resin then the glue can come apart when the glue is fully cured then you know it'll hold that makes sense that makes sense let's try this again sorry i can't help with the social media pay for stuff things i've never done it that's okay that is okay. Neither have I. Like, I would like to... I wanted to, like, go... Whoa, don't, don't get lost. Oh, shit. Here it is. Saved it. Like, I wanted to go on, like, OnlyFans and do research. But you fucking can't do research because that shit's expensive if you have to, like, pay for every page you wanted to look at to see what people are doing. It's just not possible. They have chats and whatnot. True. I've got my personal blog on there and everything. Huh. Do you have a link to it? Can I see? Is 
I do recall um, Suicide Girls being pretty extensive with stuff like that. Now that you say it. Go on Reddit and look up some tags. What? Wait, look up tags for what? Reddit, like Reddit has a lot of stuff, but Reddit doesn't have the answers for everything. And I have found that I am extremely good at asking the questions that the usual places don't have answers for. Yes, they do post stuff there so you can get an idea of what content they post, but only somewhat. Plus, I'm never sure if the people who I'm seeing posting, I'm never sure if those are people who are like actually like doing okay on that platform or if they're like desperate and grasping for anything. Like, not to be cocky, but I, I think I could do pretty well. But I just like to get an idea of what works and what doesn't. I always do my research on anything before diving into it harder it is to do the research, the longer it takes to do the thing. Is this going to... Uh -huh. Maybe. Maybe. It might, it might be happening. It might be going in place where I need it to. <gasps> Holy shit. Yes. Okay. All right. This is good. This is good. We can clamp it down. Mm-hmm. I did it. Um, okay, most of the OnlyFans people post stuff there regularly, so you can get an idea of what kind of post. Cat ears is what works. Research done. According to Vengeance, that is, yes. If I need a skin fix, I just go surfing. Enough naked honeys there. Oh my gosh. Near what? Vengeance, what are you saying? What are you talking about? And like, good for you. I'm glad you have like access to beaches and shit, but that doesn't help the rest of us. Also, if I want, like, I don't know, I was looking into it because like, hey, Bodies are bodies. They can make dollars. I'm open to it. So I try to do research ahead of time. So like, I'm happy that you can easily go and find nearly nude people on the beach. That's what beaches are for, I guess, somewhat. But it doesn't help this conversation. Lies, the Midwest has Walmart at 1 a.m. I haven't, I have not stepped foot in a Walmart in like uh, close to 10 years maybe fuck Walmart fuck the Walden family they ruin they are ruining one of the people who are ruining this country grumble grumble To be clear, I have also been a Walmart employee, so I've seen the internet posts. Sure. Again, not what we're talking about. Not what we're talking about. I fixed the fucking zipper. I'm so happy. I know my face isn't like elated but like i'm really fucking happy that i fixed the zipper stouty i did i fixed the existing zipper i didn't think that was going to be possible and then i learned i learned stuff while i was working and holy shit that was in fact the easier solution this is the original zipper yes i took it all the way out but it's fine i had to remove the stops 
I put this, I, okay, this zipper is brand new, but I took the zipper pull off of it and put it on here. And now, oh fuck. <laughs> now it works, except that I unzipped it. It's because it's not sewn together, but I did it. Walmart is the only place I can get a carton of milk for under $8. I forgot, on the island, shit is expensive. It's expensive. Really don't understand how any of that makes money. It has to be that the people on the other side feel like they're having a personal relationship with the model. Yes. It's like the married guys who go to the strip club. Yes. Like the same kind of people that flirt with the bartender thinking that they're being nice because they really like them. Mm -hmm. Like they flirt with the bartender and they think the bartender is flirting with them, but the bartender really is just being nice and doing their job in like working for tips. It's not the believing they have a relationship with you. It's an escape. Vengeance. I think that is a very, very good point. It's an escape. It's not reality. And deep down, I think people know that. Like, why go to the strip club when you're married? Do you like torturing yourself? I don't think anyone goes, not anyone. I don't think most people go to a strip club thinking that they're building a true relationship with that stripper. The people who think the bartender likes them is the same people who think Trump cares about them. Probably a similar mindset, yes. Probably so. Probably so. Magical, magical panda. One, two, three, four. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, new friend. Welcome to the garden. How are you this night, this time zone, if you will? And many people who follow this rule, flirting does not equal interest. Ding, ding, ding. Flirting is fun. I, I'm not good at it. I'm shit at it. I'm a terrible flirt. I have no game. I really don't. I think I used to have game a long ass time ago. But nope. I don't have any game. I frayed all of this and now it's a bitch to get back together. And that goes both ways. I will say lonely people will go to great lengths to get some human connection. This is also very true. Very true. And I feel bad for them because no one should be that lonely. I would agree. I would agree. It's fun making somebody feel special and they you in return. It is. It is. I don't know if fun is the word I would use, but I mean, everyone wants to feel special and loved or whatever. Everyone wants connection, but I don't know if fun is the word I would use. I think, I think in that phrasing, it makes it seem disingenuous. Just lurking and doing some work. No worries, Panda. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. We, we are also just hanging out uh, and I'm, badly fixing zippers on a hoodie. I'm on Twitch on a Friday night. I get being lonely and wanting company. I just don't get the sexual part. That's fair. Oh, cause I'm putting this on backwards. Mm. I think it depends on the person, Stouty. I guess that's the back. What makes the front of a zipper? I guess it's this. Like maybe for some people, they are lonely looking for any type of personal connection. And then for other people, maybe, um, maybe emotionally they're satisfied and they're seeking a sexual connection or something because their needs are not being met that way at home. I don't know. I don't know. I don't generally analyze it and I'm fine with that. I just wanted to make money from it. That's all I was up for. <laughs> I 
I just want to cash in from the whole like being a female and having a body that's not hideous type thing. This zipper, what the shit did I do? I have a friend who is worth millions and is looking for a girl that's not a redneck and loves WWE. I like WWE. Like, real talk, I like that shit. <laughs> so, uh, who's your friend? For me, sexual stuff is a switch, either on or off. I don't want to feel sexual connection without full commitment. That's fair. Some people are like that. I, I have been like that. I have also been the opposite of that and wanted only sexual connections without any commitment. A different season of my life, if you will. Harder than it sounds. What, finding a chick that's not a redneck who loves WWE? Or finding sexual connections without full commitment or which vengeance, which point are you speaking about? That zipper is fucked. I don't know. We'll do the other one. We'll use the one that I repaired. Okay. Let's pin it. By the way, I just want to say again that this whole conversation is fantastic and I really, really am enjoying this talk we're having. WWE. Oh, again, I like WWE. I genuinely do. And I am not a redneck. And every time I drop wrestling references, Bigby always cheers bits because he's always surprised. <laughs> I haven't like sat down and watched WrestleMania or whatever in a few years, but I do keep up somewhat and I, I just, I genuinely enjoy WWE. Cesaro is Bay. No one, he is my favorite. He will always be my favorite. Others can try, but he is tops. That and, um, I mean, there's a lot of wrestlers that I like, but he is number one for a myriad of reasons. People are sending me messages on Discord and I'm not seeing any of these. If you had a pixie haircut, we could see if your neck is red or not. I think you're hiding it with the long hair. Amazing, amazing. Do you want me to find pictures of myself when I had a pixie cut to post on Discord and you can look? I, when I had a pixie cut, I also, I weighed a lot more. Which isn't necessarily bad, but just different. My neck is not red. It's, it's the rest, the same color as the rest of me. See? See? There you go. He subscribes to WWE online and will straight up turn down sex if SmackDown is on. Well, those are his priorities. Also, I don't, I don't like SmackDown. SmackDown is like the B-list. It's like the JV and then Raw is the varsity. Okay, okay, no redneck. Mm, I told you. <laughs> Vengeance, I'm laughing at the the thing you sent me. <laughs> Whore pants.
way, way past my bedtime. It is, it is. Good night, darling. Good night, Marcus. Sweet dreams. Um, thanks for the dollars. You're nuts. You're nuts. We love you. Sleep well. That just means you need to go outside and get a job, hippie. Wait, you're saying getting a job would turn my neck red? What? She watches them all. I mean, I will watch SmackDown if one of the wrestlers I really like is on SmackDown, but usually I don't. One day I'll send you a guitar body to spray and it'll pay off. Do it. You send it, I'll spray it. Good night, sleep well. Okay, let's pin the zipper into the hoodie. <clears throat> it's cold in here again. Why are Friday streams so fucking great? Like, without fail, you're all amazing. And I, like, I never ever want to miss Friday streams ever. Because the fucking best shit ever. Quality is what happens on Fridays. I think it's because it's like weekend and everybody is like chilling and relaxed and I don't know what the energy is just always so fucking great. I love it. Okay so we're back to the original zipper. I think it went somewhere Oh, that's right, that's right. So this plans this weekend? Like what? I got no place to go. We're still in a pandemic, don't you know? I hope to finally finish a game this weekend, starting when I get up. Like a video game or what kind of game? Tomorrow, um, I have to go to Home Depot to buy light for my workspace in the garage so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. And I'm gonna buy the rest. I'm gonna buy like so many fucking solvents tomorrow. Damn, so many solvents. Um, I, where the fuck does this go? Did I do this backwards? No, how did this go? I should have taken a picture. I didn't take a picture. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I get it. I get it. I know what they did. Um, so I'm going to buy all of the fucking solvents. And I'm going to, I don't know, maybe if you turn the camera this way, way over there, there's all these boxes. See all these boxes in this room. Um, we're back over here. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I need to unpack those boxes and just inventory everything and make sure I have all the shit that I need. And then, um, I'll install the light and situate my workspace and fuck around with my sprayer a bit to get comfortable with it, hopefully. And then um, I'm gonna spray the old desk as a practice thing. Blader, bladder, how do you, how the fuck do you pronounce that first word? Gage Saga, BG3 is going to be out soon. What on earth is that? I have never heard of that. Have not heard of that. Baldur's Gate. What is that? Like, it's a game, but like, what kind of game is it? What do you do in that game? Etc. I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted right now to like throw the the titty girls back on the stream and go back to pools and hot tubs because I low-key really like streaming in that category. And Makers and Crafting is dead at this time of night. Dead as a fucking doornail. So 
so that goes there okay so that's looking good looking good bald bald years gate rpg dnd property oh. so it's a computer computer game that is related to dungeons and dragons interesting do you have a hot tub i don't i have a plastic kiddie pool in my basement that's what we did that's what i used when i did my pool stream um if i was doing that regularly i would totally buy one of those like fancy hot tub things you have titty girls just hanging out somewhere are you feeding them at least oh stouty i keep forgetting you're new um yeah we got these hotties these are the second round hotties the first ones were just like straight up titty girls in bikinis, but this is the second round. These were the crowd picks, like chat chose these. And the lizard lady is, she's so popular. Let's just switch over there. It's good times. Clyde, welcome back. We keep them on reserve. And then when we need them, we just unveil them. I feel like I missed a good conversation because it was good, getting good when I left. You did. You did miss some good stuff. Sorry about it. I'm so confused. What? <laughs> Why on earth? <laughs> what are you confused about? How can I help? Mm-hmm. We have switched categories for anyone who cares. So now we're pinning this. Reminds me, I need to work on my glutes at the gym. Just your glutes, that's so specific. I used to go to Gold's with my friend Nicholas who was a trainer there. And he was always like, leg day, back day, arm day, blah 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 and I was like this is cool I'm just doing your routine because I'm here as your guest or whatever and then later I like learned about powerlifting and all this other stuff and I was like why is everybody spending so much time specializing on shit instead of just working their whole body every time so you're going to put these gifts up and now we're on the pervert side of twitch false stouty don't be judging don't be judging. I feel like saying the pervert side is like judgy. People, I don't think, no, that is not it. There is no side of Twitch that is explicitly for perverts. Whatever that means, whatever that means, because that just means a deviation from the, the norm, whatever the norm is. Nothing is normal. Wow, and now that we're over here, the comment got modded. No, the comment would have got modded anyway because I have auto mod turned on with some minor filters. I do full body every day, but I do give extra work on my booty. Girls like booty also. That's true, that's true. Everybody likes butts. What's wrong with being a pervert? Nothing, nothing. I just think depending on the phrasing or whatever, um, it can be a term that can come off as judgmentalism. So that's why I was saying, like, is that the word we want to use? I don't know. Hmm. Do I need to turn this inside out? What is happening? Nothing wrong with it. I'm not meaning that. That's what I figured. Stouty, you're good people. That's what I figured. Try to always give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Because I get misunderstood like more often than not probably. So I'm always, always going to be erring on the side of trying to clarify and clear things up. Clyde, thank you. Thank you for the gift sub to Stouty. That's so nice. 
Dowdy, you're really like just like a natural, natural addition to the garden, and I really love this. Um, I also want to ask you like what what you want for your origami star, but I just still don't have that sorted. Anyway, you're gonna get an origami star with your name on it. So do you prefer like cute bears or geometric patterns? Or penguins or elephants we have options now <laughs> or little like Shiba Inu meme dogs or hearts there are options cheating who's cheating were you the one who got goose game on Steam someone did gift me um, the goose game the other day vengeance yes who's cheating who is cheating on my phone now good job once you get a star, your legacy is here permanently. I guess? I guess. I gotta start folding stars again soon. <laughs> I was folding them. Okay, so what I used to do was I'd wait until there was a backlog, and sometimes that takes a while. Um, and then I would spend a little bit of time at the start of every stream. That's just my elbow there. like. This is weird. This looks really fucking weird. That's just my elbow. Um, like at the start of every stream, I would try and fold like five stars. And then I stopped doing that. I think I felt like it wasted time and people wanted to like get into whatever we were doing. So I stopped doing that. And then I started folding stars while we were playing the long dark. And I would turn on auto walk if we had to get somewhere that was going to take a while. And that actually works fairly well. But I still don't know, like, if people like to be around while I'm folding the stars or not. Because sometimes it seems like people care about that whole thing. And then other times it seems like people don't give a fuck whether there are stars or not. But I think it's just a nice thing to do. And then when the jar is full, they go in here. And eventually, like, I don't know what we're going to do with this. If that ever gets full, I don't think that will ever happen, but that'll be a situation. Sorry about your internet problems, Cage. <clears throat> and we're putting clips on here. Doing the thing. I'm so happy that I was able to fix the original zipper. I didn't even know that that was gonna be possible. Clyde, how was your food? That's almost like, wait, what did you have? You said you had like a chicken sandwich and, did you say bagel bites? I've, I have never had bagel bites in my entire life. Pretty good. Oh, Mythic Quest keeps getting better. I wanted to start watching that, but we're watching, um, we're watching, I think it's called Dead to Me. It's really, really good. We didn't really know what it was or what we were getting ourselves into when we started it, but like, damn, every episode is like a complete plot twist and it's awesome. It's also like, it's, I don't know. It's almost got like cerebral thriller vibes, but it's also really funny. But Mythic Quest will be going, it might already be on the list, I don't know, but I want to start watching that. We got Spectrum. Dan had, what did Dan have? He had something similar to what you had for dinner. He had Maybe he ate like chicken nuggets and tater tots and then went to bed. That might be what he had. Because I went to go say goodnight and he was talking about like being a five-year-old or something because I make fun of him when he eats stuff like that. Because like five and three-year-olds like to eat foods that are all the same gray color. Not gray, like yellowy, orangish color. Okay, these are not lining up. What the fuck? 
Back to that old game. Things not lining up. I'm good at that. This needs to go here. That's a fantastic meal. Oh my gosh. Why did you go to bed this early on a Friday night like a pop home? Really? Um, because he wants he wants to get up early to go to the farmer's market tomorrow to find purple green beans. Which I think sounds really cool and I would like to eat some purple green beans he was really excited about them so he's gonna get up and try to go hunt some down also he just naturally wakes up early so he goes to bed earlier usually except for when he stays up late I ate a salad after not eating for 22 hours Cage, do you mean like in general at some point in your life you did that? Or do you mean like right now you didn't eat for 22 hours and then you ate a salad? In which case, proud of you, props on the salad, but you should eat more than that if that's all you've had for 22 hours. So if I clip these pieces together, will that make my life any easier? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. Mm, no, no, it will not. There's not even room for that. Yes, today. Why the fuck did you not eat for 22 hours? I'm not even that bad. And I'm like kind of the worst at not eating. Then again, what have I eaten today? I had like three slices of deli ham earlier before I went back to sleep after I woke up. Um, um, what else have I eaten? The baby bell cheese and the pears. I've had that. Mm, I don't, that might be it. That might be it since eating pizza last night. So that's not 22 hours. Or I guess that's kind of within 24 hours. That's kind of within 24 hours. So in the last 24 hours, since this time last night, pretty much, yeah. I had three slices of deli ham, the baby bill cheese and the pears that we saw here. And yeah. Daddy, curse, there's air bubbles in the resin. Oh no, you only see it when the lights are on and you need to get a vacuum chamber. That frustration of going to bed was wonderful getting to hang out with you. Also love you all chat. Aw, Stouty. Thank you for hanging out. It has been so wonderful to get better acquainted with you. Please come back anytime. It is a pleasure to have you with us and um, hopefully we'll see you in Discord keep posting shit see what other people do whatever it's a good it's a good space and you really are such a natural fit i'm so glad so glad you found us but get some rest sweet dreams i hope you wake up rested mm. didn't feel good all day oh yeah because we were talking about that we were like yeah today was just whack everybody felt off today Vengeance, you doing IF, what does that mean? In vitro fertilization? No, that's IVF. <laughs> Why is that the first thing my brain goes to? I couldn't tell you. My brain's a weird, weird place to be. I'm just trying to pin this zipper thing on here. I'm going to burn this piece and then sleep. Oh, intermittent fasting? No, intermittent fasting is a load of shit. And there's lots and lots of studies that will tell you that it's very bad for you. So no, I don't do that. I just forget that food exists and is a thing that I can eat. I also, um, I just forget about food all the time and I forget to eat 
because my body my body doesn't send the signals from like my stomach to my brain that's like oh foo you should have that and then like my stomach doesn't even growl until it's like way 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 past time usually i remember to eat when i'm like holy shit why am i like spinny and dizzy and i feel like i'm going to pass out oh food that's right it's a pain but it's just the way it is and i've never ever been someone that can just like eat at a certain time because it's that time of day i can't do that You just felt too shitty to fix anything. Oh, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. What do you mean by no? No what? I was just saying like lots of people, we talked about this early in the stream, like lots of people just felt off today and they just felt shitty today, including myself. So really, Kate, we're trying to empathize with you. And each other. I'm not fasting. Nope. I'm not fasting. You're not fasting. Nobody's fasting. We're all just shitty at remembering to eat. Hash hashtag autistic problems. Am I right? <laughs> Tis a telltale, telltale thing that we do. Because there's so many other things that are more interesting to do with your time. That's, I don't know, that's only part of it. My brain signals are just mis mixed up, I think. I fast, two to 10 p.m. is my window. Why though? Because then your body just stores, if you like, depending on how you do it, whatever, whatever, like, then your body just ends up storing more fat because it's preparing for famine. And then that's not healthy either. I'm getting leaner, but I do work out in the morning. Well, that's great. Good for you. I wish I could be that motivated. I just, I just don't exist in the morning. I'm terrible at mornings. I daydream of one day being a morning person, but it's just, I'm just not wired for it. When left to my own devices and my own natural circadian rhythm, I don't get tired until like two or three in the morning. Fortunately, with the internet being down, I'm probably not going to be streaming this morning. It happens, Cage. It's okay. Nobody, nobody is expecting you to do these things. So the way that streaming works is like, you do what works for you. You got to work within the limitations of your given situation. And that's how it is for anyone. I go to sleep in my gym clothes and hit the gym with bed hair. There you go. That's one way to do it. That creates a lot less work in the morning because you don't want to have to get up and get ready to go over there. That fucking sucks. I wish I could do something like that. Well, to be fair, my like gym is in the garage. So if I was going to do that, the commute would be minimal. But when I like, I want to get back into lifting weights and stuff, but I want to do like a figure competition program instead of just like five by fives and boring shit like that. Because I want something more specific. And more interesting movements. Maybe one more clip here. There we go.
Doop, boop, boop, boop. Okay. Um, I'm going to run another ad and then like get up for a minute and stuff. I know be back in a couple minutes, so please hang out. Vengeance, don't leave. Cage, don't leave. I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Panda, yes, you're welcome to come and join our Discord. Um, we have a very active Discord community. Um, and you, oh God, perfect, beautiful, and natural. I didn't even have to explain the pronouns. Love it. What a dream. Thanks for that. You're all set to go. Panda, don't be shy. Make yourself at home in the Discord. Hello, woman. Hello. Is it Louis or Louis Vinac? Hi. How's it going? Uh, Panda, thanks. Thanks for the welcome back. I had to go hunt down my lip balm. My lips have been very dry. And it was real sad. I were in the shorts I was wearing earlier today. So we might be ready to fix this. What's the topic of this stream? There are many. There's not one specific topic. Um, I'm repairing the zipper on a sweatshirt of mine, a hoodie. Um, and we're just hanging out and talking about all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. All kinds of things. Cage, thanks for the welcome back. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I guess when I switched categories, I didn't add any like peaches or water drops. Let me fix that. That's nice. Yeah, it works. It works. Um, I think we might be ready to start sewing the zipper back in place. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. Okay. So I also want to... Um, I want to flip this inside out carefully. Uh, this might be dicey, but I want to flip it inside out carefully to make sure I have it set up correctly before we start sewing. Frightful, good morning. Hi. Hello, woman. How are you today? That reminds me of the Princess Bride. Um, is it physique? Um, Andre the Giant's character, where he's always like, "Hello, lady." Fun stuff. I feel like every time someone uses um, Demi's lol react. I feel like it just rubs it in my face that I haven't made one of those. And I need to make one, but that one is really fucking difficult. LOL WTF. What are you what the fucking about, Cage? That's a shitty feeling. Isn't it though? Emotes are hard when you're a person whose like demeanor is like an even keel flat line most of the time. <laughs> yeah, not the easiest thing to do. Don't mind my chicken scratch. That's how my handwriting looks when it's really fast. It's not good. But normally, I have really nice writing, if anyone cares. everything 
Cage, come on. Don't be, don't be a pity party. You have to choose to see the bright side of things or you'll never get out of the hole, buddy. I'm just telling you because I've been there. First time I was ever dressed down for being a sexist pig was a misunderstanding over a zipper repair. Frightful. Continue. I, I would like to hear this story. What is there to be misunderstood about a zipper repair? Okay, carefully going to try to make this go inside out. Mm, dicey. I'm gonna make sure it looks okay before we actually stitch it and make it permanent. Is the, um, the like this flap of fabric right here on the front of a hoodie, is that supposed to potentially like meet and cover up the zipper? Cause I feel like it is. I feel like it's kind of like supposed to do that. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna switch back to my earbuds so that I can listen to music. Frightful. Waiting on that story, friend. She assumed that I thought she should be able to sew a zipper. She thought that you were being sexist, assuming that because she's a woman, she should know how to sew a zipper. I actually assumed she should be able to sew a zipper because she was an adult. And I assumed that everyone had minimum basic competence before leaving home. Whoa. Boy, was I wrong. I fixed her skirt and she forgave me. Wow. I gotta say, um, assuming that everyone acquires like sewing skills and stuff before leaving home, I think that is highly presumptuous. Highly. Because that is definitely not a uh, commonly done thing. Maybe a long time ago, but mm -mm, not now. Obviously not now. And like even I say that now, meaning like within the last even 50 years, maybe. So yeah, I think this looks okay. Um, I want these to meet in the middle a little bit more. 20 years ago where I was raised, Repair and make do is what we had. That's very fair, that's very fair. But even then, like, you can't say everyone should have this skill because nothing is, nothing is absolute. At what level of sewing are we talking about? Also that, what level of sewing? Because zipper repair is not, that's not entry level of sewing. Thinks of plenty of foster kids that missed out on these minimum basic competencies. That, tr that, that too, but even, even, um, people who grew up in a perfectly fine family, like that doesn't mean they learn those things. There was a girl at a concert, her dress zipper in the back was showing. It wasn't zipped up and I tried to be nice and walked over and promptly zipped her dress for her and got punched in the face. 
yeah, Cage, I can see why. Don't fucking touch people without their consent. Just point blank. Don't fuck, don't touch anyone without their consent. And sometimes, especially as a dude, even though you mean well, it might be best to just do nothing. A zipper I can do by hand. That's great, but I guess my saying is don't presume that, or don't assume that everyone can do what you can do. I can stable a hole in my shirt. What do you mean by stable? That's tier one stuff. That's 15. Age is irrelevant, Gage. Don't touch people without their consent. You could have even said to someone else, um, like, I don't know, for me, like, if I was a dude and I saw this person whose zipper was messed up at a show or whatever, I might, like, find somebody else, maybe, like, someone else who is a female and be like, hey, I know, I don't want to be creepy, but I noticed that this chick's zipper is, like, messed up. Would you mind going and telling her? I think that would be the only potentially safe avenue in that situation. Lesson long since learned. Oh, I bet. <sighs> We're going to go over to the sewing machine, I think. I think. Um, I need to turn this back inside out. just want these to be a little bit further over. Also, if you tell her in a not creepy nice way with good wording, she might be into you. That's a, not a good angle to work from. <laughs> or not, but more likely if you don't touch her. Yeah, just straight up don't touch people without their consent. But I was also thinking like, if you go up to some chick at a concert and you're like, your zip, by the way, your zipper is like unzipped in the back or whatever. She's gonna be like, well, why the fuck were you looking? And did you tear, like, did you pull down my zipper? Like, cause people are fucking sketchy and shitty. So like, you're better off just saying nothing. Velcro? Why the fuck is Automide going after Velcro? That's not a sex based term. What the fuck? Automat is so stupid. Real question is why doesn't women's dresses come in Velcro? Because Velcro sucks. I saw you halfway undressed. Want to get coffee sometime? Right, like it doesn't work that way. Like it can, but that is by far the exception. Not nowhere close to any kind of rule. This needs to come over quite a bit more. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out where this was stitched before. I'm scared to look it up on Urban Dictionary. I have no idea. Automod is its own wild whatever the fuck. I mean, look it up on Urban Dictionary. I can't even imagine what that possibly... I don't know. I don't know. But I would be curious to know whatever it is. Why is this, like, bunched up? That goes along the zipper. Uh, I guess that's also gonna go along the zipper. Okay. Yes, there is a fetish for everything. That is true. I still don't know that Velcro is. I don't. I don't think the reason it auto mods Velcro was because of a fetish. I just. It's just that auto mod is an automated thing. 
So it errs on extreme caution. I don't know. Just because you, like, there's nothing wrong with looking something up on Urban Dictionary Vengeance. Nothing bad is going to happen if you look something up. It just doesn't work that way. Um, okay, so this is like that. All right, let's carefully flip it back. Right side out, I guess. I have learned my lesson. I will never wear this shirt on stream ever again because it's horrible and everyone hates it. And I will never wear sweatpants because I offered and you were all like, fuck that. Nobody wants that shit. I offered sweatpants, crop top, and cat ears. Unwanted. Actually, specifically, I offered to dance poorly in said ensemble and was was not welcome. I'll be on the same day as you soon. Oh, you, now you say you like this shirt. Vengeance, you're so wishy-washy. You don't know what you want. Because you were all like, you were all like, that's a moo moo, blah, 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 blah. That, this shirt with sweatpants, you got jokes, you got jokes. Did you do a poll on the crop top and sweatpants? Because I think that might be a yes. Um, no, I didn't do a poll because at the time, the discussion, we have like less than 10 people hanging out and like if three people vote, like that's really not a good sample size. I like your shirt too. Don't assume we don't. Well, I ask questions, I don't get answers. So what am I supposed to do with that? Hmm? Automon is an experiment. It's a learning algorithm and most of its decisions are based on context. Words near other words. I don't give a fuck about the cat ears. You, me, both. I said it looked like a moo. I never said I didn't like it. You also never said that you did like it. So, if you're giving me shit saying it looks like a moo, then like, what what conclusion am I supposed to come to, you know? Like, what am I supposed to make of that? Maybe I should iron this. Maybe that's the problem. Things I don't want to do, ironing right now. Also, oh, dancing in sweatpants would be really hard because I will be so sweaty. <laughs> I overheat very easily because my body does not regulate temperature properly. Probably the proximity of come and dress or woman. Maybe, but again, Velcro, like, Velcro, I, I don't know. I don't even care to analyze it. Automata is stupid. <laughs> Wait, that's when it becomes a pool stream. What, what becomes a pool stream when? You didn't tell anyone, and you didn't tell anyone you had the hairy bathing suit underneath. What? Clyde, what are you talking about? You might be onto something, but I'm not connecting the dots, so please elaborate. I think it should work. So we're gonna go down that seam. Clips. Uh, okay, what? You said dancing in sweatpants would make you hot and sweaty. I didn't say hot and sweaty. I said I would get overheated easily. <laughs> and then I said that's when it becomes a pool stream. Oh, okay. 
Remember when I came into the stream and said weed was the topic? No, I don't remember that. How high is Clyde? Moderately high. Moderately high, but very lucid, which is the usual for him. So you're saying, do the sweatpants, whatever, and then when you get overheated, then you sit in the pool because it cools you off. I get it. Never mind, I'm probably not as lucid. Who knows? Who knows? Why is that so loose? Why is that so far over? I'm just trying to make sure I understand this before I start sewing it. Fucked up all of these clips, I think. Okay, never mind, I did not. They're fine. I am more than moderately high. Would you say you're high as a kite, Gage? Let's just sew it and see what happens. I think I have to rotate that again. Okay. Yeah, I can't get beyond a six out of ten without a ton of edibles or just after hunger too high of a tolerance. You did it to yourself. Cloud six or seven. <laughs> yes, and that's my, I don't know. But that's the thing, like that's, we were talking about this before, but that's why I can't do like edibles multiple days in a row. Like I can't do it because then I build up a tolerance really fast to that. And then it's like, well, this is too expensive to do indefinitely. Moving shit so that we can sew. Oh, we're gonna have to change all the thread. Fuck. I forgot to send you measurements, uh, and I keep forgetting to send you an invoice, so we're even. It's on my list. Wherever my list went, I had a, I had a list, it had check marks on it. And then I cleaned my desk off because I was gonna stream, and I don't know what happened to the list. not here. Oh, it's over here. So my berserker gets zerked. Happens. extra damage.
Mm. So let's change this over. Does that work? Uh, what are we doing? I'm trying to remember how I do this. Okay. This goes here, that goes there. Oh, right, we have to change this. Hold on. Let's go back over here for a minute. Dude, Cage, don't even. Stream Raiders, who cares? Stream Raiders does not matter at all. 12.06 a.m. and 85. Oh, that's gross. And it's definitely humid because that is life by the ocean. not take very long to sew this up. I say famous last words. Okay. This goes this way. Fifty percent. That yeah, that's actually pretty low. It's humid here at night lately, which is kind of weird. It's generally more humid at night because of the whole like dew points and shit. That business. That's too far over. Whatever. This is adequate and fine. Let's go sew some shit, shall we? Being hot is the weird part. Well, it's summer cage. It's always hot in the summer, right? Isn't it? Okay, so, ah, fuck, I need thread. Shit, it's always something. Gray thread. Where would I put that? Over here. I can't wait to get all these boxes out of here. Oh no. This cart does not go over here, but there for right now. That's not what we want. That could work. That could work. This and what is this? Polyester. Polysheen. I think I want to go with the polysheen. That metler is good. I think that's gonna be our color. Uh. 
Okay. Then we get to wind a bobbin. Oh, uh, where the hell I put those? Find a new bobbin of the color we want. Okay, I'm t I don't know, I'm tempted to go back to makers and crafting but it might also just be that it's that time of day where it doesn't fucking matter just gonna leave it okay let's get rid of this white thread so hopefully this won't take very long and then i can be done it's weird like it's I can't tell if it's warm in here or if I'm having issues because I'm like overheating but also really cold. We need this, we need this, this, okay. Ew. Gross. Things are messy. light on the situation, shall we? Maybe this one does. Wait. That's a bit better. How are you? Good morning? I guess. I'm doing okay. We're fixing a zipper on a hoodie that I bought in 2010. And <laughs> it's just one of those that's like threadbare and it's so comfy. So I'm fixing it because it's also good practice at repairing zippers. How about you, how are you doing? And I, t I totally forget, like, where, where are you out of again, danger? This bobbin, actually, I'm gonna just set this one aside because this is what we're using. I was like, this is what we're using for that other project, but the other project was the hat. So we're kind of done with the hat for the time being, and whenever we revisit it, we will be using different colors, inevitably. So that goes up uh, wherever I put that other thread. Okay, cool. Good not hood. I got it. I'm regretting. I'm oh, you're registering kids for school. <gasps> oh dang! It is that time. It is I just finished solidifying my fall classes yesterday, so I'm right there with you, but on the the university side, not the K through 12 side. What, um, what grades are your kids going to be starting? Manolia Kit Kat. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the garden. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. here around a few times and then through the little hole in the bottom I'm 
We're getting ready to sew the zipper, the, the repaired zipper onto the jacket. What are you going for? My kids will be 12, eight, eight, four, and six grades. Wow. You really got a nice interval of ranges there. You have to unplug the foot pedal. Strange. Um, I am going, wait, what? Dang boy, that's a lot of children. It is, but he's got a mixed, he has a mixed family going on because he has got some kids and his new lady has a couple kids, right? So, makes sense, makes sense. Blended families, that's normal. As normal in this America. Two seniors, wow. Oh yeah, my bad, it's too late and I'm not being nice. Clyde, mind your manners. Or just like, take a second and think first. Think before you speak, there you go. I have eight children now. Okay, but to be fair, that is kind of a lot. It's like the Brady Bunch plus two more. I'll answer your question, Danger, here in just a minute when the bobbin is finished because I don't want to get distracted from it. I also don't know why I'm filling a full bobbin, but I guess it's just habit. Um, so my major is environmental arts. My major is natural resources and environmental science with a concentration in, um, what is the word? I just blanked. It's a concentration in restoration ecology space. Oh, the concentration is ecosystem stewardship and restoration ecology. Blech. There it is. Since we as humans are animals, if we were out in the wild, we naturally would be spreading our seed as much as possible and as fast as possible. Right. I mean, I know how um, natural selection and all that works. Whoever gets laid the most wins. Yes, I get it. And it's not, it's not about as fast as possible, it's quality over quantity. Quantity, sure, but quality matters because then you are in fact the most evolutionarily fit. I know things, I went to college for this. Let's go here, so we've got one, two, three, up to four. stay ah there you go we did it we did it oh this is the wrong foot i gotta change that too dang it I lose then. It happens. Lenny, hey, is this live? Totally not live at all. No, not at all. Do you, is this your first day on Twitch? It's on 30 minute delay in case of spoilers. Right, there you go. Thanks, Clyde, the producer. Kidding. I have to put my seed out there because it was the last namesake for my family. Oh my gosh. Please don't go. For real, stay. Lenny, hi, welcome in. How are you this time zone? How, how are things? I am fixing a zipper on a hoodie that I have had for a really long time. Also to get practice in zipper repairing. All right, we've got that, we've got that. Technically we're ready. Ooh, scary. What are you up to? What brings you in? Are you here for the lizard lady? Mm -hmm. She's very popular. Don't be shy. 
You, you can, you can speak freely if that's why you're here. We don't judge. Stand up. I just sat down. I just sat down. Why should I stand up? Oh, right. I gotta change the foot on here. That's... That is the zipper foot. Oh, fuck. How does that work? I've never sewn with a zipper foot before. Eight hour zipper repair is about the same as me and my dad taking about eight hours to put up a ceiling fan. The brand name was Five Minute Fan. Clyde's always on board. Um, that's for buttons. What the fuck? Overcasting. Blind hem. Mm -mm. Fabrics. No. There are the things with the different feet. Sorry, I will pay attention in just a second. me the rundown of the other things. Here it is. Okay, so we've got zipper foot eye. That's this one. I need to like search or something. Ten dollars to stand up. I was just popping in to say what's up and see if you wrote what I put in this word. I did. I think I tagged you in my response danger. I normally do, it took me a while. I didn't get to it till the next afternoon because I had chaos happening, but I did read it and I replied to it a bit, but um, that's a wild fucking ride, dude. But um, thank you for sharing that with us and thanks for trusting this community enough to share your experiences. That means a lot. And I know that through various parts of your story, there are definitely facets of it that every person could relate to for sure. But that had to be really, really hard to go through. So I'm really sorry that happened. But I'm also super stoked that you, that it has a happy ending and that you found somebody who was a much better fit for you. That part made me really happy. Would love to stalk. I mean, watch your stream longer, but it's late for me. Hmm. Vengeance, you can stalk anytime. We don't mind. You're in Discord. You know how it works. I'll be around. You gotta sleep. You gotta sleep. Um. I feel like I do need to come back over here and be like, okay, but how do you actually use the zipper foot? Because I haven't used the zipper foot to show zippers. I've only used it to do piping. Um, Lenny, by the way, I'm not opposed to standing up, but I just, I don't follow requests of things from people who don't even follow my channel. The least you can do is follow before you make requests. It's just a basic curse. Um, okay, I gotta, I guess I'll just search on here first, and then if not, I will stand up and go over to the computer if I need to. Search zipper. Page 20. Mm, I guess that's just plain old page 20. No, they're all labeled. What in the fuck? Oh, it was literally the next page that I just didn't bother looking at. Okay, I see how it is. Where 
show butt. Mm, how butt? No. You can't just come in making demands. Come on. Um, stitch is, the stitching is sewn on both pieces of fabric butted against each other. How topical, Lily. How topical you are. Put those up there. They're on both pieces against each other, the right side of fabric, the stitching, the end of the zipper opening. Sew the straight stitches up to the zipper opening. Weird. Align the seam with the center of the zipper and base it into place. What? This is confusing. This is not a side zipper. What is up with this person? How do I follow? Is this your first time on Twitch? You push the button. Is it a heart? What does it look like? <laughs> Under the channel thing. I can't see it. Yeah, you press the follow button. That's literally how it does. To be fair, we did we did cross over back into pools and hot tubs, so danger. This um brings out more interesting things in the woodwork, but it's a wild ride, and I'm always a fan of it. Where's my shoe? <gasps> Lenny, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome to the garden. The stream even makes a cool sound when you follow. It's true. We get cute little chirping birds. It is. It's super easy. It's the easiest thing to do, and it's honestly, it's the very least you can do. There's like something in my eye, but I can't quite get whatever it is. Yay! Congrats, you did it. Okay, but really, we don't need to make that big of a deal out of it. Sure, she's not going to show her butt, though. Yeah, yeah. There's TOS and all that, you know. So, yep. There was a pool stream. I didn't show my whole butt, but it showed more of my butt than what's visible in shorts. If you missed it, you missed it. Press the seam allowance to the right side. This is confusing. What the fuck? These instructions though, they are something. I mean, there's like, there's a VOD. There's a VOD if you wanna watch 19 hours of it. You're all gonna make clips of anything there. There are many clippable moments. There was, there used to be a clip where I was fixing my boobs in my bikini. And the person who made the clip deleted it because they love me, so. I don't know if they love me, but they are a respectable fellow. Let's have a no, another go at that stream, at the pool stream. I've always said I'm open to doing another one I just didn't want to do another one immediately, and I don't know. I just like to say, like, make things worth my while and I will do them. I don't think that's unreasonable, but it's not a, apparently it's not a popular response for some reason. I'm not hideous. People should figure that out and do something about it. I don't know. Um, okay, so how do we do this? This might end poorly. Because they're saying, okay, we are going to get up and we're going to go back over to the desk. Because I need to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Where is the, the what? Where is the VOD? It's under videos. On my channel. Is this your first day on Twitch? 
Um, we can't go here for a minute, so we'll just pop that up. How to sew a hoodie step by step. Maybe that will help us. Let's take a look. Hey, I'm good with looking at a sewing machine too. See, Danger, you have the right idea. The whole idea is that you come along with me on this chill roller coaster, which is a wild fucking ride, but we keep things at a chill tempo. But it's definitely like shit gets crazy. And the whole point is that you just sign up and you commit. You commit and you're along for the ride, whatever that ride is. People who started hanging around here eight months ago when I was like building a miniature scale model thing, or last fall when I was like trying to figure out what I was doing and fucking around with furniture badly, like, I am sh I am confident that Christian had no idea what he was getting himself into when he followed my channel September 30th of last year. But he had no idea what he was getting into. <laughs> and that I was gonna be like, hey, what if I did a pool stream, everybody? People didn't know. Nobody had a clue. Wild ride, I'm telling you. I get ideas. Right, let's go. Sign up, just get on board. Just get on board, that's all you gotta do. Lene, that's all you gotta do. You gotta get on board, you sub, you hang out, make it happen. Um... Oh, danger. By the way, earlier, you were asking about that Prime thing. I should have just given you this link, but I wasn't thinking about it at the time. That's how you sub with Prime on my channel, if anyone cares to do that. I'm only mentioning this because you had asked about it. Mm, okay, so I'm trying to read this thing. So the pockets. No fucking pockets. Blah blah blah. Get me to the zipper. Cuffs. We could just make new cuffs for the hoodie since the ones were all shredded. Ideas, ideas. Saw it. Saw what? What did you see, Lenny? Add the zipper. Okay, so they did that part. Pin the zipper in place on either side of the front opening. That's right side up. Um, zipper tape flush with the opening and the bottom stopper Man, the teeth at the top should start a half inch like that. I'm with you. I'm like one of those friends that just gets in without asking questions. My favorite. I love those so much. You just gotta trust. You gotta trust me that I will, I'm, that I'm worth it. I don't think anyone who has jumped in this van has been disappointed. I don't think. What if you just get rid of the whole zipper thing and stitch it together and make it a hoodie? It already is a hoodie. It's a zip up hoodie. It's a zip up hoodie and the zipper broke. So I fixed the zipper and now I am reattaching the zipper. Using the zipper foot. So along the zipper, securing it to the opening. Well, no shit. That was a useless tutorial. All these things are like sewing a hoodie from scratch, which is not what I'm doing. I'm just fixing shit. I just want to know how they're using the zipper foot. That's all I want to know. Right here. 
Where's that? Oh my god. I'm waiting for my Prime to connect fully. It's pending right now because I disabled the other account. And this one, I'm waiting approval. Oh, it's weird how that shit goes. Searching a zipper with the brilliant. Ooh, maybe that will tell me. Normally, like my partner and I both have like Prime Twitch Prime accounts set up, even though like we have one, we have one Amazon Prime account, but you can. He has an account. He shares the benefits with me, and so we each have our own. Which Prime setup thing, and usually it's not a problem. So we each have a Prime sub to use each month, and then like last month somehow he used his Twitch Prime sub on my account, and it like got weird, and like it used, it counted it as using mine. I don't know. I'm not liking my Prime right now with this. What do you mean by that danger? Uh, I have both of the 2020 pajama emotes, and I really like them. I'm trying to watch a video. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we're gonna watch a video, because I don't remember how to do this. Oh my god. Position on your stitch. So okay, you find back the fuck up. Black Brilliant comes with a left and right sided zipper foot, so you can attach it on either side. Yep, no shit. Right side. There we go. And I'm working with a center needle straight stitch. I'll show you how we can check placement. And adjust I hate when they just tell me everything except the thing I want to know. Two pieces of fabric, and I've sewn them together, right sides together, and I pressed open my seam. And applied a piece of double sided stitch oh, I see what they did. side of the seam allowance and used that to press it down on top. Mm -hmm. That will hold my zipper mm -hmm. nice and secure as I've stitched. I don't have to worry about poking myself with pins or getting pins through the zipper. I what? see what they're doing. That's an interesting way of doing that. So, what they did was they connected those. So, I just need to take that and go down the sides, I think. Can't use oh you can't use it right now and that's annoying. I feel that I feel that because I can't use mine right now either because apparently it got used. So we're gonna do that to go across there and then we go around there. Okay. Sometimes I just have to see it done. Stupid visual brains. She's doing an invisible zipper. I don't need mine to be invisible, but it's fine. It's fine. Good job, lady. You can sew. Go back to the other side. That is how it works. But then, yeah, she's going to do the thing where you go up the middle and then you magically have a zipper. Which is kind of a good idea, but I don't want to do it that way. But that is a really good idea. That helps me out, tells me what I needed to know. Brilliant, huh. Get it, because that's the name of the sewing machine that they were working with. I'm funny, I have jokes. Okay. That 
is really tempting to connect those pieces though. Um, let me get the pins before I sit down and don't get back up. So I guess if I put some pins in to hold the zipper in place, then I can also um, I can also try and do the thing that they were doing. And that goes like that. I think that should be okay. Obviously, I should have done this with the pins before sitting down over here, but it's whatever. I also need to turn off that other thing that I put up over here. Okay. Wait, Danger, you have to go do school registration on a Saturday? That seems kind of weird. Maybe I can pin these together this way. I'm also kind of feeling like this is one of those things that I should have like quit before doing this step or something. Like quit while you're ahead or not ahead, but like you could quit while I'm not starting anything new. And then like if I'm not ready to do furniture shit on Sunday, then we could just finish this on Sunday. That was a nice dance video. <laughs> nice pool stream. <laughs> it was so so. It was not great. If I had gone into it with more than three and a half hours of sleep, it might have been better. It might have been better. But thanks for saying so. Just kind of half pinning this so I can try and put together, oh fuck, um, the front end of it. There's definitely like a line on which to stitch all this. Let's go together, then that goes there, then that goes there. I think, I think it makes sense. okay you still look beautiful in it oh geez oh geez i don't know about all that but you are kind to say so mm, line up fabric it with a pin if I can even get any of these pins. I guess we're just dumping them out and hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, 
Um, oh, danger. Yeah, I was saying, are they really like having school registration happen on a Saturday? That seems unusual to me. Just based on what I remember from when I was in school like that. Hi, Fiona. Hi, pretty. What are you doing? What a great cat. Oh, she's here for the food. She's always here for the food. <laughs> okay, so we will... Uh, no, if I keep it clipped, it's not going to lay flat. So that is there, that is there. Um, so then this part needs to be pinned in place again. Ow! Fuck. I always like start off holding things together with clips and then I'm like, well, what am I doing? And I switch back to pins, which makes it take longer, but the pins, I, or not pins, I like using the clips earlier on to get like an idea. It's like a mock-up of the pinning process. So now, if I do that, then mm, how did I do that part? So they, I think they sewed the two layers together first, and then they went back and did that shit, because how the fuck else would that work? This might be more work than I want to do right now. Tatted01, hi. Welcome in. Save her problem, sounds cool. I guess. I don't know if cool is the word I'd be going for, but it's a thing and I'm fixing it. It's working, so. Welcome in. How are you this morning? Ow, morning, evening, this time zone. I don't know where you're at, so. Jesus, these fucking pins. <laughs> Not, not great. Ow. <laughs> I'm just gonna take these pins. Holy fuck. Wow. It's not my first time using pins, I promise. Jesus, that fucking hurts. Maybe if I just take the pins out from this end. Oh, nope. I'm going all different directions. That's the problem, too. So I'm going to take the whole zipper off of here so I can pin together the two sides. Like what they were doing. And I think that will... Um, I think that'll work a lot better. And that's something also that can be done with clips. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm still thinking about this bits goal thing, even though the people who we were discussing it with, I think they all went to bed. Because we couldn't do a poll. There were not enough people. Bits goal. There you are. <laughs> Um, because we couldn't do a poll, because there, there weren't enough people around to do a poll. Was that when I was gone? No. When you were like in and out and around doing your thing, popping back intermittently. I don't know if you said a bits goal or somebody mentioned something about a bits goal. Um, and I was thinking, like, if I set a goal, I don't know if it's bits or what. If I set a goal that's like, if we meet this thing, then, then I'll do another stream in which I wear whatever is decided upon and dance poorly to songs I don't know. Because here I am assuming that people want to see me dance poorly to songs I don't know. It's entirely possible that literally no one wants that. I have no idea because no one tells me what they actually do want. So sometimes I feel like, why am I coming up with these ideas? That seems mighty presumptuous. So I was thinking like, oh, should we set, should I set a goal of like, if we meet this certain bits goal or sub goal or something, then I would do such and such stream. But again, I'm assume I am presuming that people want this when I have absolutely no evidence to support this claim. I can speak to sweatpants plus dancing being a good idea, but I am neutral on the two songs you don't know part. Well, if I actually sign up for the month or the unlimited just dance, then that songs I don't know part is less of an issue because I can get the whole library of songs. Good with whatever you choose. It's true, Danger, Danger is, he's just in the van, he's down with whatever, which is the best fucking attitude and I love that shit. Because I'm also that type of friend, I'll be like, I'll be shotgun, I'll ride whatever the seat is in the middle that no one wants, I'm just here for the ride and to support my friends. Ow, I don't know what that is. It's either a bug bite or something that's trying to be a pimple. Either way, it's not great. This stream went from wholesome working on crafts at the kitchen table to get in the van. Wait, is get in the van not wholesome? My streams have never, <laughs> they've never been inherently wholesome. <laughs> is it like my face that gives people this impression? What is it? It's only wholesome if there's free candy. And a little bit of that, because if there's a van and free candy, that's really like, yikes. This music is not what I signed up for. This is not house music or anything like what we usually listen to. Blindfolded or bag over the head is fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you talking about me? Danger, are you talking about me? Yikes. Or what are you talking about with that? You have to specify. I think the wholesome aspect comes from like the birds tweeting and stuff and like cute little snails. <laughs> Happy tree friends is less wholesome, but only if people know what that is. Only if people know that song and I think that's pretty niche. Jace, hi, welcome. Congrats on being the only stream tagged crochet that's actually doing any craft. I do crafts, I make shit. I crocheted a fried egg. It's uh, over here somewhere. We do crafts, but like we're not we're not wholesome, okay? Gorilla 
Gerardo, I don't speak Spanish. Um, are you in Argentina? Fantastic. Oh, danger getting in there. You don't have to blindfold yourself or anything. It ain't even like that. Just get on board and pack some snacks. Jay, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the garden. Um, how are you this fine time zone? Because I don't know if it's morning or night or whatever time it is, wherever you're at. But it's um, 555 in the morning for me. I don't sleep. Um, <laughs> I don't sleep and I don't know what a short stream is. Basically. These have to line up here and here. Jace, do you like crafting streams? Smoking a TV in the back of the van. If anyone wants to pop, if not, rock on. Oh my gosh. Doing well. It's a wild Saturday night. Oh, you're in Melbourne. Great. Great. That's wonderful. Um, I haven't been to Melbourne, but I've been to several other Australian cities multiple times. It's lovely. I enjoy it greatly. You get another puff, then it's my turn. Don't worry, Clyde is good at sharing. He is a good host. Or at least I assume. I don't know. Look at me ass just assuming things about people. I don't fucking know. Clyde is the, the manners and charisma of the operation because I'm not. Apparently, I'm rude or something. <laughs> I don't know. Jace, um, Jace, what kind of streams do you normally like to watch? I do a bit of everything. Makers and crafting is technically my home, but I did a pool stream last month. Um, we, we do crafting things, we do plants and gardening and miniatures and outside shit and sometimes I play games on Wednesdays, um, we're getting ready to do furniture restoration stuff, hopefully starting next week. There's just a bunch of shit going on, I get crazy ideas and people are on board for whatever it is, so get up to a lot of weird shit. But it's always chill. It's a wild ride, but it's always chill. And if that sounds weird, I promise just stick around and it'll make sense. I'll fire up another one and we can each have our own, my friend. COVID and all. It's true. It's true. Do not say you are rude. You said I was rude earlier. <laughs> you said that. Maybe not explicitly, but I'm still just gonna take what you said and run with it. Because I can. Bit of everything really, depends on what the mood takes me. I get that, I get that for sure. At least someone is good at sharing nowadays. Who can forget COVID even in times of getting high? Well, it is our reality. Of the, it is the reality of the world in which we live. Danger. And it's still here and it's not going away. We are still very much in a pandemic. I saw people under a bridge using different needles to vaccinate themselves. That's what I assumed. So proud of the community. Oh my God. Oh you. You with the jokes. Wonderful. Okay, so we need, I think we need to go back to the regular sewing foot. I 
Gotta take that foot off to put the other one on. Who knew? How much does a roof cost? Like 10 grand? I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm not a homeowner yet. Not for lack of trying. Depends on who builds the roof. There was a broken hair that I was going to get. It disappeared. Oh well. nothing it's on the house god damn it get get the fuck out of here with that that's terrible but but i should have expected it because that's a fucking dad joke and you are abs you're a dad so it's on par i just i should have fucking known should have known Thank you for getting the laugh track taken care of. I appreciate it, Clyde. Okay, so we, they were sewing these together. Okay, but on which line? That line, okay, that is. Oh, right, 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 right. This is, this is just gonna be weird and we're just gonna go with it and try our best. Which is all we ever do. going to be very exact. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's that's the line I need, I'm pretty sure. So we'll start there and work our way down. Fixing the clips as we go, obviously. That is the problem with clips, they just are always in the way. Oh, it's so warm in here. Oh my gosh. The fan is on and I'm just roasting. No soundtrack for us. What? Why? Why no soundtrack? What do you mean? Once again, things I did not want to do, stream all fucking night. Things I did anyway, stream all fucking night. The alert didn't go through. Oh, sitcom laugh track? It went, I heard it, it was well-timed. Oh, I didn't, but I'm deaf. My sound stuff is a little bit warped at the moment because I tried to fix it the other day and it did the opposite of fixing it. So sometimes those are not as audible. 
shouldn't say death unless I mean it. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to go with a wide stitch. Mm, yeah, I guess that's fine. 10 millimeters, that's a centimeter. I think 15 is good. Let's just try that. See if that gets us where we need to be. And we'll try and hold on to that line. Oh, but that's far over two. That's here, that's not centered. We can shift the needle over. That should work. All right, let's see how we can do. Hmm. it is in the wrong spot yes because it is okay this needs to go underneath thank you and we're gonna try and hold things on this line and sometimes when you use thick fabrics what the shit what is this doing not right. I'm going to cut that off and try to figure out what the hell that was. Nope, don't like that. What is everybody else doing? What are you up to this smart? Oh, it's because the, the fucking foot detached <laughs> amazing that definitely puts a damper on things no wonder it wasn't working because it was fucking attached that would certainly do it line really that one okay that zipper seems to be kicking your butt it's not kicking my butt it's more that like um i haven't worked with zippers so much really so this is new to me i'm kind of figuring it out as i go which is kind of how I always do things, which is probably not what I should do, but it's just the way I am. Because I, I learn by seeing and I learn by doing. So that's what I'm doing. But yes, it was also the, the, the presser foot that comes down on the sewing machine to do the actual work, it was detached and I didn't notice. Like, it's just acting weird, so I'm trying to figure out what the hell it's doing. To the scraps, to test it out. Oh, 
maybe there are feed dogs. Feed dogs. And I didn't adjust them from last time, which means that's the thing that helps the fabric like move under the machine. Makes a difference. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> For sure. Danger. Good night. Good morning. Sweet dreams for the rest of your sleep. And um, we'll see you later. Um, yeah, check on Discord. I responded to your stuff. You might have to scroll a little bit, but it is there. Now it's cooking. Much better, much better. That is what we want. Okay, great. That was my whole problem. All right, fixed. Let's try this again. problem was. Gotta be smarter than the machine. So I'm sewing these together just to make sure things line up when we add the zipper. So we're using a basting stitch to do that. up a little bit that might help oh that's upside down and here and here and here <gasps> Michael Wood good morning how are you oh my gosh you're on another marathon stream not a marathon not a marathon I started late I had a really like very bad brain day yesterday um so i started my stream later than i normally would have and we're replacing the zipper on this zip up hoodie um things happen it got complicated the usual with me you know and then i could have stopped and been like we'll do this later but i just decided that i wanted to continue and get it done it happens how are you? How have you been? You're also up early on a Saturday. Resi, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. not too out of the ordinary for me really you want you're an early riser early to bed early up type of person i would love to be like that like i dream of one day being a morning person i've just i've just never been wired for it even since i was a kid
Okay, so the first spot, spot, the first bit is done. Hopefully I did that right. So we can reattach the zipper and then tentatively, we will have done it correctly. I'm doing okay, doing well. Hotel for work thing this afternoon. Got it, got it. I, I wish I could be a morning person. That's part of the way I'm not able to catch a lot of them. I usually head to bed around 11 p.m. And I, for, I forget you're on Eastern time zone. I forget where you live. I'm so sorry. It's also because I've been awake for a while. We wake up around six usually. Today you slept in. Ah, uh, yes, Virginia. Okay, had the right time zone. That's good. Also, sorry, weird question. A little while back after you, I don't know if you came and just were hanging out in the stream or if you had raided me or something. Did you, were you on your phone? Okay, are you an iPhone user? And did you, from watching my stream on the phone, did you sub or something? Cause I checked. Um, like I downloaded the subscribers list at one point and there was your name and it just said sub token, but there was never any kind of alert or anything about a subscription happening. And I wanted to ask you about it because I never got any notifications about it. And I know like watching on iPhones and trying to sub from a phone, it's like super sketchy and like rarely works, at least in my experience. So I was wondering about that. Usually watch the iPad in the evenings. Okay, so iOS, still that works then. So yeah, this and then, how did they do that? If that's the center, let's see, we can undo this. Usually watch the iPad in the evenings. So does that mean you did try to sub from there or you didn't? I don't know, I feel awkward like asking about this, but I just want to understand like why shit was weird. Kai, welcome back. I have returned and I did not announce my departure. That's kind of your usual. Which is fine. Okay, so now, these are still lining up, so that's going to be there. That means, uh, let's shove this back here. I have bad dry mouth, that does happen. Did you drink some water about it? Twitch subs on the Apple devices, yes, they go through sub tokens. They go through sub tokens, but I just wanted to like touch base with you because it never notified me or anything, which is super weird. And so I just wanted to double check and make sure that's what was intended. And also to say, hey, thanks, cause I never knew about it. <laughs> cause they, it's such a weird system and I wish they would do that. Okay, so now this gets put on here. This gets put on here. Okay, I see how they did the zipper now. I see it, I see it. Fantastic. But I think this is a job for pins over clips. Mm -mm -mm. Because Apple needs to get their cut of the money, right? <laughs> of course. You drank some Mountain Dew, it has water in it. Oh my God. Just drink some fucking water. Water is delicious and it's so good for you. It loves you. It just wants you to love it back. Mmm, I can start with the notification. Yeah. It's nice to be anonymous sometimes. Sure. Need to shower and grab some breakfast. Oh, no worries. Thank you for the lurk. Some water right here, okay. I'm also drinking it from Mountain Dew, made for a more aggravating response. Are you serious? You do the just 
just to get a rise out of me. Are you serious right now? Seriously? Seriously. Can't believe you. Super cereal. You are the worst, just a little bit. It's okay though. I will keep you, at least for now. Soup or cereal, oh my God, that means I have to set that up. Fuck, okay, all right. I'm, hold on a second. I like, I like how much you like poles. Oh, I can't do that from here. I have, I have to go to the fucking computer. Let me do this row and then I will set up your goddamn pole, okay? The worst. Actually, we'll go over there and I'll set it up now because there's a wider surface where I can set these pins more easily. Hi Basil, good morning. about what the poll options even say. flag operation pick a third option besides that that's not no Not good with thirds. I don't know what that means, but it's fine. Soup cereal, dry cereal in soup. Yeah. Okay. Ten minutes. There's a poll. Whoever is here, feel free to vote or, or not. Do what you want. I'm gonna sit here for a minute at this desk because it's easier to place the pins on a wider flat surface such as this desk. votes you're gonna get there dude hmm. 
but good luck. cats purposely like eat out of only each other's bowls and then I think they purposely like save food for later like it's like they know when it'll be a while before someone wakes up to feed them and so they're like let's ration it and eat some save some for later other side now. out of the blue but I was just going back to when we were talking about emotes and things and it's really hard to give the snail that I have a good like lull emote I think anyway oh that's not the way to do that mm, that's not great either Things like that might be easier if I were to get that peach emote made. Then I have to like find somebody to draw it and then like be disappointed when they don't magically come up with what is already in my brain. It's a whole fucking thing. anybody voting in this poll? I haven't looked. Three votes so far. It's a close race. Is it? Are all of the votes from more than three, are the, all of the votes from three different people? How about that? Anyone else who's possibly paying attention, feel free to vote in the poll. Why do you like conducting polls by yourself? <laughs> Why do you do this? Okay, so let's 
tilt that and check over here. It should, should still be doing what I needed to do. Okay, and I'm going to clip the end to keep those even. I'd be happier for other people to participate, but I'm fine self -born. You are an only child, aren't you? Well, if there's no one to play with me, I will make do and do it myself. I'm glad you have that skill. Back to the sewing machine, I think. I think this will... Um, wait, two more pins. And then I think it will be where I want. Okay, great. No, not there, over here. Cool, well, this poll is almost done, so if anybody is hanging out and wants to vote on it, you've got like a minute or two left, probably. <clears throat> noise. I couldn't figure out what it was. It is the, um, <clears throat> the cat. back to the sewing machine. Okay, so have that set. So now I think we use the zipper foot. Ouch. Oh Jesus, that is a lot of pins. Let's not impale myself.
Okay, that's at the bottom. Is there anything at the top? It needs to have that done. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so. Wait, how in the fuck? Do we have to unzip that? How did they do that? I don't remember what they did, so we're gonna figure it out as we go. If we do it that way, then this is, well then that's not good, um, how the fuck, there you go there, hmm, I am confused. I feel like that's where they did like the top stitching, which is cool and all, but that doesn't make any sense. It does, but it doesn't. How the fuck am I supposed to sew that? Mm, uncertain. Good morning, Vietnam. How are you? Good morning. How did you sleep? I wondered if we would see you this morning. I like being able to greet people for the day. Exhausted. You just woke up though. Don't be exhausted when you just woke up. I'm all right. I didn't start out wanting to do this all night long. And then I was like, fuck it. Let's just see this through. Cause that's what I do. And now we're here. And now I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. So the usual, really the usual. Whenever I'm done here, I'm going to take a nap. And then I have to go buy like a fuck ton of different solvents and shit. I did and I'm off to work. I had to stop and see. Thank you for stopping in. It is always lovely. Did you get your patches yet? I mailed them the other day, whenever that was. So I imagine that you'll get yours pretty quickly. Anyway, you'll tell me when you get it. No worries. Um, have a great day at work. Be, be nice to yourself, etc. And then we'll see you later, I guess. <sighs> I have to figure out what the fuck they did in this. Um, on this zipper. I have to go back over here and watch that video again. So let's come back over. Ow. Here's the results of the poll. Two winners. Wow. What a great, great poll that was. <laughs> Clyde, you are very silly. Okay, go back on this video, see what the hell they did. So they did that, and we've got that part. So they're like putting the zipper underneath and then sewing down there. It's a cool idea and all, but that's like straight up not possible with what I'm doing. I don't think. It kind of is, but uh, then I'd have to go back and repin the whole fucking thing. 
things I don't want to do back. back over here to repin it because if I can get it pinned the right way then it'll be really easy to just fucking sew it and be done COVID test came back and it was negative that's good I'm glad sorry about your sense of taste though I mean it could be a false negative could be but I'm glad that it was negative. Let's just, we'll just go with that. That is pretty fast. That's a pretty fast turnaround, I think. Okay, how in the hell? Okay, so I have to repin all of these things so that they make sense. And I have to do it from the top side. Now, Hers is also negative, which is good. I mean, I figure if one person's negative, the other one probably will be. Ow. Ow. I'm redoing all the pins on the outside so I can sew it the right way, allegedly, but like, ugh, so much stabbing. Wait, how the fuck does that? Okay, I guess that makes sense. We're just gonna put this wherever it's gonna go and then I'll deal with it later. Okay, great. Ow. Jeez. Yeah, I guess this way works. Apologies, I would normally have the camera showing what I'm doing here, but we moved to the sewing machine a while ago and I'm not just gonna mix. I'm not gonna fuck with the camera every time. basically doing this by feel and it's it's not great
Okay, next. Yeah, close enough. That goes there. This goes here. Something like that. Okay. I should just turn it right side out and that might help. Intervals, no big deal. And the birds are chirping. I just heard it. I mean, they were going before, but like noticeably loud for the morning. That one drew blood. <laughs> Try that, I guess. <sighs> I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Oh. 
Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Too long. Why are you checking the uptime? Okay, so if I'm supposed to sew it this way. That's gonna be really fucking hard to do because this is all together. I don't really understand how to do that without messing up with the back of it. You do it that way. And that goes on this side. I don't fucking know right now. I kind of don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'd rather come back to this um, when my brain has a better handle on it and I haven't been trying to do this for nine hours. It's about how long you work in the shop tonight. Fair. That's fair. There's gotta be a better way to do this, and I'd rather like research what that is than try and cobble this together right now and have it get really messy. Cause I can't see how that's supposed to work in its current state. I don't know. Cause that means going a different direction, but the sewing machine doesn't sew that way because I don't have the fancy sewing machine. Omnius, good morning. Thank you, thank you for the work. Thanks for the work, I hope you're well. Wonderful day. Ah, oh, same to you. Same to you. Nice. Thanks for the black hole. Uh, I'm not sure what that email means, but I know it's one of the black holes, so. Maybe I should see who did blapples and then maybe that person can make me a peach. Could be. Talking to myself. Anyway. I think, yeah, I think I kind of want to be done because I want to figure this out the right way because this ain't it. And the more I fuck with it, it's just going to frustrate me and not be what I want. Mm-hmm. So stabby. I'm just thinking. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to do this anymore right now. Shit done. 
decide what if we both just quit because we've been working for a very long time. I don't care about this battle thing. Um, okay. We're going to go back over here, blah, blah, blah. Taking a look to see what I want to do. I'm doing so good right now. But what are you doing so good at? What are you doing? And this has almost cleaned off. How much is left to clean off of the desk? scratched myself um, will it be cleaned off in five minutes so I'm willing to wait five minutes because that's when this stream raiders timer ends it might take a little bit for me to find someone to go and read split. Let's see. Also, like, if there's ever a time for me to end and not raid, it's, it's this. Oh, that's a clip. I was like, what are these things? They are clips, that's why. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? I'm just sitting here um, trying to figure out what I want to do because I am sick of doing the thing I've been doing all fucking night. So we gotta like find someone to raid or something. Weird, weird dreams. Oh, I'm sorry. That always puts off a weird start to the day, so. You don't know if they were bad, you just woke up feeling weird. I get that, I get that. Kinda, yeah, I don't want to be on here anymore, but I can't find anyone to raid. <laughs> so that's fine. What about her? What is she doing? I don't want to do that either. Roll credits. I could roll credits, but where are we going from here is the thing. Oh, I could do that. That's a 24-7 
Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do that. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with the people who did that. <laughs> um, Clyde, thanks for hanging out for, like, uh, bas basically the whole thing. Almost. You came in a little bit after the start, but no worries. Did you get your desk cleared off yet? How much of your desk is left to clean off? Not finished, but a few more things. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do this thing first because it's like almost done. Um, are you putting out? I kind of. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I just, um, I couldn't find, I couldn't find anyone I wanted to read, but yeah, I'm tired of doing this for now because the way that I keep trying to sew the zipper isn't working. So, because all the, all the, like, what I'm trying to find a reference on the thing, it's all like a different situation than what I'm working with. So that's why. So I'm just going to like research it later and then take care of it. It's time for our breakfast date. <laughs> Something like that. Mm, a few more things. Heavy things. What kind of heavy things? I hope you have a great day. You cool wood. <laughs> You're just so nice. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you have a lovely day as well. I'm going to like take a fucking nap. And then I gotta go to like Home Depot and a few other places and buy like all of the solvents, like so many solvents. I have to buy a workshop light, mount that up. I need to get seri like, s like I feel like I have to buy like six different solvents, but that's not true. I have to get like, I need new acetone and the naphtha and the paint, not paint thinner, lacquer thinner. And I also need to buy paint stripper. There's a couple other things. So I'm buying at least five different solvents. <laughs> so hopefully they don't think I'm trying to make a bone or anything. That'd be bad. And I'm gonna buy a respirator. Whichever one I buy will be the wrong one. So that's cool. Excited for that. Have a great sleep or nap and a great day shopping. I wouldn't call it shopping. I am not like one of those females that's like, yay, shopping. Ugh, don't, I don't like that shit. Yes, we do have a Sherwin Williams. It's like five minutes up the road. They have a larger selection of masks as the public didn't raid them for masks like dummies. Why would I need masks? Why would I need a mask? Clyde, I'm not gonna buy a mask. I'm buying a fucking respirator because I like my lungs and I'm spraying lacquer and shit. Oh, uh, yeah, actually I looked on their website and they didn't seem to have anything that was what I needed. I was gonna go for the 3M one with the circle filters, but because it seems to be a popular choice and is adequate for the type of things I will be spraying, but we'll see. Maybe I changed my mind. Get some good rest. I hope you're able to find the things you need. Thank you. Time to grab some breakfast and see if I can get myself set up for the hotel stream. Ah, oh, it's exciting. What are you gonna be working on for your hotel stream? If you were gonna be starting that like in the next couple minutes, I would be like, I can raid you. But if you're grabbing breakfast first, that won't work. Uh, 
Oh, we're working on a parrot for Obsessed. Oh, that's cool. Are there pictures of it on Instagram? No worries. We'll be a little bit closer to 9 a.m. So like an hour over it. Yep, can't help you there, my friend. Sorry, I'm terrible about that. Oh, I'm awful at it. I need <laughs> this hat, this hat that I finished. I need to post pictures of this fucking hat. Which I keep not doing because I get done streaming and I'm tired and I don't want to take pictures of anything, but that's really the time that I should do it because I'm not going to get to it any other time. Hmm? Tater hat. Did it just got mute? I didn't mute anything. No mute on my end. Yeah, my microphone is plenty of battery. Unless you hit a button on your end, Bigby. It's not you. Or it's not me. Yeah, I finished the hat. But I need to post the hat. I also need to refine the hat because it's like too wide. I don't like that. And I want to make it longer in the back. Manolia Cat, uh, thanks. Thank you for the follow. Press that thing on your end. That's fair, no worries. Um, okay, let me get this. Well, that's weird. That's really weird, okay. So I have a channel pulled up that I was like, I can't find anyone to raid. I will raid the 24 seven Mr. Bean channel. Why not, right? And I'm looking at it and this Manolia cat, I guess they are a mod for that. I guess they're a mod for the Mr. Bean hot tub channel. And they saw that I had their channel pulled up or something and came and gave me a follow. That's cool. Or, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Manolia Cat followed the Mr. Bean Hot Tub channel and then also came over here and followed me. That's a bit weird. What ifs? Anyway, um, the stream reader's thing is done, so we're gonna raid, I guess. Um, creepy. Yeah, very strange. Makes me wonder if that's legitimate or not. Let me come back to this other channel. This dude's cool. We can raid him. All right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Come along for the raid, please. Um, at least for the channel points, if nothing else. Um, and I will see you all later, um, Sunday. Sunday will be our next stream. Otherwise, you know, Discord in the meantime. Discord is where all the cool kids hang out in the garden. I also crocheted an egg and I haven't posted that either. All right, let's, let's do that. I'll see you all later. Good night, etc. That's the wrong, that's the wrong one. Here we go.